Dead by operation.
We're back. June 1997. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, my God, it's Sunday. Holy smokes. Maintenance man has got, he started early today. What in the frick? Okay, I, I moved my, my chat window. I popped it out because that's one of the options. I popped it out so I can look over here now. Oh man, it's right next to my game. Whoa, it's something already, uh, Fred has already put on his pleated pants. Oh my God, this is early. Idiot Brigade just said, you know what, bro? I'm resubbing right the frick now. Three months, ah, oh, frick. Does, it, does that mean you have a new color? Are you new color? Are you new color, Briggs? Green. I don't remember how the, the what is the order they go in? Loyalty. Oh damn it, they're not. Wait, they are here. He's three. He's greened up. He done greened himself up. Look, you don't just get one Fred couples right now. You get freaking six Fred couples. Oh, we're rapidly approaching the golden couples. We're gonna get there, everyone. Freaking golden couples. God damn it! Alright, Frick. Thanks, Briggs. Man, I appreciate that. Man, I appreciate that, Briggs. Frick! All right, all right, sorry, I've been neglecting the chat uh, so far this episode because, holy frick, the thing just disappeared on me. I'm like, what, how am I going to even look at the chat this episode? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So the whole first 10 minutes, or the 10 minutes, I, I you know, I hit Q, like, okay, play the music, start the stream, then it's mad scramble, find it, see if I can find it. Oh, man, we found it like one minute ago. Whoa. All right, turns out it's still there. It's just you had to, I had to shrink my screen so that I could find it so I could pop it back out. Sweating bullets, man. Oh, my lord. Alright, guys, guess what? We're back. It's June, 1997. Alright, doesn't matter what's going on in real life. Forget that. June 1997 is happening right friggin' now, okay? We're gonna cover the whole thing. The movies, the music, and the video games. We're gonna play a lot of video games. We're gonna go like... We're gonna go five hours deep. It's crazy. But first, we gotta check out the movies, right? And this music is just so stressful. I feel so... Like, I gotta be strangling someone like a bad guy or something. I don't know. I don't even know. Speaking of strangling bad guys, man, a lot of the movies is a lot of the movies this month getting out of control. All right, so let me see if I can catch up on the chat. What in the frick? Horse Green Fred. Oh man, he's Horse Green. He's, he's just man when he's in the bushes, just taking those hits, man. You can't even see him. He's camouflaged. All right, three months. All right. No, it's Sunday. 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 Ah, oh, Desi Butt. We got a special treat for you. I got a screen just for Desi Butt. Just for Desi Butt. We got a screen. All right, all right, all right. We don't need to add a transition. Uh, Desi, here's the uh, issue we're reading. Whoa, well, this is a bedazzling cover for an issue, guys. God damn it! Unfortunately, we played like every one of these fighting games two episodes ago. It was it was so fighting game heavy. I think people were just bailing out. They're like, really rad? Another fighting game? I'm good. So fine. We played Mace. We played Tekken 3. We played Street Fighter 3. We played Vampire Savior. We played Fighters Mega Mix. We played WCW. We played MDK. We played all the freaking games on this cover. Man. I don't see any Mortal Kombat, though. They gave us a month off. We played Mortal Kombat 4 last week. Jesus. All right, Grungy. Rating party of seven. Grungy going deep. Grungy, thank you for the rating party. My, my brother. All right, he's back. He's back streaming. We got the 90s power hour here. Well, several power hours back-to-back -back, consecutive hours of back-to-back -back powerness because he's going hard man and grungy he's the one he's keys of like the fact checker him and briggs are the fact checkers on this program i'm just saying random things and they have to come in and be like uh rad that's not factually correct i'm like oh frick i'm sorry oh my god and war gods yeah we played war gods too so we played all the games now fortunately art art fortunately art i see you there welcome everyone god damn it god damn it comfy's here early too this cover takes you into the back alley and beats you up and then calls an ambulance 
And, but if you're in the US, uh, paying for that trip. Yeah, you, well, you know, they're gonna beat you up. They're obviously, they're gonna call you an ambulance. They don't want you to die, but they do want you to pay a hefty bill. Okay, that's fine. Grungy Nick is subbing up, just That'll getting play. four months deep. Whoa. All right, four months deep. Play. I don't know if that's blue. Are you blue now? What is blue? We got one, two, three, six. Okay. No one, not even myself. Jesus, these tunes. All right. No one, not even myself, has reached blue yet. Oh my god, Fred has put on his fuchsia shirt, which is close to the two month sub. Just close. Art happened and said, you know what? I want back in. I was out, but I want back in. Get the F in here, Art. You got six couples on the screen, but you know what? You guys are just getting crazy. We're gonna go seven couples. We're seven couples deep on this episode. All right, this should be the cover of the magazine right now. Frankly, frankly, this should be the cover. Frankly, this should be the cover of the magazine. <laughs> Oh, man. Freaking couples out of our minds. We got three couples of couples and a single couple. All right, God damn it. All right, Desi, you see the magazine, but I don't want to spoil it too much. All right, we're going back. Oh, man, Fred just, he's not done yet. He's like, hole, after, hole in one after hole in one, par five. Say, Clyde and Shadows, get back in here, buddy. Hey, buddy, get the F back in here. I know you thought you were gone, but not a chance. Not while this guy's here going like, Clyde. Hey, Clyde, you got to get in here, Clyde. And Cuffy's saying, what? He said five of yous. Five of yous. I don't even... All right, well, you know, if you're going to go five deep. I'm running out of couples here, everyone. Holy frick. All right, man, you guys are just, this episode is going to be off the chain. I'm going to just break it right off the chain. We don't even know what's beyond that side of the chain. You don't even want to know. Jesus. All right, so God damn it. A uh, little housekeeping here. I don't even know who they went to. This is insanity. It doesn't tell me who they went to. I want to know who, the, oh, wait, here we go. Yo, one gift sub to Andy 502. 5021. 5021. All right, May hug, May hug, with two. Oh, Mayhew. Oh, okay. I was I was getting ready to hug you, Mayhew. I'll refrain. I don't want to be that guy. I like to hug. All right. I'm coming in. You said no. It's Hugh, not hug. Okay. I'll back off. Look at that frame rate we're getting tonight. It's because I I moved my lights up a bit, so now I'm a little lighter, and I could remove one of my filters. I'm. Look at this. Goddamn. We have evolved. Oh man, we have evolved. All right, Quantu. Quantum player one. Okay, I thought it was Quantu. I thought it was like Kuato's like uh, half brother or something. Kuantu. Let's cut. Okay, this chat is so th skinny that it's cutting off everyone's names. All right, that's better. Sandy Wandy said. Okay, Comfy said Sandy Wandy, Big Wendy. I know you guys were here last time. Now you're subbed. I don't know if they're here right now, but you know what? They done got subbed. All right. Now, okay. Speaking of Sandy Wandy and Big Wendy, here I am on my Wednesday stream, deciding to do a new segment called console cold war boom everyone's loving it man i got more reaction on my facebook with like my real life friends for that segment than anything before i've been posting every time on facebook and everyone's like oh uh you know matt's doing a show I'm like okay and they they know me as matt they know me as matt and they're like eh, you know i don't want to i don't want to bother them there but then they're like uh, you're gonna play some n64 matt what the frick all right we're gonna come watch that whoa i guess wednesday is gonna have to be I'm gonna have to go deep on that N64. Console Cold War is real, man. We got new graphics. We're going crazy on Wednesday, but for today, frick. Thank you for that, Comfy. That is outrageous. Awesomely outrageous, one might say. All right, hype train. It's getting crazy. Fred D. Yeah, we. we it's like 3D, but it's like seven Freds deep. All right, someday we're gonna be in full HD. Someday. We need a couple more couples. All right, I want to be showered in couples. I'll have to change my cheer remote. You know what, man? What the frick? You guys, you've all earned it. Let's turn it up. This is for everyone. Everyone, not only the ones that are now subscribers, thanks to these uh, lovely people, but the lovely people themselves. God damn it. We did it. We freaking did it. Fred, get in here. Freaking loyalty badges, get in here. Guys, it doesn't get more celebratory than this. Frick! We're starting hard and heavy. Hot and heavy, some might say. Oh, man, it's crazy. This is a taste of things to come. Okay? All right? Holy Fred. Now, we're gonna have to, like, segue out of this. Fred. Okay, Fred, this is just the cardboard cutout. These are all my pictures of them. I got pictures of Fred Couples down on my bed. You guys remember me talking about Wasp last week. That'll make more sense. Otherwise, it just sounds weird and deranged. But trust me, it's a sign of affection. All right, just got back uh, in this the other day. Oh, I just got back in this another birthday. Whose birthday is it? Someone's birthday? Someone's birthday. They're getting birthdayed out of their mind, all right? Sub parties are my favorite parties. <laughs> Part of the show. All right. Is. 
LMA LMAO. Where's the F in there? All right, this is a great transition. This isn't even a transition. This is just good times. This is just what it's going to be for the rest of the show. I have so many balloons and so many sparkles. It's out of control. All right, Tailspin, get the F back in here. Get the F back in here. Don't mess around. Everyone, if I see anyone messing around, you get some of that, all right? It's playful at first, but then it gets serious. All right, uh, Fred, are you ready? Fred is giving me double thumbs up. Two big hearty thumbs ups. He says, don't worry, Rad. It's time for us all to get very refreshed because before we play the games from June 1997, oh, oh man, it's crazy in here. Before we play those goddamn games, we got to know about the music and the movies that came out this month. That way we will truly know what was it like to live in June 1997. I can't live with myself unless I know and all of you know. Everyone knows. God damn it. Let's get going. Fred, music me. Music me, Fred. Oh, God. Here it is. Oh, frick. All right, let's get there. Let's get it and let's get there. Boom. Oh, God damn. You know I have myself some Diet Pepsi caffeine free. You goddamn know it because I want to go to bed at a reasonable time tonight, but I still want to party, all right? We're going to party hard. We're partying hard all night. I got my bottle of a Diet caffeine free Pepsi right here, right now. I got my new computer so you guys can see. Whenever I'm at the chat, I can actually freaking see what I'm doing here. Tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -clack -clack -clack. Windows 95 running strong in this machine. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, I had to order it off eBay, all right? Fred put it together for me. He's very handy with computers. You guys don't even realize. All right, a level two hype train. I don't even know how that's possible, but we have ascended to level two. I don't I don't know how that's possible, guys. What in the frick is going on here? Oh, God, this baseline. Joe Montana himself wrote this baseline. Frick me. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, uh, uh. Choo choo, says Briggs. Oh, my God. Well, we got to get going. We got to get going here. I don't. Oh, man. Asteroid Blues. Don't have those blues, buddy. Not here today. Mm -mm, we're having a good time, Blues. All right, Tailspin, Desi. All right, everyone, get in here. I'm going to try and read the chat as soon as I see it this, this episode. It's always really hard for me. I always try and go a little far, and then I forget what the hell I'm doing. Not today, damn it. Not today. All right, first up, first up, first up, first up. Boom, 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 boom. Speed 2. They really shouldn't have called it Speed 2, because then that implies that it happened again. Now, uh, full disclosure, rush hour hits the water. That's already silly. Uh, Jason Patrick, not silly. I like him a lot, actually. Didn't even know what his name was. Choo-choo, I ch There, it says B, and there's a picture of a B on it. No Keanu, no speed, says Desi's butt. And I'm inclined to agree, because I didn't even see this movie. In fact, I don't think I saw any of the movies from this month. You guys are gonna have to help me out here. This is for all of us. We're, we're now, you guys are the co-host in the captain seat. I think you're ready for it, Alan. Grab the controls, assume the controls. Do not plunge it into a nosedive. We don't need that yet. Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, that's for them. We're going to land the plane safely. All right. Uh, I forget Jason Patrick was in this, and it makes me laugh so much. Does he do a good job, at least? I'd feel better if I knew he did a good job. God damn it. All right. It's just Bullock getting into trouble left, right, and center in the Speed franchise, eh? Yeah. Just looking fine on the cover of that. I'm not a big fan of Sandy Bull, but that cover is... Ooh. All right. That's working for me. Uh, oh, so what the hell is the storyline here? I know it's got Willem Dafoe as the bad guy, but... Is he like the brother of Dennis Hopper or something? Why does he make a boat a boat not be able to slow down? Or can it slow down? And they just don't they don't do that because he's got like the room blocked off or something. I don't know. I feel like it went fine. That first speed though, goddamn. That's a that's a, almost a desert island movie. That one goes down smooth as frick. Alright. God damn, Miss Congeniality for the win, says Art Happening. I never saw that one either. There's like a good stretch here where I don't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't see anything. Oh man, Dogan is cheering. He says, five bits coming your way. He must be a big fan, a uh, huge fan uh, of Speed 2. And I can't blame him. Uh, Jason Patrick, that's fine. What is this emote? I always see it. Kappa 1. I don't know what that means. That's like old school. That's OG Twitch. I don't, I don't know what that means. But Dogan, thanks for stopping by. I didn't get a chance to check out your last post on... Uh, on the Discord, uh, something about Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. I want to weigh in, but I was like, man, that was one of my chat despair. I'm like, ah, oh, frick, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, God damn it. Next up, boom, 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 boom. Never saw it. Batman and Robin. I didn't see Batman Forever or this. Dodged the bullet. I'm pretty sure I dodged the bullet. But I will say this is yet another killer uh, movie cover in 1997. They really had it going on here. It's not just a white background with freaking George Clooney going uh, uh, I'm a badass but secretly I'm like super vanilla nah. 
Hey everyone, Stable Tables, get the F in here. You're not missing anything, Astro Boobies. Yeah, my friends gave me the basic breakdown of everything that happened. And I feel like I would have lost a lot of respect for everyone involved if I'd seen this movie. So, not having seen this movie, I feel like I have an unusually high respect for everyone involved. And the franchise. Uh, this one's, uh, this one is fun bad though, Briggs says. Alright, that's, that's a fine line to walk. Do you think they did it on purpose? Do you think at some point they were making a serious movie? Or were they like, no, it's comedy. It's full comedy. Arnold is unapologetically awful. It's a blast. Yeah. <laughs> Freeze. Uh, but when you see that as a kid, you're like, whoa. Schwarzenegger's in the Batman movie? Him walking down the stairs? That doesn't look right. Just push him over. God. And then you're thinking, why wasn't he playing Bane? Like, Bane's not cool enough. But then Bane was in a Batman movie. Oh, man. Ellie's World, welcome back. He says, I saw this Batman movie, movie and wish I had two hours of my life back. Jesus. Is it two? Is it two hours deep? Said, uh, guess what? We couldn't tell it all in an hour and a half. We needed more. Everything looks really awful in this movie, I can't lie. And then, what, isn't there a scene where they surfboard down from space? Is that accurate? Or is it just surfboard down from really high? Really high I might be able to forgive, but space is unforgivable. Bane is awfully simple in this movie. Is he at least jacked? Could we at least get a jacked Bane? Frick. Alright, Arnold is Victor Fries. Uh, Arnold as Victor Fry Freeze uh, is a terrible choice. And he's doing everything he can to have fun with the role. Well, you might as well at that point. He's like, I don't give a damn. I don't give an F. They got Kloon. What are we doing with Kloon? And what the hell? Val Kilmer was the last Batman. That was probably the peak of his career. He's like, man, I made it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be okay. Alright. Mayhew is saying, oh man! Comfy, thanks for that up. Thanks for letting me rep the frickin' Fred Couples emote. Now, you don't have to do it now. You don't have to, Mayhew. But you can at any time you want. Anytime, any part of the stream. It's up to you. Alright, uh, God damn it. Alright, Dogen. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Alright, we can do better. Hey, kid. We can do better. We can do better. We can do better. We can do better. You ever dance, dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Forgot the reverb. Ah, frick. Ah, frick. Yeah, that was a pretty traumatizing scene as a kid. Man, the first Batman. Do you remember? C Roy! Oh, man, C Roy says, guess what? <laughs> Did one of you guys get C Roy? Oh, that's awesome. All right, C Roy, I'm still waiting for the big win. All right, C Roy, if you guys don't know, plays Warzone. He's good! He says he's not good, but he's pretty good. I keep telling him whenever I'm watching, you get the win. I'll freaking gift sub five people right here, right now. Deal's still on, C-Roy. Alright. Alright, he's getting maintenance man out of his mind. Just, he's like, that's the emote for me. Maintenance man. Ah, frick him. Alright, this music too. Oh my god. Alright, that's enough Batman. Guys, I didn't see it. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I blanked out this whole month. I didn't see this one either. I know some of you did. Boom, 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 boom. Hercules. Danny DeVito presents Hercules. Uh, what's his name, too? The Hades. Uh, forget his name, goddammit. You make me nervous, Zero. Oh, he chokes. Chokes as I'm watching. Alright, Hercules is a great time. Very fun, says Comfy. Right, is his name on the cover? Why can't I see this? Right. I can't see his goddamn name. Guys, who is Hades in this movie? You know I'm having a schizoid embolism right now. I'm like five seconds away from just absolutely... Stream cancelled. James Woods caught it. Oh man, that was close. I was one tick away. I was one HP away. One HP. James Woods. Grungy, thank you. I was just ahead. It's the delay. You would have got it dead on time. Looks like a good movie, but I do remember, okay, one of the reasons that I didn't see this movie is I started feeling like Disney was not doing, uh, I didn't like their art style. Like, they, this is where, this is what modern day Cartoon Network looks like to me, where it's like, they just have tubes for arms and tubes for legs. Not necessarily Hercule Hercules. He's pretty jacked. But everyone else is like, here's a tube. Here's a tube. Um, I feel that started bothering me as time went on. I was like, I want them to look real. And I thought, like, no, oh, they're looking not real. But that has nothing to do with, like, whether or not the movie's good. Uh, I just didn't see this one. I must have been 14 at the time. So I was like, yo, not today, damn it. I'm too busy playing freaking NHL 97 to play this. I'm 14 years old. I'm stealing deodorant from Zellers because I'm gonna go meet up with some girls and I don't have any deodorant and I need to put some deodorant on and I don't have any money. That's a true story. Right guard original. What the hell? Not proud of myself. 
Imagine if the, the cameras at the top of the Zellers. Zellers is like a really low budget Walmart that's usually in malls, for those that don't know. Uh, in Canada. Uh, R.I.P. Zellers. God damn it. Freaking God damn it. That's an R.I.P. for Zellers. I used to have a restaurant inside Zellers. Man, I miss those. All right, so yeah, I know there's cameras in there and I'd like sneak in, grab one, put it in my pocket and walk out. Those were desperate times. All right, lessons were learned after that day. I should go back to Zellers. Oh no, they're, I can't even pay them back now. I'll have to live with that one. Frick me. Guys, Hercules, good, bad. It says like, it sounds like everyone's digging it. Whoa, it's James Woods. Um, yeah, what, what was that James Woods movie with uh, Michael J. Fox? The right stuff, no, right thing. Something about it, I don't remember. I liked it a lot. All right, gospel-inspired music was always a great match for story about gods. That does seem like an odd choice, Chicken Tendo. I'm sensing some sarcasm in there. That seems like an odd choice. Zellers lasted until 2003, but the last liquidation center died in January 2020. Well, frick. Frick, I had, I had one chance. I was a year off. I can technically consider Zellers another victim of 2020. <laughs> they were a little early. They, they sensed it coming. They said, oh, frick, man. Smells like a pandemic. Get the frick out of here. All right, the hard way. Grungy knew what I was talking about. I like that movie. I had to, re I had to go back and rewatch that one. I'm like, I want to watch everything Michael J. Fox has ever been in. And so that was the one. It's like, man, James Woods, that's a twofer. Ellie's just coming in just the smack a smidge later. That could be internet latency, though. For all intents and purposes, that's a tie. All right, worked very well and highly recommended. God damn it. That's not even sarcasm, says Chicken Tendo. No sarcasm. Well, all right. That makes me curious. I mean, we're getting to the point where I can start watching these movies with my son, so that one might actually just uh, end up in the rotation. He's into Toy Story right now. Two-year-old, loves Toy Story, bought him some of the, the dinosaur and Buzz Lightyear for Christmas. Frick, he loved it. Loves him. He only likes to watch the first 20 minutes until Buzz gets there, basically. All right. All right, now we're getting now we're getting off the deep end, everyone. All right, it worked well. Hi, everyone. All right, that one should be in your rotation. Totally great movie. Well, Frick, it will, and it shall be done. All right, just rewatched for the love of money. Don't do it. Was that a June 1997 jam? Because I don't remember that one. For the love of money. Is that, oh, Michael J. Fox? Yeah, he, he did have a couple of weirdies. A couple of weirdies in there. What was that? Doc, Doc something. Hollywood. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, I did a Patrick Wilson movie marathon uh, recently. And one of his first projects was Alamo with Jason Patrick. Full circle. Well, God damn it. All right, watch The Incredibles with your son. That's true. I saw The Incredibles in the theater and never saw it again. Man, I am full 60 frames right now. God, frick. All I needed was to move my lights up just a bit. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, guys, next on the list. Now, there's no way. Grungy Nick and Briggs, you guys pay attention to this one. Because if you guys remember this one before I bring it up on the screen, if you actually remember this one, I'll be really impressed. But, okay, after the fact, you get partial credit. Because this one was one of the, one of the many giant gorilla movies that came out boom 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 buddy whoa with Rene Russo do you guys remember buddy <laughs> oh freaking buddy um that's where she adopts like this baby gorilla and then raises them and then I think they try and take him away I think it actually gets super serious and sad the the trailer almost made me feel sad all right comfy saying I have not seen buddy I don't know if I should have seen it or, I have not seen I don't know if I should have seen it it looks like they try and be pretty faithful. It keeps saying based on a true story. That's what got me. I'm like, uh, really? But man, we've been reading some Curious George with my son too. Curious George. The freaking man in the yellow hat's just like, hey, George, go to the zoo by yourself. Go to this kid's birthday party by yourself. Uh, Wouldn't you be worried the monkey's going to rip people's face and genitals off? Because that's what monkeys do, goddammit. Some of them, chimpanzees and stuff. Ah, Jesus. Dunstan checks in better than Buddy, says Grungy Nick. So you've seen Buddy? <laughs> <laughs> was it better than, uh, what was it, the Matt LeBlanc movie? Not uh, the one where he was the, the the monkey was the pitcher? Or what about MVP, where the monkey is the hockey player? <laughs> oh, we live in a funny world. Ed, that's right, Chicken Tendo scooping in. Oh, too late, Crunchy Nick. <laughs> oh, we got a good chat here, everyone. All right, I think it's Duck clearly trying to kill me. Oh, frick, don't die. All right, buddy. I never saw, is it sad? Does it get legit sad? Do they take the guy away? Is it like Harambe? Was that secretly like a retelling of the Harambe story? All right, um, guys, we're getting into uh, 
one of my favorite segments here uh, on this show, as you guys know. Um, we like to do a little segment called the Hauer Hour with Rutger Hauer. He's back, baby. Rutger Hauer in The Call of the Wild. The perfect song to be just loving this man's face. Love it. Look at this man's face all day. Rutger Hauer, we salute you, sir. R.I.P. Guys, that's an R.I.P. for Rutger Hauer. One of the best in the biz. One of the best to ever play the game. MVP in my books. Frick. That's a rip. That's a legit rip. That's not even like, oh, eh. That is a legit. And someone's just coming and saying, you know what? God damn it. That'll play. Veiled Nomad just said, I got a prime, and I'm going to use it right friggin' now in honor of Rutger Hauer. Now, I already got Fred Couples on the screen, but god damn it. That's a lot of love. A lot of love just coming together right here, right now. Vale, thank you, bruh. That's an that's a Fred couple, Couples off Rick from Vale. Guys, pour a little frickin' diet caffeine-free Pepsi out for our man, Rutger Hauer. That's been the uh, latest segment on the show, the Hauer Hour. You know if Rutger Hauer's got a movie coming out, I'm going to be talking about it. And you guys, if you want, you can catch the whole film on YouTube. He doesn't come until like halfway through. I was like, uh, where the hell is Rutger Hauer? What am I supposed to do with it? I don't want to be watching a dog for half a movie. All right, where am I right now? Call the wild. All right, Rutger Hauer. I'll do respect, sir. All right, now it's a tough call. It's a toss-up, everyone. I don't even know which one to pick here for movie of the month. I also haven't seen either of these movies in a long time. I didn't have time to check them out. Guys, guess what? I finished a song this week. This last week, I had to work hard on a song. Might have just landed a big sci-fi project. Boom! This is what I've always wanted. I'm not, I'm not doing these damn chiptunes anymore. I'm doing some sci-fi, frick! So, uh, Hobo with a shotgun. Dingle Dude knows all about it. All about it. It's the Howard Hour. God damn it. Uh, this is the theme song for the Howard Hour. Let me remember what this is. These vibes feel so good. This is International Superstar Soccer Track 10. R.I.P. Rutger Howard. All right, so I was working on music all this week, so I couldn't... I would have loved to check both these movies out. So, you guys, we're going to have to leave it up to the chat. I don't know. I don't even friggin' know. All right, Comfy's already coming in. He's spoiling, spoiling the surprise, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put them both up on the screen. First of all, this came out June 1997, uh, right alongside Con Air. Guys, were we reaching uh, peak cage, or what the frick is going on right here? All right, this is gonna drive me nuts. You have to be the exact same size, or I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Ah, close enough. All right, guys, this is a tough call. Oh man, Conair was the bomb, says Desi's butt. Yeah, I, my wife said she she was going to go face off. And I was sitting there going like, I think it's got to be Conair. But I don't remember. I haven't seen him all, my freaking God. I was like, but John, John Malkovich, John Cusack, that's two Johns. Oh man, Cage, why you do this to us, man? Isn't it funny that Nicolas Cage and John Travolta, and I'm not making fun here. I know male pattern baldness is a real deal. Here's my horseshoe. It's starting real small. Now I just have an upside down, I have an M. I have like the bat symbol on my hairline. Especially if I jack up my filters so I have a higher contrast. The, the, the little wisps here, they just disappear. All right, um, these two guys have some of the weirdest, uh, AKA best hair in Hollywood these days. They cannot be in a movie where the hair isn't like, I, I can't take my eye off the hair. I don't even know what's going on in the movie. I'm just looking at the hair. God damn, the hair. All right, Ellie's World saying, you can rewatch Con Air. Can you not rewatch Face Off? Because I actually really like. You guys notice the line in between Face Off, indicating that it's not Face Off as in we're having a Face Off. It's literally Face Off. Take your face off and put it over there. Face Off. Uh, they don't really explain why their body types don't change at all. All right, Face Off. Uh, what the frick? Nicholas Cage, not as stout as John Travolta, not as big a head as John Travolta. All right. Conair, literally one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> but he's trying to get back. He's tr he's he served his time though, Dingle Dude, and now he's going back to his daughter. I want to know how that wraps up. And he's not gonna take it anymore. He's like, these rascals on this plane want to frick everything up so that I don't get to see my daughter. I just served my time like a good boy, and now I'm trying to go back. I put the bunny in the box. Why couldn't you just put the bunny in the box? That's all I remember. Something along those lines. All right, Conair is the classic bad movie I love. Says Desi's butt. Desi's butt. If they fix the credits on Con Air, I'd be happy. Are the credits all effed up? That cannot stand. Buckle up, it says. All right. What about Face Off? I remember my stepdad went to see Face Off in the theater by himself. That's the kind of movie, yeah, like a 39-year-old in 1997 would probably go see by himself. Put the bunny in the box. I just dipped into Bill Clinton for a second. And, uh, Monica Lewinsky, why couldn't you just put the bunny in the box? Be a... Better movie or worse movie? I don't know. I don't know. What is Bill Clinton doing on that plane? Oh my god! Is that Jeffrey Epstein's plane? Oh! 
All right, face off is amazing. Grungy Nick is now, he's a supporter of face off. Now we got the, we got the flip side. We got all the Con Air guys in here and now all the face off guys. Grungy Nick, my wife said face off. He said, she said, because it doesn't have a love story in it. I'm like, man, that's making a good point. I hate love story. Any love story in a movie, any love story in a TV show, done ruin the show. Think about friends, okay? You remember uh, Chandler before he started dating Monica? He was a funny guy. Once he starts dating Monica, it's all got to be, oh, we're so in love. Get that off my screen. I don't want to see any of that crap. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, before he started dating Diaz. Or was it Diaz? No, the other one. I don't remember the name. Way funnier. Stop it with the love stories. Get off my screen. I want to see the funny. I don't need any of this love. Now, I know it's not. <laughs> these aren't funny movies, but that's just my, that's my two cents, guys. Love stories. Okay, you want to hear a love story? All right, Enemy at the Gates. All right, now that love story was like, man, this is hot. These guys are going to war. These two soldiers, these two comrades are going to war, and they're just going to bone down in, like, the sleeping bags next to all these other soldiers the day before battle. Whoa, that is hot. All right, that is different than freaking, oh, can you put the bunny in the box? All right, but I still love Con Air. Yeah, but can you pick? I said Con Air. I'm going to pick Con Air, but only because it seems like a bigger spectacle. Face Off is just a typical action movie. It just is... An interesting concept. They're like, all right, both the weirdos. You both get to play the weirdo once in this movie. Make the most of it. All right, you goddamn weirdos. All right, Frick, we'll try. But then the other time, you have to be a straight man. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, we're all too weird. It's probably the straightest role either of them ever played. All right, Face Off has a hallelujah scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that John Woo? Is Face Off John Woo? All right, Face Off's the winner for Grungy Nick. All right, all right. It's split. Man, we split the chat. Oh, Frick. Team face off says Chicken Tendo. Oh man, you and Grungy Nick both, both on board. All right, Travolta as the straight man. Shots fired. Veiled no man. Allegedly. Allegedly. Scientology. That weird you out, man. All right. Allegedly. All right, let's get you off the screen. Congratulations for being a uh, runner up and Con Air. Congratulations for being Nornrad's begrudging pick of the month. All right. All right, I want to watch Con Air again, Cizelli's World. That's the one he's going to watch again. If he could only watch one, that's the one he's going to watch. Now, God damn it. God damn it, everybody. Get serious right now. We got to do the music real quick. There's a lot of music. I don't know, Jack F. Jack Frick about the Wu-Tang Clan. I know my friend Kev had a Wu-Tang Clan shirt and would wear it. Now, it seems funny to me that these guys would call themselves the Wu-Tang Clan. That just is funny. It just is funny. You got to distance yourself from all the, like, condition. You've been conditioned. Alien landing on Earth, looking at this, going like... All right, is, is that the clan? That's the clan. Imagine if they did well with this album. How much do they have to split the album? Like 10 ways? All right, you can have a half, and you, or you can have a bit, and you can have a bit. You did one song, you can have some. Like it must just be a, a train wreck. Why? Fred Couples, Fred Couples. Frame Chasers just subscribed. He said he's back and he's early. Frame Chasers, we aren't talking about any breasts yet, but don't worry, I'll let you know when we talk about the breasts. Frame Chasers wants in. We're gonna make sure you get in. Now before we leave, Frame Chasers, before we leave this, segment, you get a Fred Couples. You've earned a Fred Couples. God damn it, here's a Fred Couples. Fred Couples is, is proud, proud that you're four months deep. Good lordy. Four months deep. God damn. Me too. Uh, it's funny that Twitch makes you a subscriber in your own stream, but I'm a tier three subscriber. No one pay for tier three. That is hilarious and unnecessary. All right. Uh, it's why most of the band uh, resents the RZA. Oh, man, was the RZA doing rascally stuff? He's like, yo, man, I produced all the beats. I'm going to do it like Bill Clinton. I produced all the beats on this album. I get 80%. I don't even know who the RZA is. I've, I've always heard the name. Oh, the RZA and the Jizza. The RZA and Jizza. Ugh. I don't know who you are. I don't know who any of you guys are. I've heard of Method Man. Is Old Dirty Bastard in the Wu-Tang Clan? I don't know. I think so. That is the extent of my knowledge here. Now, not a big fan. I didn't, I, I listened to the, I listened to the soundtrack last night. I was like trying to get it like, okay, what was the deal here? I'm also thinking that this isn't, yo, shots fired here. Shots about to be fired and then fumble recovery. Okay. I don't think this is good rap. I think this is like kind of empty and hollow. Like, oh, let's play a beat in the background and we'll rap over. Uh, the performance is probably fine. I don't know, but I'm not in the rap for the performance necessarily. I think people just like the tonality and the confidence in rappers' voices. They're like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't even care what he's saying right now, but yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging the vibe. Except it doesn't make any sense. So they're all, Wu-Tang's just sitting around going like, B -b 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 Bugs Bunny and B -b -b video game reference. And B -b like they're all like, you know, they're full-grown men that are, uh, you know, they refuse to grow up. Now, 
if that's the if that's the standard candle here, if that's what we're working on, I have to tell you, this does not seem like it should be game changing. What should be game changing, Dingle Dude, you might appreciate this. Fushnickens, true Fushnick from 1994. This is wrapped on way better, and it seems like it's even in a similar vibe. They only need three members. They get paid three ways, all right, instead of 12 ways. Way freaking better. Now, I'm going to post this in Discord as well. We got a new, uh... All right, we'll just get this June 1997. Boom. I'm going to... This is the first link I'm posting in the Discord, so that later on, if you guys are like, Oh, frick, man, the, the VOD is down. You can go to the Discord and be like, Oh, that's the one he was talking about. Okay. Because otherwise, it's going to be on YouTube. Now, God damn it. I'm going to miss some chat here. Dingle dude, true schnick. They're full-grown men who are stuck in the past and talking about it on a public forum. So dumb. Tell me about it, comfy. Frick. But they were like full-grown men going like, Bugs Bunny and Sylvester and Tweety. I don't know. But then getting all like, but we're super serious about it. I'm super serious. Fred Couples is super serious. That's why this is my new pick for album of the decade. Album of the millennium. All right, Wu-Tang Clan. Uh... I've heard better. I've had better. Uh, shots fired, probably. Probably. I'm the last person in the world who should have an opinion on rap, but I likes me some frickin' uh, Fushnickens, and I recommend y'all check it out if you're, uh, reasonable human beings. Okay, goddamn. Next up, Ween. Seems like a weird album. Every song was kinda different. I gotta say, this is a really weird album cover. God damn, it looks like a death metal cover. What in the frick are we doing here? All right, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to frick with. Don't frick with them. They probably have a good legal team. They will they will bury you, okay? I don't know anything about Ween. Anything else about Ween, so uh, I cannot report on it as such. Get out of my face. All right, here's one. It's just a compilation, but do you guys remember seeing this at the record store when you'd go to the mall as a kid? I was big into Suicidal Tendencies. I got like seven of their albums. Uh, I only like about three of them. The rest I bought used from uh, CD stores. Uh, wiener, says Dingle Dude. Uh, Veiled Nomad says, yep, have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the thing I liked about this was the first time I heard their, uh, what are we doing here? Uh, suicide Tendencies. I'm gonna give you guys a couple new links here in the chat. Institutionalized. Now, it was originally written in 1983 or 4 or 2 or something like that on their first album, but it was re-recorded in 1993 due to some, like, record label disputes or something, but this album was the first time I heard that. It's just a compilation, but this was the first time I heard Institutionalize the newer version. I'm like, this is the fastest song ever. I'm on board. I'm way on board. So here's both those songs, the old and the new. Check it out. God damn it. Check it out if you're curious. Curious. Um, so yeah, I was way into like earlier Suicidal. Um, I didn't like when they got too funky, but then they got kind of good again when Freedom came out. Freedom. But Suicidal Tendency's best album, obviously. How will I smile? How will I laugh tomorrow if I can't even smile today? Man, that's a good one. Frick. All right, just one Pepsi, says Grungy Nick. God damn it. And then Fred uh, Durst s strolls in and is like, I'm the one who came up with that line. All I wanted was a Pepsi, just one Pepsi. And I know he's referencing them, but it's like, dude, you stole their trademark line. Strike one, Frederick. All right. Although the first version of Institutionalized is better, says Veil Nomad. And I agree, way more raw energy. The thing I liked uh, as a kid when I heard that the newer one was it's just faster and it's like tighter. I, I was too young to really appreciate the, the, like, raw punk energy of, like, Minor Threat and Black Flag and early Suicidal when I was first exposed to them. So I was like, man, that new one's fast as frick. All right, Fred, worst. Love this one. And my mic is clipping like crazy tonight. That's fine. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Nothing. I don't even know what's going wrong here. All right, Suicidal Ten. That's just kind of a crazy album. You know, people have shirts with this on it. Like, what? What are you doing? Like, kids could be seeing that. Yeah, see that, kids? Frick. Here's a weird one. I just want to fly higher, higher than high. You remember they had two radio singles for this? One had the Jamaican man and one didn't. I don't know. If, I don't know which one came first. If they were like, man, it's missing something. And then in comes the Jamaican man. He's like, higher, higher than high. And they're like, yeah, we got it. Or if they were like, oh, no, it doesn't. We don't like the way that sounds. Take that out. And now it's radio single. All right. Their album before this one is super metal. Briggs, you're correct. And this one is like one tenth metal. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Sugar Ray. All right, for those that are wondering, here's the one that's metal, and then here's their single. Boom, got them both. All right, Sugar Ray used to be fast AF, says Grungy Nick. And I, I believe it, because uh, they have one song on here, the one that I've linked here, that is pretty god dang heavy. Uh, my brother's friend, Dingle Dude's friend Steve, 
put it onto a cassette tape for me with Helmet's Birth Defect. And I'm like, both these songs are kick-ass. And he also put the uh, Beastie Boys Tough Guy and Heart Attack Man on there. The two punk songs that Beastie Boys ever did, as far as I know. And I'm like, uh, this is the greatest tape ever. Steve, you did so, such good work here. All right, remember that time that the singer got mad when someone called them sugar gay, says Briggs? We're not gay. We're not gay. I do have frosted tips, and I really, I have eyebrows that are very well groomed, but that's neither here nor there. All right, whatever you want, Sugar Ray. I do like this album cover, though, how it looks like pinball. Kind of well done. I'll give it to him. It is weird that he's shirtless here. I'll, I'm just going to, I'm just going to body shame him. Usually when guys are shirtless, they have some definition. He's got Edward Furlong body. That's not a bad thing. It's just, just a comment I'm making. Sugar Ray, and then he went on to be on, like, uh, E.T. or, uh, Entertainment Tonight or something like that. I don't know. Man, that song was... That song... If you guys think about what 1997 was about, that song. Whoa. June 1997. We're hearing that song a million times a day. Supermarket. Commercials. Movie trailers. Oh, my God. The Proto Dad Bod. Yeah, he might as well have the Proto Dad Bod. But Hairless, too. That's the other thing. It's like a seal. I mean, I... I'm not one to... Oh, man. I don't take my shirt off, so... K kudos to you, Sugar Ray. Uh, front man. I forget his name. All right, ugh, says Asteroid Blues. All right, but that Mark McGrath, that's his name, is so dreamy. Well, he does have, he's got the right face for it, but the, the eyebrows really, something weird about that. There's something weird about when men get their eyebrows, like, perfectly trimmed. You know what it looks like to me? You guys remember in Terminator 1 when he's poking his eye out in the sink with a scalpel, and it cuts to that quick shot where his whole face is just like a, a plaster face. It's not even a real head on a body. That's what it looks like to me, like... That doesn't look right. That doesn't look like a... That's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. As a kid, I'm like, he's cutting his eyeball. Oh my God, how did they do that? Or when I was a kid, I thought I thought Arnold Schwarzenegger grew his hair long to play Conan. Didn't realize you could just get wigs that kind of look real. Like, wow, that's commitment. All right. Cash was my fave from this album, says Grungy Nick. Oh, Grungy Nick's got a favorite? Shout up, guys, check out Cash. If you want to know what Grungy Nick's fave song on the album was, get cashed out of your mind. All right, here's one. I don't know if anyone here likes Sonic Youth. I don't think I like Sonic Youth, but I checked this out. It seemed like a weird experimental album for them. That reminds me exactly of the songs my friends and I made when I was in grade 11. Uh, we just had a tape recorder in the room, one acoustic guitar, and then whatever percussions we could play in the room. And we did three people doing vocals on it. I mean, sans the vocals. That's what this album sounds like. Three 17-year-olds in a room with no percussion, and one acoustic guitar. Love Sonic Youth, says Grungy Nick. This is a weird one. And but, but by the way, it was actually pretty good. I was like, wow, this is actually not the worst thing. Not the worst thing that I could have heard. And I don't think this is, I don't think this is canon Sonic Youth. Grungy, is this like, and then their fourth studio release, this one. Or was this like, you know, their Christmas album? All right. I like Sonic Youth in the Simpsons Lollapalooza episode where Homer did the cannonball trick, says Briggs. Were they the ones that took, uh... What's his name? Frank? No. Peter? No. Peter Frampton's sandwich? Sonic Youth is in my cooler! <laughs> Homer Simpson smiling politely. Peter Frampton. Do you feel? That's a great episode. Alright guys, goddamn. I feel like such a traitor to metal. I know this is one of the four pillars of thrash metal. I don't even... I don't know much about Megadeth. I've heard enough Megadeth to go like, alright, they seem like the one of the four pillars. Actually, Exodus is probably the one that, that stayed the truest to thrash metal. But next to Exodus, Megadeth was like, we're still going to rock hard. We're not going to, like, tone it down. Whereas, uh, what the, I don't even remember the name. Oh, God. Ride the Lightning. Why well, don't even remember the name of the band. Guys, I'm losing my mind here. Megadeth used to, ah, oh, frick. You guys know what, Metallica, frick. Uh, there's too much rolling in my head, man. Too much going on. Symphony of Destruction. Um, but I like... Megadeth. I, I like Megadeth. I just, it's one of those bands where it's like, I have to go look at the whole discography. Oh, man. So I don't know where this one stacks up. I listen to it. I'm like, man, for 1997, this is rocking pretty hard. Because whereas Metallica was like, hey, 1997, we're going to change genres and go like commercial metal, you know, or commercial really, really, really hard rock. I don't know if you can even call it metal anymore. Megadeth, though, is like, yo, we're still metal, bro. Hey, bro, we're still metal. And I like that Dave Mustaine has a bit of a chip on his shoulder. And he's always kind of had that. I like that. Gives it a weird energy. All right, that was their experimental stuff, says Grungy Nick for uh, Sonic Youth. Uh, Non-canon is a great way to describe it. Okay, good to know. All right, I saw them live on the Rust in Peace tour. Jesus! 
Wasn't Rust in Peace from the 80s? Where was Rust in Peace? Was that early 90s? That's like their main album, wasn't it? Or did they did they come back? That's Briggs saying that. Well, goddamn. Isn't this the one that has the hockey song on it? Crush them. I hope so. Goddamn. If they gotta get... Megadeth has to get their due. Goddamn. Metallica got their due. Megadeth still not getting their due. And Dave Mustaine rocking that uh, strawberry blonde hair. All right. Crush them. Also Goldberg's intro. Oh, man. Rust in Peace is where it's at. Yeah, that's the only thing. If I was to hear... If I was to tell people like, oh, Megadeth. Rust in Peace. Got it. That's all I know about uh, Megadeth. I'm pretty sure they're pretty good, though. I'm pretty sure they're pretty good. All right, I just got to catch you guys up. John Bon Jovi had an album come out this month. It's not very good. Where's the balls? He lost his balls. Freaking shot through the heart. Get back to it. Slippery when wet. Where's your balls, buddy? Wash those balls. Slippery when wet. Get them back out there. I don't know where you put them. Frick. All right, I don't know why I'm even mentioning this. Iced Earth. I think I should like Iced Earth. I want to like Iced Earth. I don't know what Iced Earth is or what they're doing. It's like a mix of a bunch of stuff. This one at least seemed heavier than the last one. They're like, man, we got a lot of flack for not being super heavy last time, so we got to go real heavy. All right. That's all I can say about that. Dave Mustaine was also also a dick for 40 years. Yeah, I think he had an alcohol problem or drug problem or something, right? He's been uh, he's been having a rough go. All right, to be fair, all the people Dave Mustaine interacted with were also dicks. Oh, fair enough. Unpopular opinion, says Chicken Tendo. All right. As a New Jerseyan, I can't stand John Bon Jovi. Well, I don't think... Overall, I stand John Bon Jovi, but Slippery When Wet, I'm way on board with. I'm way on board with that. That one just sounds like the 80s to me. That reminds me of, we moved to BC, West Coast, when I was in basically the same year that Slippery When Wet came out. And that has solidified that album, those songs, as like, that's just what that sounds like. That move from uh, Alberta to BC, oh man. Iced Earth is prog metal. That got really deep into Icewind Dale and D&D campaigns, says Briggs. <laughs> that kind of sounds okay to me. All right, John Bon Jovi was only good when making themes for the Young Guns movies. What were his themes for that? I don't even remember. When I was a kid, uh, grade 12, I was all about contradicting uh, stories. So I would have a Snow Dogs poster up in my room right next to an Exhumed poster. All right. Like that that contradicts each other nicely. So when I was a kid, I had a Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi patch right next to my vanilla ice patch on my pants, right next to my Exodus patch. No one it, someone wanted to bully me, they'd be like, I don't something about this is wrong. Uh, uh, just carry on. Thank you, sirs. Alright, now here we go. Pop punk was starting to make its big big comeback. Now, I know Green Day was like, hey, man, we're pop punk. And we're... No, no, Green Day's not pop punk. Green Day is just straight up like pop. Um, they want to call themselves pop punk. Uh, maybe they had a little edge, but uh, this is what I mean when I'm talking pop punk. Like the fast, like this album is straight up punk. Like a 90, like a 90s punk. It's all fast. Do -bit, do -bit, do -bit, do -bit. That's what I think of when I think of punk. Um, so this is where Blink-182 is just starting to dig their heels and they didn't even have their drummer yet at this point. The one that's all tattooed up and everyone's like, oh, man, uh. He wasn't even in this one. Oh, frick. All right. Fast like Scott. No, because Scott doesn't have the balls, man, to do do bit do bit do bit do bit It doesn't work with their uh, op on the upbeat guitar riff. They want to go. They want to have some balls and do that drum beat. I don't know if those. <laughs> I don't know if that drum beat has balls. They are fast. I will say it's fast. But some jazz is really fast, too. And I'm like, eh. Eh. It's got to be. There's an energy to the fastness. Like a. a I don't know. Chaos energy of Ska. But I call it chaotic. It, You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds spazzy. Spazzy energy. That's what Ska's energy is. And I don't like that. Spazzy. It's like getting tasered. That's the energy of spaz. To, or a spaz Ska to me. Not hating. That's my uneducated guess. All I've heard is the two Ska albums last month. Alright. What? That's how every Ska song starts. Is that how they start? Because I like that drum beat. If you show me some ska with that drum beat, I might actually like it. I don't know. Cannot confirm or deny. All right, Veil Nomad, give me some links. I can't check those because then I'm going to drop my channel. It's going to get all... Uh, were you posting their main... Uh, was it Damn It? Did you post Damn It there? He posted Damn It. He was right to do it. I'm going to do that here right now. Everyone, just so you know what we're talking about. This was 1997. They're like, guess what, everyone? Blink! I don't know why it's... Oh, it's supposed to be Blink-182. Fine. It's Link-182 now. I'm Link-182-ing you guys this track. Now, I just want to show you guys something. A little taste of where I came from. And Veiled Nomad, actually. 
Veiled Nomad, you might appreciate this. Or you might actually hate it. I think some people did actually hate this. I'm gonna show you guys a punk band from our hometown on the same year. So pop, this this band became a pop punk band. Um, they were kind of on the silly side of pop punk. Oh, so was Blink-182, but anyways, this is Gob, a local punk band from our hometown. Our home freaking town. They used to go to the high schools around here and hand out flyers. They'd be like, you guys wanna come to our show at the Langley Civic Center? That's where there's a hockey rink in one room and then another room where you could have little, little tiny concerts and they would do a lot of concerts there. All right, Langley, BC represents. So this was Gob, ass scene on TV. They did a little split with another local band, Another Joe. Another Joe, not very good. Um, Gob, though, pretty damn good. And the album they had that came after this one in 1998 was very much, I think, the reason I'm showing this to you now, I think Blink-182 was like, done change the game. And they're like, man, that's the direction we're going from now on. All right, Gob did an interesting paint it black cover. That they did. I don't know if it got popular in the States, but... Uh, I was under the impression that Gob was getting big in the States because of that song, but it's probably just because they played it on the radio every five seconds here in Canada. Gob. I just wanted to share. I think that's a fun thing to share. That came out this month as well. Actually, technically, the very butt end of last month. Fine. So shoot me. All right, maybe hot take. All 90s music suck. Art? I think it's my least favorite decade for music overall, and that's mostly because of the, the, the middle. 95, 96, 97, 98. I think things were things were really hard there because they didn't know what they were doing, but they were all moving in a certain direction, and uh, I think they were making the wrong choices. I think they were actually making sellout choices. I think a lot of people were, but I think by the end of that era, they'd started to smarten it up. You know, that's my hot take. All right, filmed at the Langley BMW Park at the Civic Center. Is that? <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Oh, is that where they did? Uh, did you just post? Vale, did you just post soda? Uh. BMX, not uh, BMW. Okay, yeah, I assume like BMW. That doesn't sound right. All right, there's Gob, hot local punk band. All right, we got to get going. Taking forever, and it's, damn it, we're gonna we're gonna be right on the cusp. Uh, by the way, sorry to do this, everyone. That's the cover for Gob. That is a male behind. I'm sorry, it happened. And that happened. All right, guys, I don't know much about Faith no more either. I can't help it. I don't think they had uh, Mike Patton on this. I don't know much about Mike Patton either. I don't know much about anything that's going on at this point in time in history. So, um, yeah, Soda, he says. Okay, I figured that's the one you'd post. That song was a, that was a good track. I like that one. Uh, couple good songs on this is Veiled. This album is great, says Grungy. All right, now, interesting. Now, the first couple tracks were really not doing it for me, and I actually bailed out really quick on this one because I was taking too long. Maybe I missed a lot of the real bangers, but, yeah, this one just wasn't rocking me, man. It just wasn't doing it, but I dig. Because one of the guys in the comments of the videos I was watching said, like, man, I'm having a rough rough month, rough everything. I'm, I'm disillusioned, man, blah, blah, blah. But listening to this album again reminded me everything's awesome and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whoa, huge. And then I listened to it. I'm like, I'm not getting that. But, you know, whatever. Each his own. All right. Ash, the Ashes is great, says Grungy Nick. All right. That's the one I'll check out in the future. All right. Does this have the easy cover? I don't know. Grungy Nick may be the expert on that one. Now, you guys know I'm a big fan of Bruce Dickinson. I've, I've shouted him out before. Art, Bruce, Bruce Dickinson, singer for Iron Maiden, is a good example of why the 90s were kind of a hard decade. So he goes solo, and he's like, I'm going to do it on my own. I don't know why he left Iron Maiden. I don't know what the story was behind that. But the last album he put out, P.U., real stinker, a real room clearer, all right? This one sounds exactly like Iron Maiden, If you and it sounds probably better than Iron Maiden did at the time. I don't know if they were all taking a break or what. Freaking bug in here. Uh, they came back for the Wicker Man album whatever that was, uh, when I was in grade 12. And I remember I liked the Wicker Man song a lot. That was Bruce Dickinson going back, so I don't know if Iron Maiden was off. But uh, this one, pretty good. Not not a barn burner, not the greatest I've ever heard in my life, but... Uh, 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 what was it? I have one song off this that I thought was okay. Um, and I will now share it in the chat. One song off this I thought was okay. I was like, this sounds a lot like... Um, Iron Maiden to me. This sounds like Iron Maiden to me. Alright, what did I... Did I not post the right gob song? Frick me. Alright, let me post the right gob song. God damn it. What is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong with me? Alright, posting in the Discord. Everyone in the Discord's where all these links are archived forever. Alright, let's get going. We got... Oh my god, there's so many. Testament. Sounds kind of like old school thrash is really trying to fight new metal but they can't quite get away from it 
So it has like new metal production with kind of thrash and industrial, maybe a tad bit of industrial. Testament's kind of a weird one. It's like, are they hardcore or are they not? I don't know. They're, uh, they're middle ground. Saw Testament, same venue with Megadeth. Frick. All right, well, I bet you live they shred their, their buns off. I bet you live they're pretty goddamn good. Now, here's a here's the problem here. I Okay, Testament, good. Like, would you say the discography, you could pick at random and it's all good? Because I would think if any if any era would be bad, it would be this album, right? Live, they effing blew the roof off. Well, goddamn it, that makes me want to check out more Testament. Testament and Megadeth are just like, they're big players in the game that I just haven't, I haven't given them their due yet. But man, I know so much about stupid other stuff. It's like, there's just not enough time. Especially when you're going back on it all. All right, so here's a bit of a guilty pleasure. Now, if I had it just my way, if I just had it my way, guys, this might be pick of the month, but it isn't. Slick Shoes. Uh, Rusty. This is a Christian punk band. Probably one of the fastest freaking bands in the history of punk. I mean, they're playing the beat so fast. It's, uh, it's almost unbelievable. Now, I have some, uh, you know, you guys might be like, oh, come on, Rad. Christian punk. They don't actually talk about anything Christian in this. I just know they're... They're on a Christian punk label. They're Christians. They do Christian stuff. There's two tracks. I'm I'm not ashamed anymore. I used to be like, oh, I can't. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I don't even care anymore. Guys, guilty pleasure. So shoot me. These guys are, uh, they're actually shredding their buns off. These are some rift out of their mind punk songs. And this was kind of before the tech metal phase was getting in there. And uh, this was kind of like early burgeoning of like just baby sized tech punk. Baby sized. Not like time signature, but they were getting like. All right, don't mess around. And at the speed they're playing at, every metalhead should at least be like, at least that's pretty damn fast, guys. Guys, that's pretty damn fast. The thing I like about Christian music, especially punk, is they're so clean. It's like they can't afford to be hard, but they they play this super fast music, super clean. It's almost like you get to like take the veil off, veil, take that veil off, and be like, oh, that's what it sounds like underneath. Ah, oh, I get it. Christian punk ska. Uh, no, these guys had the balls. To not be like, oh man, we gotta do a little scar or else they'll kick us out of the church, man. Ah, oh, frick. Like, we'll skank, we'll do whatever you want, just don't kick us out of the church. Alright, same rust, uh, same rusty that made Sophomoric? Uh, no, Slick Shoes is the name of the band. Uh, Rusty's the album. They do a great, uh, uh, Goonies reference at the start of this album. It's like, oh, alright, good for you boys. Good for you boys. They're probably still paying the royalties on that. Like, oh, frick, we shouldn't have done that. Sean Astin's gonna break our knees, oh god. All right, next up. That would have been my pick if it was just up to me. I listen to that one in my car, and I turn it down when people I know are in the car. Never again, goddammit. Now, here's one that, like, it was this close to being pick of the month. Oh, this close, guys. Summer Camp, Pure Juice, holy shnikes. All right, like Striper. I don't know, does Striper sing about God and Jesus? Because I have a hard time listening to Christian music when it's, like, all about Jesus, all about God. Because it's just, like, love songs that way, too, like... You guys listen to enough love songs where they say the the phrase all night long? What are you what are you talking about all night long? Do you know how red and raw your genitals would be if you went all night long legit? I mean, come on, man. How much lube do you have? Like the all night long, I bought the biggest tub of lube that you've ever seen. Like that would have to be and then I'd be like, "Oh, okay. Well, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine, everyone." All night long, you're going to be late for work tomorrow. Oh, girl. You know? Real raw. All right, Jesus forever, dog. I'm actually not that opposed anymore. I think, you know, some of the morals in those, some of the morals actually carry over in the real world very nicely. You're like, all right, fine. You don't have to take all the morals. That would be what a lunatic would do and be like, you know what? I'm going to take this uh, organized uh, group and just follow everything they say. Like, whoa, red flag, red flag. And that goes for any, any organization. Man, you should always question what the weirdos are saying. Because there's some goddamn weirdos in the positions that are telling you what to do. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. I have some reservations about the weirdness that you're spouting right now. Now, goddamn it, guys. Summer camp, pure juice. Gotta go. Eh, Briggs is saying, oh, man. We, Briggs is like, I'm not a fan of summer summer camp. Mm -mm, not for me. All right, gotta go all night long. Oh, he's saying, okay, gotta go all night long to satisfy, satisfy king of kings. Well, I guess from that, from that perspective, I now see... It's also like, man, love songs are always about, like, that first time you're infatuated with someone. It's never about, like, Girl, we've been together for 20 years, and we have a kid together, and we love each other. No, it's always like, girl, I want to bone down. And it's always, like, it's always, like, 80s glam metal guys. And you ever notice, like, some of these bands have multiple songs with a girl's name in the title? What is this, a, a season of Seinfeld where you date, like, 12 different people? Like... How can you have this much passion? And then what, are you gonna sing that song again later? Don't you wanna change the name out? 
Won't the current girl you're dating be like, hey, what's up with that song? That's someone else's name. Oh, no. All right. Girl, says Briggs. Uh, we got a mortgage together in different sleep cycles, girl. <laughs> that would be that would be my version. We got a cat that meows all night and I have to sleep on the couch for a year and a half straight. All right. What the hell was Rad resting his elbow on there? Magic. Pure magic. Ah! Oh my god! My, oh, frick. That's right. Voodoo magic is now a staple on the show. Fred is doing the incantations as we speak. Fred, never stop being you, buddy. All right, let me just check on my computer here. All right, good. Everything is still good. All right, Summer Camp, let me post you guys a couple links because you're probably like, Summer Camp? I don't remember who this is. Well, God damn it, let me show you. God damn it, let me goddamn show you right friggin' now. I think there was a Summer Camp song in basketball. Am I wrong about that? I think they played a Summer Camp song. Uh, but yeah, uh, my brother bought this when he saw the music video. Dingle Dude bought this one. I remember it was one of those ones where he would be playing it. I'd be like, I kind of like this, but I couldn't admit it. All right, Gibbs gives me the giggles. Rads gets me giggling. Or just gigging. I'm getting them gigging. Guys, don't sleep on summer camp. If you guys sleep on summer summer camp, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Is that what you want? Because you know I'm going to be in bed early. You know. I'm drinking the Diet Pepsi Cafe Frick. All right. It might be a no-brainer, obviously. Frick me. Pick of the month. Two pop culture refreshers back to back. Napalm Death inside the torn apart. Frick me. Napalm Death is like the gold standard. If you want to be metal that survives the 90s lull, goddamn, no one did it better than Napalm Death. They went in 1996 and 1997 and did alter their, you know, core structure uh, for the way they're writing music, but they did it so perfectly. They actually meshed 90s values with. Well, they're technically grindcore, but I think I'm just gonna call them death metal because they sound death metal-y to me. They took death metal and they took the 90s like commercial stuff and they made something successful and really good. Still good to go back to now. That's the, that's the true test. You can go back to this and be like, that's pretty goddamn good. Guys, if you want to know, okay, Napalm Death, track, what track? Uh, Napalm Death, blah, 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 blah. Reflect on conflict. I'm going to post a track. Last track. This is the pick of the month. We're, we're going to get to games now, guys. Goddamn, what a long intro. Uh, Grungy, you're right. We're an hour in. Frick me. A lot of goddamn music. This we'll go. We're going late. You know we're going late. You know we're going to play the games, baby. Hey, baby. You know we're playing the games, baby. I'm doing my Bill Clinton again. All right. There. It's posted in Discord. Okay. Grade 8 or 9. Turn all the lights off in your friend Mark's basement. Get... A black light. Turn it on in the basement. Draw on your face with a neon highlighter. A beard, a little beard. Then have a pillow fight to the death with neon glowing pillows. That's what we did to this song. This song was playing while I distinctly remember us hitting my friend James uh, while he was laying on the ground and he bonked his head on the hard cement floor and then laid there for what seemed like a really long time and we thought he was faking it and then like 10 minutes later he just got up and started punching our other friend Curtis but it was actually me who hit him in the head whoopsies that's fine him and Curtis had that relationship he needed to punch someone and he couldn't punch me it wouldn't have been right it wouldn't have been the what you'd expect all right if your band is called Napalm Death and you write a ballad for your album is that a ballad if your band is called Napalm Death, you can't write a ballad for your album. That's true. And I'm not a big fan of ballads, unless Richard Page from Mr. Mr. Singing Them. That's the only one. Midnight Angel from Pages. Holy frick. I'll give you goosebumps. All over. Richard Page, one of my top five singers of all time. Right up there with Jade. Right up there with Roland Gift uh, from Fine Young Cannibals. Right up there with John Farnham. And I don't remember who the fifth one was, but he's up there. All right, that's why they survived the 90s. That's true. Yeah, they had no ballad in there. That's crunchy. Or Veiled saying that. Uh, yeah, that, that's all you need. Don't do a slow song. Frick, man. Why are we going so damn slow? All right, Art's saying, uh, hey, do you remember creating chat line profiles on the phone at Mark's? I do. And uh, because here's the thing. The chat lines, the like adult chat lines, they were free for women. And we're kids with no money. So you would just call and pretend to be females. You get a free inbox. And weirdos would leave messages on there. And it was hilarious. All right, we called and made high-pitched voices so we could go on. Yep, 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 yep. Or call the hooked-on phonics number one two three, or one eight hundred A B C D E F G. I don't know why. 
that's just one of the only numbers you can remember. All right, guys. We did it. We survived. We have been refreshed. That is, that is not very, that is a long refreshment time. It's a good thing we have an extra big bottle of Diet Pepsi caffeine free. It's a good thing. All right, now we got to read some goddamn magazines before I lose my goddamn mind. All right. All right, that's been the pop culture refresher. We'll see you guys. And is this the right screen? Do I have the right screen? Oh my God. Yes, I think I do. All right, guys, let's get, let's get over there and let's play some games. Read a magazine and play some games. God freaking damn. All right, thought I heard the maintenance man yell, you suck, again. I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of this man, as you know. All right, goddamn, look at this cover. We are in for a treat tonight. We're not playing any of the games off this cover, but goddamn, that cover looks good. I'd play that. All right, no Mortal Kombat, as far as I can tell. All right. All right, man, I was gonna, we have, don't, we just don't have time. I was gonna start with the first one, which is, do you guys remember Frank Thomas? He was advertising his baseball game for like 10 issues straight before. There's a sequel, and it's not very good. I was gonna play it, but I don't really feel like playing it. Look at these pitching mechanics, though. God freaking damn it. I'm always super fascinated by pitching. It was all I did when I was playing dodgeball. I had to teach myself how to throw. I didn't have no coach. I had to like freeze frame pictures and be like, how do you, how do you do that now? It's like, oh, I got it now, I got it now. And then became one of the most lethal throwers in the league for my size. All right. All right, we do not need to play Wild Arms. That is just a straight up RPG. But at least, at least you can name your attacks funny names. You can actually go in and edit them by pixel, pixel by pixel. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. All right, the big hurt, says Desi's butt. All right, Sean Aston's gonna break our knees. Oh, frick, Yong Street, welcome. All right, break, it's not, e uh, is it ever not? All right, I'm reading upwards again. You know what I should start doing is just highlighting where I am. Grungy Nick called it pop culture refresher over an hour, yeah. I thought I was gonna get through it faster. Frick, a lot of music though. Bum, 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 bum. Bass. All right, NetPro, let's all log into our NetPro account. All right, we're looking good. N64, we played. Star Fox 64, we've done it already, God damn it! It's a good RPG, says Art. Uh, he's talking about, uh, what is that called again? Wild Arms. Any game, show, movie with a giant mech monster is a win for him. Fair enough. I never got to play much of that. I know you had it. I was like, should I borrow that? Uh, I was gonna start the show with this one, Battle Sport, but I don't wanna do that either. We have too many games to get to. This game, or this issue went so deep. I've never tested so many games for an episode. We don't need to, we don't need to pick up the scraps here. Oh my God, Felicia just rocking it. She's not ashamed of those hits, nor should she be. All right, ladies always trying to hide their hips. It's like, no man, that's part of the, that's part of the deal. Part of the package. All right, visors, you know it's the, the mid 90s. Or wait, this guy was ahead of the curve, actually. Like, I want to wear visors all the time. And listen to Sum 41 all the time. Man, red asphalt. Ah, ah, asphalt. I kept saying asphalt last time. Asphalt. Straight up asphalt. I uh, played it like 12 episodes ago. A little early. Jumped the gun on that one, I guess. Machine Hunter. All right, now, now we got to keep going. All right, but we do also need to buy ourselves a freaking Samsung GX. We do. We're gonna play all these hot games. We need some Samsung GX. Now, I didn't even look at this, man. I was I was working on music too much this week. Oh, man. Now, apparently this uh, peripheral did come out. Never seen it ever. Weird and wild stuff. The 64 Double D, boom. Getting Double D'd out of their minds. They know their market. All right, hot track this one. Oh, I missed it. Was that the last one? Art saying that, hot track overdrive. All right, only in Japan, says Briggs. What the hell, what, what games were for it? And do they have emulation for it? Because I'll check it out, goddammit. Remember, Scapegoat Wax, where the love song was about a girl in a grocery aisle. I don't remember that. Earthbound 64? Are they talking about Earthbound 64 somewhere here? Saying like, don't worry, it's coming out. It really will come out, don't worry. You should worry, there's no way in hell it's coming out. All right, Lara Croft was 3D, or 32D D Zing. I don't know if I said that right, but. Oh man, Mangle Me Elmo. This was the 90s. This was the 90s I want to be a part of. Like Mortal Kombat has taken over. Even the freaking Sesame Street have to be cutting each other's heads off. And look at this guy. <laughs> Yo, got the 64, dude. Freaking NWO. Wow. 
Oh, it's the Nintendo 64 World Order. I'm telling you guys, the console war was real. And it started right here at the N64. They're like, all right, we don't have Final Fantasy VII anymore. Frick. All the little PlayStation Super fans, like myself, said, all right, I'm out of here. I just stood up and walked out of the theater right at the start of the movie. Gone. Didn't come back for 25 years, okay? The new order is Nintendo 64, pal. Man, that Mario is done fricking around. All right, 32 double D, you goof. I love you. It's The thing is, Yong, when I'm reading this stuff, man, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, what the hell's going on here? All right, man, we haven't even played a game yet. Where the hell are the games? The, don't worry. They're getting there. All right, N64 jumps on the 149 bandwagon. Oh, man, it's heating up. It's going to get crazy in here. The console wars are just heating up, man. There's going to be so much bloodshed. Frick. Because it's uh, June, right? Okay, so they're going to dip down just for Christmas time, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here we go. Guys, check it out. First game of the... First game of the show, War Gods on N64. Now, who knew it looked so awful? Because it does. This is not a great showing for War Gods. War Gods was great. I'm going to say the arcade version and the PlayStation version seem to do a lot better than the N64 version. Now, I'll let you guys be the judge. I'll let you be the judge. I would never take that away from you. All right, let's, uh, let's get the gameplay going here. Wait, you know, we got to do it. You know we got to do it. Gameplay, Project 64, let's open you up, and lower you down there, okay good, alright, N64 ended up being 249 in the states, holy, they did, they missed that mark big time, War Gods was the tech demo for MK4, it is midway, right, yeah, okay, 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 alright, let's play some goddamn games, I'm not messing around with these goddamn War Gods anymore, I'm just, I'm very surprised at how this did not this did not work on the N64 very well. We will see. Oh, we'll see. All right, let's uh, transition over there now. Uh, I don't need to be in studio mode anymore. All right, let's get going. Gameplay, please. Dead silence in the club, please. If I hear anyone talking, they're kicked out for life. All right, let's go. Boom, 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 Oh, the projector screen is ready to rock. Everyone's just chanting out of their minds. Look at the pixelization here. Something funny's going on. No animation in the background. Very strange. It does have a good frame rate, oddly enough. All right, talking, yep, yep, yep. Oh, you know we gotta be the fine ass ladies. Look at the pixelization here. Which is weird, because the game isn't very pixelized. All right, there, the background is animated there. That's a little strange. Goddamn meltdown. All right, look at the graphics here. A lot better, right? I won't play this for very long because it's a haggard fighting game even on its own. And meltdown has my number, man. Meltdown is a savage M effort. The thumbstick is not the great... Oh, frick! All right, I don't... All right, wait. All right, I, I just did the raddest move in the history of the game and totally failed to capitalize. Frick me. Warhead. Oh, it's Warhead. Uh, fine. Wrong. Son of a B. Warhead is the Fred Couples of this game. Oh, man, he wishes. Oh, man, I axed his face. Okay, I, I got the... There we go. Fireballs galore. I don't know which button is my jump into the foreground button. You can't even try. This guy is all over you right from the get-go. That's all I got. Oh, man. Uppercuts galore. Oh, something's extracting itself. I don't even know what. I got, oh, come on. D cross him up. God damn it. All right. Axe in the face. We're bringing it back. Boys and girls, we're bringing it back. All right. She has a sword and an axe. That's impressive. Round three. Looks like 80 Shades Johnny Cage. Oh, man, we both jumped by each other like freaking Ninja Gaiden. Oh, no, he's got the advantage here. All right, now's my chance. Get there, lady. Oh, man. Frick. All right, let him just smash me. I'm in danger. Oh, he smashed me. He smashed me good. 
All right. Warhead wanted it more. I just I wanted to quickly start with that one. I don't want to play that one for very long because we've we've done War Gods a couple times. I just wanted there to be now a record on record of that game on this stream because we're doing N64 these days. We're we're dabbling. We're just dabbling our guts out. Now let's see what the heck is next. Let's get some tunes going back here. God damn it. Oh god. You guys know what song it is? Jesus Christ. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, that, that song thought it could get by me. Not today, god damn it. Not with a solo that hot. Right, does anyone have any, uh... Yeah, the Grand Canyon course. Love the dabbles. Just a quick, dude, we're just dabbling. We're just dabbling in there. Guys, Wild 9 is shiny games. Or shiny entertainment. Fred outdid himself on this track. Yeah, well, he's the only one that can play the solo. Maybe he was part of the writing process. I don't know. Yet to be seen. He did not, uh, he did not actually write this track. He can just play the solo phenomenally, flawlessly. Uh, Wild 9 sure made uh, grungy or car. Welcome back. Uh, feel like uh, I had a horribly infected, amputated toe. All right. Yeah, Jesus. We're not going to be sleeping. Played that entire game, he says. Loving the giant Diet Pepsi. I just, you know, it's product placement. We're trying, we're getting that Pepsi sponsorship whether they like it or not. All right, Pepsi, get on board with the Fred Couples Nation. Oh man, we'll be going to bed at a reasonable time tonight. There's no caffeine, but all the party. Already gone flat. I guess I have been yapping for an hour straight. All right, if anyone wants me to play this, I will. Otherwise, I might move on because I didn't test it. Oh, Fred. All right, nothing says good ad like 90s feet grossness. Yeah, that was 90s in a nutshell. Why were all the 90s, uh, mid-90s magazine game ads so gross? That was the edge, man. It was, You know what it started with? Car, you know what it started with? John Connor from uh, T2. It's like, oh, you know what's cool? It's like being attitudinal. Just in your face, man. And then it just kept going. Mortal Kombat comes up. And they're like, you know what's cool? Ripping guys' hearts out. And ripping guys' heads off. And they're like, you know what? Let's just carry that forward. Grossing people out is cool. All right, play it. Uh, it's sucking in the emulator. Will be fun, says Dogen. Oh, ye have little faith. This is the one I didn't test, so this could really suck. I don't even know if I uh, extracted the disc. We'll see. We'll see if I even have it. I know I, I've acquired it. For now, just jam to these marimba solos. Wild Nine. Alright, it is ready to rock. Fine. Fine there, Dogen. Ye of little faith, Dogen. Alright, let's get the chat going back up here. Ah, oh, what the frick. There's the chat. Alright, it's the kind of ad that would make AVGN staple the pages together. Yeah. <laughs> alright, it's from the team that made Orthern Gym. Yes, it is. Young. I said, it's gonna be fun, he says. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. I've heard good things about the game. I know it is well touted in some circles. We shall see. All right, let's play some GD games right the frick now. That is not what we need. We need it to be bigger on the screen. Here we go. Long and low. I don't need two things on the screen. What? Get off the screen, you son of a rascal. All right. Oh, God, no. Did Tommy Tallarico do the score for this? Because then I'll probably get a copyright strike. All right, he did. Oh, man, it's freaking Tron up in here. I'm in big trouble, buddy, apparently, says Car. All right, should have enough points uh, for Sneakster's emote now, right? Oh, yeah, I got more than enough. I just, I can't settle on a on an image for it. Um, uh, There's his logo. Oh, it's, yeah, do you have a logo? What a guy. I saw him at PAX once. I was actually taller than him, which is surprising because I'm not very tall. He's pretty short. What? Well, they're advertising this in the magazine now, but it doesn't come out until 1998. Now, that's interesting. Isn't that interesting? All right, Wild Nine. Everyone, be quiet in the club, please. Just silence. Just silence right now. Sneakers sound like ninja esque emote, like a ninja. Well, we were gonna go with uh, Gary Busey because he did sneak himself right into someone's house in their attic in Hider in the House. But now I have to pick a a perfect Gary Busey image, and I'm just I'm not sure where the right one is. Classic Busey says Desi. And I'm thinking like I would like to do a picture, a screen grab. Of, I guess I don't want to make fun of Gary Busey. He's been in an accident, all right? But what's the best? Man, they just throw you right in. 
All right, it's only left and right. Now that's interesting. I want to I want to tribute the man appropriately, even though he is the king sneakster. All right, hold the beam button for maximum reach. I don't even know what the beam button. Oh, okay. I am beaming. I'm beaming, buddy. I was thinking surviving the game during his monologue. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, this is the 90s in a nutshell. All right, grab and hold enemies in the beam, then push the directional buttons left and right hard. All right, four slams should finish him off. All right. All right, hey, buddy, you might want to try and jump over those missiles instead of catching them. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for your head foot. Slam, slam. That is an interesting mechanic. Collect energy orbs to build up your rig power meter. All right, Sneakster in the house. <laughs> Sounds too much like a 90s sitcom. Starring LL Cool J. In the house, Sneakster in the house. All right, collecting 99 spinning green gears to earn a game continue. That is asking a lot. Hey, buddy, do you want to continue? You want to continue, buddy? Give me 99 orbs. What the frick? All right. I do have a limit to, oh, frick. All right, hey, buddy. You get one of those, you get one of these. Man, we are really high up right now. All right, how far are we? We're like four orbs in. I thought this was a good idea. It didn't work. All right, we got to try some of the other buttons. Where is my helper dog to tell me what the F I'm supposed to do? All right, double jump out of the question. L and R out of the question. All right, something funny's going on. All right, literally impossible. Oh, okay, uh, Sneakster in the house. I'm going to actually highlight this right here. Uh, there's his logo. Sneakster sounds like a ninja esque emote. Uh, I love Hyder in the house's car. Yeah, man, that ending scene... That ending scene. I won't even spoil it for people, but I'm sorry I couldn't be the man that you wanted me to be. What the frick? All right, anyone who's played this game before. Oh, I guess you got to push this block. I didn't realize we had pushing mechanics. Fine. All right, this game is if Pandemonium was good. That's Yonk Street with a 100% factual statement. This does seem like uh, a very Pandemonium vibe. All right, Karnge Outpost. Outposts are equipped with energy barriers that prevent anything from passing from one section to the next. You are somehow immune to it. Must be the rig. Oh man, well where'd I get the rig from? Oh god damn, don't fall in there. You're not you're not immune to that. That's giving him a Lundra vibe, says Art. Except that it's not an RPG. Oh frick, no, don't get killed! And now I'm jumping missiles like I'm a goddamn seasoned pro. Alright, I guess we're pushing it. You're pushing it, buddy. All right, the block can stop the missiles. Pro strats. Strats evolve. Get up there. Upsies. No, no, no. This is pretty uh, high quality music, I'll say. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we're on our way to getting one continue. All right, frick him. Is there a run? No, this was before games had run buttons. Oh man, I'm smashing them right under the floor. I don't know how they made music like this back in the day, because he didn't hire an orchestra. So he must have been using giga samples or something. Smash him! He must have been doing it on like Cakewalk. On a Windows 95 computer. Not ideal. Checkpoint! Frick him, says Grungy Nick. All right, he's Tommy Tallarico. He can do whatever the F he wants. Not necessarily just Tommy Tallarico. I just mean like the composers back in these days. It's a weird problem to solve on those old computers. All right, can't go wrong with Burt Reynolds. Oh, that means I missed something good. All right, Hyder in the house. Uh, and Malone seem to con constant recommendation for movies here. That reminds me. I have to send out some actual hard. Uh, I have to do some mailing. Grungy Nick needs his copy of uh, Malone and uh, Desi, I think. I'm, I, I have it all written down, but Desi, I think, uh, some other people. I can't even remember what the hell it is. Don't you worry, guys. It was just a busy holiday. Now that I finished that track, I have nothing on the go. So we are free and easy. All right, some fans are already turned on so that you can just jump into them. All right. Others are missing their power source and require a battery. Go find the tiger. All right. Oh, frick. I done fricked already. I don't know what happened there, but I'm okay with that. Not today, buddy. 
Tutorial missions. All right, sustained rig fire will connect you to the swing point. Hitting the direction buttons left and right will build your build up your swing momentum. Right, here we go. Swinging. Swingers with John Favreau. No. Nope. Up you get there. Get there. Okay, yeah. Uh, Frick him. He's Tommy Tallarico. Can't go wrong with Burt Reynolds. Oh, yeah. Take your time. I didn't even look. You know what? I don't even care anymore. If I get killed here, oh, I. Maybe I should have read that one a little closer. All right, here we go. Ready to rock. Not messing around. Fan engaged. I don't feel like doing this all again, so I will take my time. And the music not being like just completely out of its mind is kind of bumming me out. Get there! No! Oh, he didn't get there. Alright, I guess I have to push a block there. Fine, whatever you want. Oh no, I don't have 99 little coins. I won't be able to continue. Was there a block? Did I jump over? Oh, frick me. Watch this. I'm gonna let this guy go through the thing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it goes up and down. Fine. Hey, buddy. Now I see. I see what I have been doing wrong. Aced it. Oh, frick me. All right, baddies galore. Can't handle my truth. Bam. Smashed him. Oh, frick. They're going again. Okay. We're looking good. Sitting pretty. Wait, you know what I got to do? You know, if I don't do this, then everyone's going to be like, oh, he just played retro all night. Oh, my God. Wild nine. Fine. Looks better when you go and you're like, oh, this guy plays a lot of games. If you just do retro, they're like, this guy plays nothing. Oh, man, I'm hurt. Oh, he's okay. He took a pretty bad spill there, but he's okay. Oh, frick me. Also, we couldn't watch any movies this week because we were watching some Cobra Kai. Oh, man. Started out a little rocky. I was like, I don't know if they're going to pull it off. But then they're like, no, nah, we got it. Oh, congratulations. Not finished yet, though. We're one episode away. Boom. All right. Put the Energon Cube in. That's an oversight that they didn't let you put the enemies in the wind. Yeah, you know, if I was working on the game, I'd have done it. Oh, man. Here's the music happening. Pick it up. Get there. Man, he's taking some pretty hard falls here. Get there. Oh, Frank, you gotta want it. Wait, I'm just gonna say, hey, buddy, get over there. Okay, fine. Fine, I have to smash him. There, he can go down there. Hang out with that guy. All right, if you were out of missiles, just stand on the symbol and remember, I, I have missiles. What in the hell is going on here? All right, I'm going to get some missiles, and apparently, uh... Oh, frick, no! That guy has missiles. All right, did they show me how to shoot missiles? I don't think so. You think I would be here on my own? I don't think so. All right, guys, that's wild, man. I don't need to beat the whole level. If you're going to maybe go through two checkpoints in a level, you done fricked up. I'm glad we played that, though. I'm glad that worked out. Wild 9 in the bag, Okay. All right, back to reading the magazine. Frick me. Let's get the music going. Frick them. Oh, God. These tunes just cool you right down. All right, what the hell else are we dealing with here? N64. Ban boredom for only 149 And so they didn't actually go to 149 That's false advertising. Babbages. Are they still around? Speaking of Cobra Kai, there's a Pat Morita uh, documentary coming out on Netflix next month. Check that out. Pat Morita was rad. Miyagi's such a good character. The wax on, wax off. It wasn't just a funny thing, you know. He's actually teaching Daniel how to do the motions. Oh, it's so brilliant. Because your brain will get in the way if you watch a guy going like this, blocking all these punches and be like, I know what he's doing. He's doing this, right? No. Got to wax on, wax off. That's going to be like, okay, you have to see the circles. You have to actually push and see the circle. Now your body knows what it's looking for. The circle. The paint has to go on evenly or else you're not doing it correctly. All right. God damn it. All right. Wow. N64 games were really expensive. I guess because, yeah, they were um, they were actually cartridges at that point. Everyone else went CD. That's why Square was like, hey, uh, hey, N64, we want to help you out here, but 
Oh, we have a big plan for this game. It's already on paper. It's humongous. We need to go CD Baby. We need CDs, baby. We need to go with CD Baby Publishing House. We need to. And then 64 is like, but all we got is these cartridges. We can't do two cartridges deep. That'll be a freaking $200 game. Like, sorry, it's not, we, our hands are tied. All those little PlayStation Super fans are going to leave for 25 years. Do you want that, Nintendo? Do you want that? Nintendo made their choice. All right. Fred Couples on Fred Couples Off. That's right. Turn it on. Turn it off. All right. Uh, were the other Karate Kid movies worth the time? One, two, and three are killer, man. Um, I'm not going to say that uh, three and two are as killer as number one. But um, they carry on. Literally, they carry on the day after. Karate Kid 2 takes place... The, like the next day, the next week after the tournament. And it was like eight years apart, or like several years apart, or four or five something. It's still in the 80s, but uh, Karate Kid 3, it's more goofy, but the stakes are really high. Like the bad guy in that movie is a lunatic. And that kind of is good. Dogen, thanks for stopping by, bruh. Um, yeah, I'd still check out. I, I don't know if the Hillary Swank one is worth watching. Never saw that one. Uh, but Pat Morita's in it, so. Eh. 3 is brilliantly bad says grungy nick i do like that um do you know they actually uh, terry silver's house is actually the blade runner apartment house same house love that you can tell by the the tiles on the wall uh terry silver is yeah okay remember when uh karate kids in the backyard and he's uh disillusioned because miyagi wasn't showing him how to do certain moves or something and so uh terry silver who's like the new bad guy in the movie who's working for crease walks into the backyard and uh Daniel's getting beaten up by the new like, young bully that's going to fight in the tournament who was a recruit, like a ringer that Cobra Kai brought in just to smash Daniel and they had this whole elaborate plan where like, go in the backyard, smash him then Terry Silver's going to walk in, stop you from smashing him, and then be like you know, Cobra Kai's not as bad as you think, man, blah 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 and so, um, the funny thing is he's beating up Daniel, this this new bully, and uh, Terry Silver comes in the backyard, uh, looking exactly like Robert from Art of Fighting, by the way and, uh he says, hey, what are you doing? Stop beating up that kid. And then the bat, the bully's like, hey, what are you, his father? And Terry Silver literally says, this is how it goes. What are you, his father? Maybe. That's a great line. That's a brilliantly bad line. All right. Mike Barnes is over the top. I hope he returns. I do too. Is he Terry Silver? Uh, me and Tendo often scream his trash talk when Daniel is down at each other. <laughs> he is deranged. He's a lunatic. I dig that. All right. Mike Barnes is the bully. Interesting. Yeah, he was... When he was dangling Daniel off the cliff, that's that's high stakes. You're trying to murder him now. Whoa. All right. Although, you know, in number two, the bad guy in number two, Chosen, was trying to kill Daniel, too. He wanted him dead. He wanted to stab him to death. <laughs> wow. Grungy Nick just using the actual... Man, he is really blasting Daniel, if that's the case. I dig it. All right, arcade hardware. Like, the, they have to bring Terry Silver back because for some reason he listened to Crease. And Crease is a loser. Why would he listen to Crease? All right, the actor who plays Chosen owns a restaurant in Seattle. Whoa, that's awesome. All right, do not disappoint uncle again. <laughs> uh, if you guys just look up uh, the Moody Blues, um, Moody Blues, uh, I can't remember the name of the song. Damn it. Well, this is not going to work then. But there's the song from the, uh, the place where he breaks all the ice in Karate Kid 2. Just read the comments on that YouTube song. It's brilliant. Nothing but Karate Kid 2 lines. Crease saved Terry's life. Yeah, but they have to show it then. They have to show it in, uh, Cobra Kai. Unless they're planning on doing a fourth season, which I think would be a big mistake. I bring Crease back again for the fourth season. We're really going to humanize him now. Do you know why he called it Cobra Kai? Because he got bit by a cobra. I don't know. They're going to have to do something like that. I don't know. I haven't seen the last episode, so I don't know if that is something to do. Oh, Tailspin saying, don't worry. Got you covered. Interesting. Well, I'm, I'm hoping they do wrap it up because they've they've done it thus far. Oh, I will. I'm on the last episode. We're, we're getting there. All right, so we have some arcade games to play. God damn it. Now, check this out. All these arcade machines have new hardware coming out, which is super cool. Namco System 12. It's no surprise that Tekken and Tekken 2 and Soul Edge version 2 took the PlayStation uh, and the arcades by storm. They're powered by Namco System 11 arcade board. Okay. Now we're talking System 12? Whoa. All right. Well, what's on System 12? And we might not be able to even play these games in arcade because it gets a little sketchy when you're trying to emulate the, the weird ones. 
I didn't want to spoil it, but yeah, Tailspin, that is a little bit of a spoil. A little bit of a spoil, but uh, we don't know the details. I'm fine. I'm fine with knowing that they're not going to drop the ball. That's that's a spoil I can handle, but we will be careful with further spoilers. Um, the Capcom System 3 has 700 megabits of RAM. 700 megabits of RAM. Jesus Christ. They're saying, like, consoles, you'll never be able to play this game. All right, 700 megabits. Um, oh, Grungy Nick saying, I don't want anyone spoiled. That's fine. That's fine. Tailspin, don't worry, buddy. We all whiff. Uh, we're all, yeah, we're definitely watching it, though. All right, 700 megabits. Oh, sounds bigger. Se megabits? Was it bits or bytes? Because if it was bytes, I'd be like, these carts are humongous. But remember, the carts for Sega Genesis used to be like, 24 megabits. Oh, man. All right. Uh, hats, 97 megabytes of RAM. Or that's 97 megabytes of RAM. That's still pretty good for back in these days. All right, but what are they saying? What came out on System 12? Was it Tekken 3 with System 12? Okay. All right, so Tekken 3, now System 12. Now we're talking Konami's Cobra system. All right. All right, you're good, Tailspin. Just helping others down the line. Fair enough. No problem, Tailspin. Don't worry. Keep it coming, buddy. I'm glad you're into the show. I'm into the show, too. We're digging it. Uh, that was for my 18th birthday. All I asked my mom for was to, uh, just get me Karate Kid on VHS. And that was way after the fact. No, just, just get me Karate Kid on VHS. That's all I need. Hell yeah. All right, uh, you're good, Tailspin. All right, all right. So Konami had this game, this Cobra system. I didn't even realize it was a thing. Uh, Konami's Cobra system, it will play nothing but DDR. Is that what it's for? Well, get this. Get this car. Um, there is a game on Konami's Cobra system that I want to check out. Uh, that I can't play. It cannot be emulated. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to, like, break my own rules and go, where is it? By the way, this is an arcade-heavy freaking episode. God damn. Uh, what the hell is it called? Where the hell is Konami? God freaking hell. Son of a B. Okay, there we go. Uh, GTI Club. Okay, Cutting Edge. Oh, you have to go to Cutting Edge. Fine, we'll do that later. Fine, we'll do that later. I have someone actually played it in arcade and recorded the whole game onto YouTube uh, from the machine. And I just want to quickly show that because, like, it has to be documented. It's kind of weird. It's like it's like Konami's version of what a PlayStation 2 would look like uh, two years before it came out. All right, Rampage World Tour, but uh, not bad, but gets real repetitive. Yeah, not a big fan of Rampage, but I was going to play it last week, so I know it works. All right, Capcom CPS 3, big deal. Atari's game, Atari Games which I, apparently is not related to Atari, that is news to me. Coming up with the Voodoo graphics. Uh, Tato's coming up with Wolf 3D FX. And SNK is the Neo Geo 64, which I don't think came out. I don't think that's a thing. We're gonna, Codename Tenka cannot be played on stream. It just can't. Like, we wanna show you this guy's hand and this shotgun. We wanna show it to you, but it won't work. Keep saying, uh, unplug one of your memory cards. I don't have any memory cards in there. There's been very little games so far. This is weird. All right, Rampage is a great couch co-op with friend and lots of weed. You ever played Rampage on weed? It's pretty good, but have you ever played it on weed? That's the only... I, is that from Workaholics? Or no, they'd say, let's smoke weed about it. I like that line. I don't... I don't... I don't partake, but uh, uh, I like... I like that part of the subculture. Let's smoke weed about it. <laughs> That's a silly thing to say. All right, we can turn this up a bit, taking these jams. All right, Tekken 3, we played, loved it. And they're actually rating the arcade version. What are they saying? Graphics is a 4.5? Guys, goddammit, it's the new engine. What the hell are you talking about? Johnny Ball Game. Uh, is that who reviewed it? Some rascal? Johnny Ball Game needs a quick freaking 10-hit juggling combo from Tekken 3 right now. And if he doesn't get it right now, He's just going to keep hurting people along the line. All right, we played that last week. Loved it. Fun Factor 3.5. Who's in charge of this? Major Mike. They need to clean house. Game Pro needs to clean house. I might just have to switch to EGM or UK PlayStation or something uh, in 1998 because that's when my subscription for Game Gear ended. So I might I might be on the lookout. There's If there's free agents out there, I'm a free agent. Hit me up. All right, Chicken Tendo. Lol, I can only imagine. Fun fact, the movie adaptation was released on 420. Oh, man. It's also Hitler's birthday. All right. Got to take it down a little bit. All right. It's also my mom's birthday and my friend Kev's birthday. That's the reason why I know all this stuff. 
All right, Street Fighter 3, not very fun is what they're saying. Well, maybe not the first edition. Wasn't there like four versions that came out? All right, I was talking the other day when I said we wanted to play Rampage on stream but didn't have access to a version of it. They don't sell it on like a best of or something. What a ripoff. All right, Street Fighter 3, I was 14 at the time and this game blew my mind with the animation. Yeah, even still, that is a that is an inordinate and uh, insane amount of animation. Now get this, guys. House of the Dead, very hard to emulate. Main can't do it. So I had to do extra research. If you're wondering why I was a little unprepared for the pop culture refresher this week, I did like dive deep just to figure out how to play some of these goddamn games and I figured it out. Guys, we're gonna play some goddamn House of the Dead because this game, this was a game changer. This was one of the few light games I played again and again in the arcade. Again and again and again. All right, what do they say? Sega's telling us Virtual Cop meets Resident Evil in Sega's latest two-player ghoulish gun game. Filled with blood and guts and gore, the House of the Dead pits players in hellish surroundings, uh, forcing them to blast their way out. Uh, the goal of the game is to rescue trapped research scientists while destroying nearly everything in your path. Uh, depending on your decisions you make through the game, the storyline and the scenes and the enemies change, creating a new shooting experience, a new record. Let's play the goddamn game. House of the Dead helped me bond with my dad. That's awesome. That makes me, that just makes me feel good. As a dad myself, I get it. That feels good. It's funny that that was the game, because you must have been pretty young when this came out. Like 11? Are you like 11, maybe nine when this came out? 90s dads, man. They were a different breed. Ah, fine, watch The Predator. I'll watch it with you. Ah, fine, watch frickin' Nightmare on Elm Street. Whatever, what do I care? Oh my god, Fred has put on his gray pleated pants and said, "Get guess what? Lero lurks, A. Lero lurks, don't worry, you can lurk. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna razz you, Lero lurks, but guess what? You just became part of the Fred Couples Nation. You're in now, alright? You're with family, we got the best chatters in the game, they like to chit chibity chat, right? If you feel like it, let me know, let me know. If not, that's okay, just lurk, keep lurking, buddy. Hey, keep being you. Lero lurks, keep being you. All right, let's play some House of the Dead. He's like, just get to the game, God damn it, Rad. I know, God, what the hell's wrong with me? All right, so this was Sega Model 2, I believe. It's a hard one to get going. Let's see if we can get it going. And the, the aim is all off. The aim is so far off that I have to like, wherever my cursor is, it's down like an inch and a right, two inches to the right. Son of a butt. It's fine. We will overcome, and we will save all the research scientists. All right, first we got to turn the music off. Let's, let's hope this doesn't fall apart. I didn't have time to test it today. I tested it last night. <sighs> let's go. Let's rock. Oh, we got to go to the arcade, goddammit, while we're here. Jesus. I'm playing all these damn arcade games. Get there. Okay, the tiniest screen in the history of mankind. That's fine. That is fine. We'll allow it. It's working. Oh, my God. Oh, frick. Help! Everyone getting killed! Oh, no! Oh, God, no! A lot of Sega hits in history here. Yeah, you're got that right, Young Street. Holy frick! All right, my mom gave me nine quarters. I'm going deep. I'm going way downtown. Hold your goddamn fire! Oh, you mean this fire right here? All right, it was too late for him. It's fine. Others are still inside. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oops. Okay, I told you. It's a little off. There's nothing I can do about that. All right, don't want him to come back and bite me, so that's fine. Oh, man. You got to go headshots here, right? Bow, 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 bow. Sophie? Sophie? All right, just let me shoot a couple of these freaking demon dogs. Man, I played this in the arcade so much. Sophie! All right, close call, Sophie. Logan, it's you. Oh, man, they got Sophie. Right, let me move that over there. Right, you can't shoot him anyways, don't worry about it. Headshots! Oh, man, he got me. Not today, damn it. Oh, man, I'm in bad way. It's fine. Can't even get to the bridge yet. I'm already blowing it. All right, we saved him. We're not going down. We're going up. All right, got her. I like the, the crisis quite a bit, but this was also fun. Yeah, this was, um, whoopsies, I'm way off the screen. Uh, I, this was gory, though. This was, like, where things were going. Resident Evil just come out. 
and uh, you're able to blow guys heads off in this game it's kind of insane ah oh, frick me not freaking frogs oh god no they're not even mutant frogs they're just regular frogs i'm just really scared of them hell yeah let's do it hold your goddamn fire why don't you Are these monkeys? God, hate monkeys. Double headshots. Headshots galore. Look at that headshot. God, freaking damn. Oops. Well, yeah. Hey, but he was turning into a zombie. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, we need some rapid fire, and we need it right goddamn now. Okay, it's fine. My mom gave me a lot of quarters. I'm not... Not in a bad way yet. Oh, we got the big boy. And have you ever seen such fast trigger fingers? Let me give people seizures, goddammit. I don't know how to help you, sir. Oh, I got him. Man, I aced it. Get that life. Life up. All right, Young Street, I can't see what you just said. I want to see what you said. It sounds amazing, someone said. I want to know what's amazing. I gotta kill this guy first. Oh, frick me. No. He got me. Jesus. You would really have to be firing fast in the arcade to get that guy. Smashing him. Smashing him. Oh, man. He got a hole right through his stomach. Smashing him. Oh, aced it. Headshots galore. Not these little leeches. Oh, frick me. I don't even think you can get by that part without getting hit. Oh, man, these zombies can throw. What an arm. We're doing good here. We're looking good. We're sitting pretty... Oh, frick, not him again. Oh, frick. All right, get just busting through the window. Had enough of these MFing zombies on this mother effing... All right, we got to... No, I can't shoot. Oh, because I'm way off the screen. That's why. Whoopsies. That's one of the problems with this. Like, the window that I'm using is about the size of a cell phone on my screen. And I have to look over at... Oh, man. My, uh... My actual OBS uh, monitor. So sometimes my mouse goes way off the screen. No! Alright, she did not have to die that way. Frick me. Alright, nothing else will do. Rad! All the headshots. Oh, frick! Oh, we got Sophie. Are you okay? Oh man, so that is hot. Yeah. Oh wait, we got a boss here. Whoa, is she toast? All right, the chariot is about to go get the hard rain. See how my shot's just a little off where my cursor is? Whoa, Frank, he's coming in hot and heavy. I don't know what you're supposed to do about this here. He's just gonna get a free shot. That's part of the game. All right, he's flat broke. He's got no armor. Smashing him. This cop is trigger happy. What? Ah, uh, is BS. All right, we smashed him. This is fun. This game holds up really well. Are right, you supposed to uh, just pump more quarters? Yeah, the thing is, yeah, you're definitely trying to get some quarters in this. You a lot of Sega hits here. Lyra Lurks, welcome. Curian. Uh, I also think when Microsoft and Sega started their partnership, too. Oh, well, goddamn. Uh, Sega Saturn, part of the H uh, House of the Dead, is uh, poopy. I own it. A Sega Saturn port. Oh, it's, it's a poopy one? Oh, that's a bummer. So it's not as good as this? What, what did they do wrong? I'm curious, Yong Street. All right, got her, says Desi Butt. Um... Like Time Crisis, on-rail shooters, fun times. Yeah, especially this one. Like, anyone you played in the arcade is, is pretty fun. This one I played a lot of. Oh, God, no! Oh, he bit me. He bit me good. But I didn't turn into a zombie? Am I immune? All right, jump down there. Reckless abandon. Let's go. Hey, I don't think I ever even got this far in the arcade. Like, you know how many quarters I've already spent, and I'm and I'm playing with a mouse? Ah, oh, frick me. I'd, I'd already be like $5 deep if I was paying for this. Let's 
just have to kind of always be firing. You don't ever want to miss your chance to smash a rascal. And that's going to be your seizure warning. Alright, smashed him. Oh, I see you coming. All yeah, he still got a piece. And I was ready for him. Oh man, we need pots and pans. Smashing these pots and pans. That was a huge deal back in the day. Whenever you could do environmental destruction like that, huge deal. Just a couple bodies floating in there. Get under the table, it's your only shot. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Oh, does she die of fear? Oh man. Not my best work. You can't shoot the windows? That's a disappointment. Doing good. Oh man, you know what I forgot? What I'm not doing right now. People are probably wondering. No, oh, no, I gotta continue. Alright, here we go. Let's get some more tokens in there. I'm having a good time with this, so we're gonna keep playing. But you know what I gotta do first? House of the Dead. I don't do this. There could be rascals in here wanting to play the game, and they'll be like, well, I would love it if someone was playing House of the Dead. All right, sorry everyone in the VOD. All right, the VOD. This chapter is a little bit in. You're going to have to go back a bit. It's fine. Right now, we're kill crazy. I'm crazy about kills. Whoa, look at that sharpshooter. It was one shot. All right, Crisis Zone on Namco had an insane environmental damage. When did that one come out? Because, um... I, it's never not been cool, but I, I feel like at this particular point in time was when it was the most shocking to me. Like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No way. Like, can I shoot these books? No, oh, no, I can't. Well, then I'm totally bummed out. The song is daffy. Oh, what the? I mean, this game is such a hassle to get hooked up. I'm just going to play a lot of it. Whoa, headshots galore. All right, smash him. No one there? Okay, fine. All right, this is high octane if I've ever seen it. Oh, no, 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 no. Smashed him. Not freaking leeches. Oh, what a gross bed that is. Oh, now we got some environmental destruction. Hell yeah. Thank you. All right, Crisis Zone had heat. Crisis Zone 1999. Okay, it's pretty early on for it then. That's still within the cutoff. Smash him! I, shooting windows was a really big deal for me in the 90s. Like, I remember uh, uh, GoldenEye. That was where I was like, oh, these are really good graphics. Oh man, as a PlayStation Super fan, I can't admit that this is really rad, but this is really rad. You're damn right you thank me. Oh, oh no, oh no! We're doing it! We're doing it, dudes! Oh, god damn it! This guy's got a fast trigger finger. All right, go, go, go. Oh no, not Nemesis. Or no, it's Tyrant. Smashed him. Sounds like something uh, Danny Baranowski would write. Something from Meat Boy. Oh god, I can't see them. Oh, it's too dark. Frick. Oh, he's still coming after me. All right, after we beat this level, we'll redecide what game to play next. Oh man, I am saving everyone and smashing all of their hard work. No, no. Oh, not this guy. No, he's my best friend. He still got him. Got another guy just died of fear. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'm reloading so many clips. Holy frick. All right. This is high stakes. Oh, man. No, that's savage. All right. Hanged man. So who's telling me to reload? No, not these bats. I'm going to get coronavirus. I know it. I'll reload. Oh, you, you, oh man, I got them all. I was just about to like blame the game for being cheap, but I actually did shoot them all. 
They're thinking this cop has amazing aim. It's as if he's using some sort of peripheral that allows you to really pinpoint where you want to aim on the screen. Smashed him. Oh, man. You got to get them when they're coming in. No, they still get you. Alright, this is the type of game I can't look away into the chat, so I'm gonna I'm gonna recap a lot of chat when I finish this son of a bee up. Okay, who got this far in the arcade? There's no way anyone got this far. This is silly. It's been like twelve dollars so far. Oh here we go! Oh man, she knocked me off the building. Savage move. Dangling! Oh man, I'm just dangling, not no! This is it! This is it! This guy has a lot of bullets. He brought like 7,000 bullets with him. No, she's biting me. She's scratching me lightly. And I ain't hating it. Fetish of the dead. All right, you gotta, you gotta stop. Oopsies. All right, well, I accidentally clicked it to be full screen. I don't need that. All right, we did it. We did it, everybody. We smashed her. All right, the Alvin voices get even better in the sequel. Oh man, I'm, I want to hear those Alvin voices. You guys remember the uh, Uve Bowl movie that came out, House of the Dead? It's a weird one. Won't let you have it your way, Curry. All right, you could shoot up a whole music store in a mall. Robotic Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, the voice sounded like Gollum. I remember the annoying voice filter gargoyle from Typing of the Dead. That's right, Typing of the Dead was another one. Spoiler! Uh, House of the Dead Mansion was a giant wet market. Oh no! <laughs> you don't want to go there. It's so cultured. Like I don't want to buy anything there. Though. No, they're gonna eat bugs. Oh no! Guys, that's freaking House of the Dead. And you know what? By the way, we're at the arcade now, guys. This is going to be an arcade-heavy episode. We gotta, we just got to rock through the arcade. You know it. Unfortunately, half the arcade we have is Street Fighter 2. That's not a bad situation to find yourself in. It just costs a lot of money. Why would we do that? It wasn't me. It was the maintenance man. He really hooped me big time. All right, what else we got here? Let's read. That was House of the Dead. Goddamn. Now, guess what else? That, that one I played a lot as a kid. Sega Super GT. I also played a lot as a kid. We're gonna play it. It's also called, what is it, Scud? Guys, we're also gonna play Top Skater. I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna mute my mute my screen because it has actual Pennywise music in it, but I'm gonna give you guys a link to the song that's playing in the game, so you can just play that in the background. Uh, just open up a new tab. Desi, oh man, Desi, you're out of here, oh frick. We, only, we did not play very many games tonight, I'm sorry about that. We got more games in store, obviously, but you know, we, gotta, we gotta get to it. All right, Crisis Zone. Uh, how many bullets will it be today? The usual 7,000, says Chick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm, 7,000. I always thought that was funny about video games when they're like, you're going to have to reload that gun, sir. Or like games that would... It's like when they try to add realism to the game, but then you're still allowed to carry 250 bullets with you. Like, that's not realistic. That's like 70 pounds of ammunition that you'd have to be carrying around with you. That doesn't work. Scud race. That's right, Young. Yong Street, oh man. Between the movies and the video games, we have acquired the greatest collection of 1997 knowledge ever in the history of mankind. Right here, right now, in this chat. Terrible, terrible, terrible movie, says Chick Contento. Uh, yeah, Uwe Boll. Uwe Boll? He was, he was onto something, though. Wasn't that the thing he was doing, where if you release a movie that's a flop, it actually can make you more money than spending a lot of money on a movie that doesn't do very well so he was like he was flopping his movies but getting paid something to do with like in German court as well because he was a German citizen or something I can't remember all right chicken Tendo's also stepping out good night chicken Tendo. can't wait to see your official streams wait before you go you're not affiliate yet are you are you are you rocking hard yet are you still all right ex love you all except for Uwe Boll that's fair you don't have to love him he was kind of rascaling everyone that's true all right, next, I want to read Super uh, Sega Super GT. Uh, all right, Sega Super GT GT drove the show attendees crazy with adrenaline-filled action and racing good times. Affiliate status, just need to get my emotes. Oh, goddamn, yeah. I can't wait to see what his emotes are. 
All right, good to know. Everyone keep an eye on this man. Keep an eye on him. All right. Uh, Super GT has no equal in arcade fun. Wow, that's huge praise. All right, especially in multiplayer competition. Four consoles, four cars, 60 frames, and one million polygons per second make Super GT a game not to be missed. I would never miss it. You guys missed this game. You really effed up bad. We're going to play it now. All right, Travis, welcome in, TM Base. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna quickly go to retro. Real quick. Oh, hey. Oh, we're in retro now? Guess what? We're going right to Sega Super GT. I, you thought this was going to be retro? You done fricked up, okay? I think this one's a Model 3 already. Am I wrong in believing that? Sega Arcade Model 3. Oh, God. Scud race is right, Yonk Street. That's funny. All right, do we need the export twin? No, we need Australia version. Australia, mate. We're going to play it. We're going to our scud on. All right, now, is this going to work, or is it going to rascal me? We'll see. I'm playing some... These are the weird arcade games, man. These are the hard ones to get working on your machine. Boom. We did it. Oh, frick, we did it. All right, let's get you a little bigger. We could deal with being a little bigger. All right, it's going to be like... Are you going to play the game or not? We're just going to take it easy. We're going to go beginner. Hell yeah. Let me dodge Viper on again. Uh, I do believe I'll be a beginner. Automatic. I don't even know what button on this controller would... Oh, what? Okay, so there was a video store near my house called Willow Video. And uh, they had this right next to Tekken 3 and Police Trainer. So I would just see the... Um, the attract mode for this all the time. Never really played it. And the the thumbstick's a tad sensitive. Oh man, I pit maneuvered him. This is pit maneuver the game. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh frick, no! Alright, right the ship, goddammit. Alright, lens flares, activate. Oh, get out of the grass. You're blowing it. Good sense of speed. Unparalleled in arcade fun is what they said. They were really on board with this one. All right, this was the start of the Model 3 era. The Virtua Fighter 3. Oh, okay, Yong Street, good to know. Man, we are flying along. I know this is pretty loud, but I don't even care. Oh, frick. I need to pit maneuver some more fools. I'm only 26. Oh, frick. Like, the music is so quiet in the background. They might as well not even have it. Oh, man. Paul Walker would be so proud of me with drifts like that. All right, pit maneuvers galore. Oh, frick. Cold trickle. All right. We we brought it back. Oh, man. Not today, buddy. All right. Today, maybe. But not tomorrow. And I couldn't put... I tried to pit maneuver him. You know I did, guys. All right. We got extended. Natural male enhancement. Here we go. Pit maneuver. All right. Take the outside lane. It's a real baller move. Oh, frick me. All right, right the ship, goddammit. Lens flares, beautiful. That's the kind of detail we're like, whoa. The realism in this game is just unparalleled, man. Did I start at the very butt back of this race? Why am I only 23rd right now? I feel like I'm making good time here. Oh, frick, only seven seconds. I'm blowing it. I'm not even gonna make it this checkpoint. Get there, what the frick? Rolling finish, rolling finish. All right, the Dodge Viper was the wrong choice. All right, Norn, you have no idea how many times I comb through these Game Pro magazines. Yeah, these are the ones. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when 1998 comes around. I might have to check out EGM. I might. Sneaking into the words, natural male enhancement. Yeah, we might as well. I like this orange and blue. Yeah. Because in 1998, Yonk Street, I don't have, I didn't have a subscription at that time. So I'm like, I don't know if I, if I need to keep going with GamePro or if I could check out other magazines. I don't know. We'll see. I'll check out some of those first. If they, if they look good, I'll check them out. Go! Otherwise, I'll go, holy Jesus, look at the speed on this car. All right, we are gaining all kinds of ground here. All right, come on, Paul Walker. Channel the Paul Walker in all of us. Goddamn loud game. 
hurt to feel your face. All right, you turn. Here we go. Uh, smash him. Not bad. Three laps to go. We can do this. We just got to stay. Man, that... I can't believe I didn't even get my natural male enhancement in the last one. Ah, oh, frick. Go driving on the grass. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. God damn it. A hard game to win. I have 30, 30 positions I got to get to. Feeling it, though. God damn. This is the arcade in 1997. Right here, right now. I feel like that was a pretty good turn. Look, I came out of there going way faster than these guys. All right. We got extended, everyone. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, frick me. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, we're spinning. Oh, we're choking bad. All right, get going. No, no, not today. You guys, oh, man, I play aggressive. I play to win. All right, big Yui coming up. Let's hit that thing at full speed. Oh, man, smash him. No, we got to get extended. Oh, if we don't get extended, oh, no, this is the end. All right, we got to pick it up. 29 seconds is not a lot of time, everyone. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, we're drifting. We're drifting our guts out. Oh, we're smashing in the wall, though. That's not ideal. All right, 11 seconds, not a lot of time. God damn it, you got to want it, Paul Walker. Vin Diesel, god damn it, get your ass in gear. Oh, man, we didn't even get... Man, this is a quarter muncher. At least we can finally hear the tune. God freaking damn. All right, that's Scud Race or Sega Super GT. That's awesome. God damn, that played better than most racing games I play on this stream. Oh god, perfect, perfect timing. Well, NBA Jam action. Frick me. All right, Young Street saying he had a reading problem in school, and it was the only thing my parents would spoil me with was magazine subs, cause it made me read. That's good parenting. Your parents done did the right job there. Good job, parents. It's a good excuse to like, Mom, I need to read. Uh, I'd probably read this magazine if you got it for me, frankly. Frankly. All right. All right, reading, back we go. Guys, now I'm I'm gonna take a little break here because Top Skater's just gonna get out of control. I'm gonna take a quick break. I've been drinking Diet Pepsi. Actually, I think this is even before. This isn't even the Diet Pepsi. I can't throw Diet Pepsi under the bus like that. This is from before. I went to the bathroom before the stream went and my body's like, hey, guess what? All you done did was break the seal. Ah, oh, frick. You guys know what that means. It's time to listen to our favorite track. Now, I don't even... Wait, before I do, I gotta add... I gotta add the chat to it. Forgot, I don't have chat on the Be Right Back screen. What a week. Promise a firework display. Alright, add... Browser... Chat. There we go. Alright, now, before I turn on the ripping tunes, I'm gonna actually just... Go here and put the chat right there. Yeah. Wait, this would make more sense. Okay. Guys, guess what, goddammit? You're gonna sit there and you're gonna like it while you listen to Namachuke, the pennant race. We're going to the pennant, baby. We're going all the way. You know it. God damn it, you know it. Alright, I'll be right back.
All right, god damn it, we made it just in time. God, god damn it. All right, top skater was it. Top skater was it. No, oh, frick. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Okay, goddamn. Let me just read you a little bit. I don't know if this was as big a deal for you guys as it was for me. Lace up your vans and get ready to ride the world's first skateboard simulator. This is before Tony Hawk, by the way. God damn it. Keep that in mind. All right, skaters and wannabes alike will thrill with half pipes and ramps while pulling off amazing maneuvers like ollies and freaking 360 flips and nose, indie nose bones, man. And with motion based simulator, uh, the motion based simulator delivers an authentic skating experience as you actually have to hop up and down to play the game. Do you guys remember? You'd hold onto the side, and there was an actual, like, little tiny skateboard, not on wheels, but like a thing you'd have to tilt up and, and move left and right as you're playing. God damn it, we're about to play it right friggin' now. Right friggin' now! Top skater. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone, get the F in here. Now what you gotta do, before you turn this on, because we can't actually play this game without uh, the copyright police busting down my door, saying I'm in, I'm in violation and I'm a felon, I'm a felon! What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send you to the song that it plays in the background. Alright, so, uh, what is it, Top Skater? Top Skater, it's a Pennywise track, I forget the name of it. But uh, here we go. You have to open up another tab. Uh, <clears throat> you have to open up another tab for this one. You have to, and just play the song on loop in the background. I'm gonna go to the Discord as well. This is the song that actually plays in the game. It's just a ripping hot uh, punk song. Good skate punk song. While we load up, top skater. Or you can wait until we actually get into the game. Uh, fine, you can wait until we get into the game. Fine. But then we gotta go. Hell, this is my thing. Sega Model 2, emulator, load that wrong. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to mute, mute everything on my stream right now. I'm gonna have to mute all the background audio, that's fine. I have to do this manually, that is not ideal, but that is what we are gonna do. All right, now I have to, desktop. Just, okay, I'm gonna have to test this with my actual audio, because I really don't want to get copyright here. And that's fine. All right, that's fine. All right, what is an emulator? I don't know. Fred, fortunately, for Fred's sake, because he would have just MDK'd the maintenance man, um, in the arcade, um, now you guys know, this this idiot maintenance man bought a million copies of freaking Street Fighter 2, but fortunately, behind me, it just passed where you can see here, there is a there is a copy of Top Skater. There is. And we are blaring at a top volume in this arcade, but you can't hear it. We had to disable it. It just wouldn't work. I mean, as powerful as Fred Couples is, the copyright police will go after him as well. And I don't want that. I don't want that for Fred. I don't want that for anyone. Any of you. So here we go. Click the freaking uh click the link and load up Top Skater. We gotta play some games. Some G D games. All right, goddammit, I got 15 credits to my goddamn name. Get in there. All right, go. Get there. It's just gonna be dead silent. I hope you're listening to that song. Otherwise, it's gonna be dead silent. I gave you guys fair warning. Yo, you wanna be Keith, bro? You wanna be Jay Etnies? You wanna be Cookie? I like those pants, we're gonna be Cookie. We're gonna be Cookie, goddammit. All right, caution, unlock foot controller. Oh, man, wouldn't it be nice? All right, we're going. It's actually way easier on a controller than it is on uh, the actual peripheral. All right, skating, bro. Okay, we got to do this. Yeah, man, it's just getting crazy here. Let's do the moves. So they do the moves for you. When you go over the jumps, it does all the moves for you, like your indie grabs and your freaking, wouldn't it be nice grabs? This game was impossible in the arcade, from my recollection. Oh man, got an E. That's not ideal. That's pretty good airtime right there. You should give her a little more credit. I don't know why we're giving her such a hard time. 
Yo, man, that BS indie. That indie was BS, man. Yeah, you got to do the jump right at the tippy top. It's even hard with the controller. I take it back. I take it back. All right, we got time extended. Back looped method. Man, we are rapidly approaching the Tony Hawk era of video games. That was a big deal, man. What is the K? All right. Oh, no, you don't want to be down here. You really get hooped if you're down here. Like, this game is... I didn't even know it had rail slides in it. Grinds? Are you kidding me? Oh, she biffed. She biffed bad. Oh, no. It's fine. She's back. Back at it. All right, slow down. God damn it. You got to drift. Drift around those snowbanks. Let's go. All right, we need speed. We can't do tricks. I won't live with tricks that aren't S and above. E is not cutting it. All right, D, that's pretty goddamn good. All right, we're, we're rolling right up the alphabet here. Let's get a B. D? All right, we need S or higher. That is not going to cut it. Lady, I don't know who you think you're dealing with here, but that is not going to cut it. That's not even a trick. God freaking damn it, that's not even a trick. All right, get there. All right, sick nose grab, that's fine. Uh, freaking D, Benihana, that's fine. Every game seems to do Benihana different. That's not what it looked like in Tony Hawk. Do a trick for the love of Christmas. All right, up there, do that. Oh, no, that didn't work. It's what you do with it. It's what you're ready for. You're just fine. happened to me. That was the song by Pennywise, by the way. I'm going to get copyrighted just for that. Oh, sick, man. We got 20,000 points for that. All right, nice little classy 180 there. Oh, front side biff, says Grungy Nick. Or Veiled Nomad. You're right, bro. We're biffing. Not today. Not a biff today. Nose grab. Stale, stale fish to nose grab. Coca-Cola. Uh, not on this stream, damn it. We're a Pepsi stream, god damn it. Long level. Jesus. Oh, there's a finish. Big finish. Nice. Guys, when was the last time you saw Top Skater? Holy smokes. All right, front side biff. What's an emulator? 86th place. That's not so hot. Backside product placement. Yeah. <laughs> but if you actually play the game, they actually straight up, they call out Pepsi by name. Hey, sponsored by Pepsi or uh, Coca-Cola. Reminds me of Extreme and Cool Borders. Yeah, but this, or Cool Borders came up first, but this one actually had a peripheral, a skateboard peripheral. And it had actual punk songs. And they were punk songs that I was listening to at the time. Like, whoa, no. All right, I think we got to check out the expert. We got to go expert. We have to document it here. We have to. I know it's dead silent. I hope you guys are ripping your Pennywise tracks at full volume. All right. Let's freaking go here. 19-year-old, 6 foot. Seems pretty tall for a skater. Gonna hurt himself if he falls down. That's a big boy. All right. What was the name of the N64 skating game? 1080. You got it right. And then did the sequel... Was the sequel called, like, the next number up? 1080 to 6... Or 2160? Because missed opportunity if they didn't. Or 1080 times 2. So then everyone just be like, what are you talking about? You mean a 2160? All right, you got you to gotta pull some rad moves here. I don't know. It's what you do with it, goddammit. 720, stale fish nose grab. Blunt nose stale grab. Oh, man, get there. This is pretty impressive. They're not giving this guy his dues. Man, they really want you to drink some Coca-Cola. You slam a Coca-Cola down while you're just crushing this race oh god sick moves where am I supposed to pull all my rad moves all right get there we're still good we're still good oh man you biffed man you biffed it big time dude ash you really blew it all right uh, too bad this wasn't in June 1987 might be playing skate or die instead skate or die or that was a uh, skate or die too skate or die 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 yeah, what would Rodney do? Frickin' Rodney. Oh, man. that You give me a C for that? And a D for this? This game is harsh, man. I'm digging it. Get those E's all day. All right, everyone, make sure you're listening to Pennywise at full volume. There it is, Pennywise, or else it won't make any sense. It's a dead silent stream. It's just a dead silent stream otherwise. Take that, copyright police. Like, no, you know what? It's even a felony to tell people to listen to it on YouTube while you play the game that has the actual song in it. That's even a felony. And you're going to jail, mister. 
I don't know who you think you are, but you're going to, you're going straight to jail. We're gonna per Pennywise is personally gonna see to it that you go straight to jail. What kind of weird world do we live in where uh, algorithms and robots can analyze the sounds that are on your stream and immediately like put you in trouble for it? What a weird world we live in. Oh, one footer, dude. All right, big jump. We need a huge jump. We're not even gonna make our time here. That's fine. We have other games to play. If Top Skater wants to done do me like that, that's fine. I would never do it like that, but that's fine. If that's the way they want to play it. Not even time for one mass big trick. Oh, sick no stale. Oh, frick. All right, copyright jail. You're going to jail, buddy. It's Yong Street. All right, I'm just glad we played it. Guys, dead silent. You can turn off your Pennywise track now. Everyone, Pennywise track. Press pause. Save that one for later. All right, it's good stuff. That's good stuff. Don't mess around. We can now turn the stream back up. Oh man, it was it was so dark there without any sound. But now the archive for all time can turn on that Pennywise track whenever they want to rewatch that amazing segment. And I hope they do. Hot bongo action. Alright, now that's all of those games I wanted to play. Almost none of these worked. I could get Hang Pilot working, which is interesting only because it was a two-screen game. One was the one right in front of you, and then there was a screen under you, and you actually had to, like, it was the, the freaking year of the peripherals. You had to lay down on, like, an actual hang gliding stomach thing, and you could look at the screen below you and in front of you, and you'd be able to see. Uh, also hearing Norn do drum beatboxing has uh, been a delight. You know, that's how I learned how to drum, Young Street. I was like, man, I'm writing all these chiptunes. I have to write the drums now? What does a drum track sound like? Oh, I know how to drum now. Sweet. Just write those riffs. Uh, all right. Uh, hang pilot. Only... Should I turn it on just... Okay, we're going to turn on hang pilot for a split second. Because I just want you guys to see how weird it looks. Because you're looking forward and down at the same time. It's like before the 3DS. Guys, we got to document it. Frick me. Let's see if they even have it. They don't even have it. They're like, we don't know what hang pilot is. We cannot, we cannot tell people to come to your stream if you're playing hang pilot. It's fine. Best peripheral arcade game. God damn, you know, I might have to say... Top Skater was up there for me. Top Skater was up there for me. Even though it was bad, it was not a fun game, it was hard to play, it just felt like you were doing something, uh, like, important. Oh, uh, Vale, that's a great question. I don't think I'm qualified to answer. I mean, to, to be honest, most peripheral arcade games make me feel awkward when I'm playing them. So Top Skater was one of the few that didn't make me feel awkward. That's a big plus. That's a big plus. All right, what is this, a Model 2? I think so. Is it lame to say cockpit, full cockpit afterburner? No. What? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, did Prop Cycle from Namco have an actual bike on the cab? Prop Cycle probably did. I think you actually did have to pedal that one. All right. Out at the old Castle Fun Park. Okay, Young Street. Castle Fun Park. What was that one that's just the red circle that spins around in the middle? Like, you're spinning around. You're just in the middle of the floor spinning around by yourself. Like, full hydraulic thing. Monaco GP had motorbikes, right? I believe it did. Um, That old Star Wars game where you had to, like, sit in the thing and you had the joysticks. I don't know if that counts. That kind of felt like you were in a, in a TIE fighter. I think that was Mark's basement. I think that was Mark's basement. GP had motorbikes, right? Uh, Mark's basement. I don't know. Okay, let's see if I have Hang Pilot on this one. Oh no, it's actually we got we got to go maim. We got to maim it up. I mean, there is only one other arcade machine in my arcade, and it's Hang Pilot. Maintenance man was at least had the foresight to get me that one. All right, the red circle you just spun around in, the concussor, it sounded like it. It was just too awkward. I didn't want to climb up there. And he used to have like a chain around it, like you couldn't go near it because it would probably crunch kids if they got too close to it. Oh, good tunes. I love the bass in this track. I don't know why. All right, the cab. Sega Star Wars Pod Racer was awesome. Okay. Yonk Street's coming in hot with his suggestion. All right, where is Arcade? Boom. Hang pilot. We're not gonna play the game. I just have to document this. The first jump that you go over is good because you can look down and see how far up you are up. I doubt it'll be worth it, but you know, if I don't do it, who will? 
Who will at this point? We're really going into uncharted territory here, everyone. All right, come on, Mame. You gotta work with me, Mame. All right, here we go. Hang. Pilot. All right, available games. Here we go. Let's turn you down. Let's go back to the arcade. We got games to play. God damn, we got games to play. Frick, that is way too many weird things on the screen. Just so you know, these are imperfectly emulated arcade games. Uh, main. Let's get both monitors on the screen here. It's good enough. All right, please adjust the bar manually. Do I have a save? Yes, I do. Let's get going. Oh, they're not supported for this machine. They're like, yo, did you want to go deep in this game? Not today, buddy. All right, I really effed up bad. They're like, you cannot save state this game. I don't know what you think you were trying to pull. Fine, I was just trying to save my stream some of this uh, unnecessary lull, but that's fine. All right, I can't believe you have a hang pilot arcade cab in the studio and Japanese too, yeah. We got converters galore. Fred knew what he was doing. He hooked it all up, fortunately. I mean, the maintenance man just plopped this crap here. Do not ride this machine during initialize. Uh, don't tell me what to do, okay? I'm gonna ride the hell out of this machine during the initialize, uh, especially. Get all my practice in. Unnecessary lull. We're just lulling it up here, man. Everyone, welcome to the lull. Oh, that sounds like a poo meow from my cat. Hauser, the bathroom is a that away, buddy. Don't mess around. Drop those bombs. Gotta drop those bombs, big boy. All right, are we, uh, all right, do I need to do this? Do I need to get physical with this game? I think I do. All right, please adjust the bar mechanically. All right, they are done fricking me. I don't know how I got into this game last time. I think I had to, all right, here, one last try. I really want, as you guys can tell, I really want to document this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into the maintenance, right away, right away. Do not ride this machine during initialize. Ah, oh, frick. All right, guys, we tried it. I tried to hook it up. I tried to hook the internet up and the world up with this. It was not meant to be. Not meant to be. Let's get the tunes back. Let, guys, party's canceled. Everyone at the club is just, everyone started walking. I said, no, you guys gotta stay. Ah, oh, frick. We're about to get crazy. It's gonna be rad. All right, let's uh, move to the next game, I guess. Uh, frick. That's yeah, Michael Keaton talking here, you know what I mean? All right, what's next here? We played Mace. We played Maximum Force. Now, we have some choices to make. Guys. Notice down here, this is the first time. Go to the bathroom. The first time I've ever seen pinball. Oh, you can't see the magazine. All right, don't worry, everyone. Don't worry, everyone. You missed one page. One page. Oh, we moved over to here. That's fine. Caught it quick this time. Chat wasn't on the screen. All right, cheese pizza is being served right now at little Timmy's birthday party, and we're crashing it. We're like, Freaking hang pilot's not working! Timmy! All right, Cat's having fun. Yeah, he is. No, he's not having fun. He's been holding in his dumps. He's getting old. Oh, my God. You got to go poo, buddy. Could be not too much longer for that guy, unfortunately. Sad. I mean, the, the thing is ready. Everything's ready for him. He's just meowing his guts out. Now, guys, check it out down here. When was the last time GamePro talked about pinball games? And when was the last time you had someone just rascally enough? Big Wendy, get back in here. Thanks for dropping by. I meant to re reply to you, but you were streaming at the time. And like, I don't know what the, twi uh, the Twitch etiquette is to respond to a whisper while they're streaming. And then I just forgot after that. Welcome back in. We're just playing some goddamn games from this from this issue of GamePro Magazine, June 1997. And here, GamePro's done telling me. They're like, hey, guess what? Did you know something? NBA Fast Break Pinball just came out right now. What the frick? I have the means. Guys, I don't know if you are aware, but Maintenance Man also bought me this one pinball machine. Fortunately, guy's been a big rascal. He got me enough Street Fighter 2. I, I did not need that many Street Fighter 2 machines. All right, Fatal Fury, especially saying, oh, Veiled, we'll get to it. I actually like that version of Fatal Fury a lot, but I'm, I'm just too excited. I want to check it out. Guys, visual pinball, type it in. Get involved. We got some freaking pinball to play. God damn it. God damn it, we got some pinball to play. Who streams pinball? You tell me that right now. What is their name? I want it. All right, we can turn this down. Don't need those tunes. I'll load this up. NBA Fast Break. Pinball. What are we doing? 
Oh, we're doing it. Boom. Boom, I said boom. We're going deep. Wait, it's, no, it's a different screen. We need this screen. It's just me by my lonesome right now. We'll get there. Don't worry. Is it all going to fall apart? Oh, frick. Oh, my God. All right, the last time I tried to play pinball on stream, it chugged because it's like different ratios. Everything's all deranged. All right. Elton John or The Who. All right. It's okay. Just recently learned Whispers existed. Yeah, and I don't know. Wendy, how long have you been streaming? I actually watched that whole stream. Like, this is uh, infectious and fun stuff. Just chatting. Infectious. So every Sunday I do this. I get weird, and I play through a GamePro magazine. I'm going monthly. Oh, man. Is that Debt Left Shrimp? It is. Uh, Wednesdays I play the N64 for now. We're going to be doing the Cold Wars every Wednesday. For now, god damn it, I'm playing some freaking pinball. Oh, it's on, dudes. This was a pinball machine that had just come out. 1997, they're advertising it in the magazine, and I can... Oh, god, no! I'm not very good at pinball, by the way, everyone. I don't think this game even keeps score. I think you're just supposed to get the hoops. Yo, get the hoops. Alright, I'm trying, god damn it. I'm trying to get the goddamn hoops. Ah, oh, frick me. No. No, that is not it. Oh, they done fricked me. It got, it stuck on me. Okay, fine. Oh, it's still sticking on me. Well, okay, the, the state of pinball. Oh, no, I think that's what happened. I, I freaking tilted it. Damn it. Damn, I tilted it. God damn it. They're like, you can keep shooting, but you, oh, okay, now you can use these things. Okay, the big deal in pinball is you have to go slow. Oh, no, you don't want to go fast. No! Why did I get double ball? Where did all these balls come from? High level pinball, apparently. Jesus, they are just spitting balls at me. No! God, no! And I'm in big trouble here. Alright, we got a hoop. Finally, we got a hoop. Yeah, I think this game doesn't keep score like a traditional pinball machine. I think it just keeps your baskets like the basketball score. Oh man, we're draining threes left, right, and center. Oh, Freaking John Stockton, debt left shrimp. No! No, that's bad. Oh man, sinking them, draining them. Yeah, I don't even know how I got that multi- Oh, frick! No! Alright, I don't know how I got that multi-ball. Alright, I used to uh, button mash this on the computer, or was it space ball? Uh, was that pinball you're talking about? Uh, that's Big Wendy, by the way. Oh my god. Oh man, hoops for days. Alright, multi ball, multi ball, veiled, saying multi ball. Oh, frick me. Oh god, no. I'll bring it back. See if you. Okay, if I want to get it to the other paddle, I gotta pass it like that. You see that sick move? You see those sick moves? I had to watch tutorials on YouTube just because I wanted to learn how to play pinball a little better. That is what my life involves. No, get. No, okay, here we go. Oh, frick. No. MJ would be so disappointed with me right now. Frick me. All right, we'll, we'll tump, dump a couple more quarters in here. One play, 50 cents. Five plays, two dollars. Jesus. All right, we'll do a couple more shots here. I might even play that Star Wars game, although it's not as nice looking as this one. I don't know what's going on here. There's like a thing that's happening where I'm passing back and forth. That was the thing. Pinball at this point wasn't about the score. It was about these weird... Look, man, it's the... it's You're actually playing a game. You're, you're shooting hoops, man. No! All right. Now, I don't even know how to get multi-ball. Do I want to get it in the paint? Okay, let's toss it over here. No, I blew it. I'm trying to shoot the left loop. I don't know how to get it over there. All right, here we go. Left loop. Big time. Here we go. Oh, man. We, we in the painted it. And then it just sticks up there, and you can't move your flippers. Flipper with Elijah Wood and Paul Hogan. What is this five? I don't even know what's happening here. Oh my God, Fred Couples. Someone is saying, God damn, I love pinball, bruh. Bruh, I love the pinball. Ruby J, oh my God, get in here. Welcome to the internet. We're uh, we're currently playing through, as I'm sure you're aware, since you may have been watching for a bit. GamePro Magazine told us this pinball machine just came out this month, and I have the means to play it. What are we doing? Guys, the state of pinball emulation is insane. This is unofficial. 
This is not official. What are they doing? I don't know what they did. They, like, created their own, like, 3D... Uh, oh, frick me. I just... I don't know what the hell I just did there. I was on a roll. I was on such a hot streak. What is that the score? Man, I gotta beat the Lakers. Jam it! Okay, center lane's wide open. Get there. No, that's not getting there. Oh man, I'm fricked up. No, I fricked up. That is fine. Do I still that's the end. That's fine. I didn't want to make it a huge segment. Oh, okay, it's two player. I don't need to do two player. It's like weird etiquette in pinball where you have to like two players tilt. He says, "Man, I was just, uh, get there." All right, Ruby, mad pinball hype, man. I'm Ruby. I'm stoked that you were digging the pinball hype because I might just have to play Star Wars trilogy now as well. Now, I want to see what they even say about this. There, there's. I, I cannot believe GamePro is actually talking about pinball. Let's see what they're saying. Let's turn the tunes up because it is awfully quiet in here. Oh God, Fred Couples jamming out here. All right, take it to the hoop. In Midway's official, officially licensed NBA pinball game, NBA Fast Break features a 24 second shot clock. And sorry, my cat's messing around with my green screen, which I don't have. Obviously, I bought this club with all of my money, but if I had a cat, he would be messing with the green screen, and I'd be worried that he's gonna knock it down in the middle of my stream. Frick. All right, what up, Quantum Player One? Oh man, it means it must be nice and early. We've reached the intern, like, uh, we've gone across the ocean, man. Multi frick! Oh, Jesus, I missed a lot of chat. MJ would, uh, would bet you a 100k per ball yet. <laughs> Everyone, don't ever doubt MJ, because he'll take it personally. Like, oh, you didn't think I could beat that game? That freaking pinball game? Okay. And he's gonna come back and shoot me with a gun. Alright, 8 a.m., baby, early. Yeah, you're a little early here. Alright, your setup is so cute. I got my Windows 95 machine here. You know, I got my Diet Pepsi here, which rapidly approaching full sponsorship. Pepsi, hook me up. I want to go to bed at a reasonable time tonight. There's no caffeine in this. Caffeine-free Pepsi. Oh, God. Freaking based out of my mind. My my beeper is on. Everything is rocking here. Thank you for that, Wendy. I put a lot of effort into this for really no reason other than it has to be more ridiculous. It has to become more ridiculous. Fine. All right. That, so, so they have a 24-second uh, shot clock. That's interesting. There was something weird going on. Yeah, there was no points in that game. Just like I was getting free throws and just draining baskets, man. All right. Multitude of points. There's even a million-dollar shot mode that gives players a chance to keep playing after the last ball has bricked its way into the drain. Oh, man. I'm not hip on my basketball lingo, but I need to, I need to brick some more drains, obviously. No, I need the opposite of that. All right. Star Wars Trilogy, Special Edition, the highest grossing movie series of all time, according to 1997 June. Alright. 3D models of X-Wing, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, Turbo Lasers, and Han Solo's Carbonite. Multi-ball action. Uh, always getting that multi-ball. Star Wars Trivia, interesting. Trivia in an arcade game. Alright, we need, we need more Rubik's Cubes if you want uh, that retro look. I need to, I, oh man, I bought one for my son. It's like, this is a fun thing for a two-year-old to have, right? Uh, he doesn't know, he thinks it's something you could throw. Like, this is a ball, right? Like a fun multicolor ball. Like, no, 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 don't throw that, it really dent the wall. Uh, so I'm, I was looking up YouTube tutorials, like how do I solve the Rubik's Cube again? I just couldn't do it. I was like, ah, frick. All the, uh, it reminds me of reading a fighting game fact where they're trying to tell you like, okay, here's our terminology. Uh, QK is for uh, quick kick, and then LP is for light punch, and then you have to look at this combo. We're like, what is the combo? Like, LP, QK, 4Q, but I'm like, oh, no. oh man. Uh, needless to say, not very good at solving the Rubik's Cube. I know it's just an algorithm. I just, the way they're explaining it to me, I would need someone to show it to me. Be like, oh, that's the algorithm. Gotcha, <laughs> no problem. All right, back when there was still uh, only, uh, tr yeah, still only a trilogy. I miss those days, man. I think the next ones were not the worst in the world. Not the worst. The Hayden Christensen ones, not the worst, but uh, I just stopped watching them after that. I didn't see anything. Uh, maybe I'm missing out, I don't know. I mean, Star Trek did the same thing. I stopped watching Star Trek stuff, like, eh. I'll just go back and watch Next Gen, it's fine. All right, they were for kids and we were too old. Pointy ball to the forehead. I don't know what that means, Vale Nomad. Is that, that's one of those, you're, that, you might as well just write a tutorial for either a fighting game or the Rubik's Cube. I don't, the pointy ball to the head. Come on. Just, come on. All right, Rubik's Cube. All right, we're going to play Star Wars Trilogy Special Edition Pinball at this point. 
and hope it doesn't crash. All right, and, and this one's for you, Ruby J. Mad pinball height. <laughs> All right, all help. It's easy as pie is what it is. Yeah, I remember I went when I went to like post secondary. There was a guy that came in and that was his thing. He was like, "Man, I'm the Rubik's cube guy," and he was like, blah, blah, blah. he did it in five seconds and he's like, "Here, it's like this," and he showed me. And that was the only time I'd ever solved the Rubik's cube, but I forgot what his algorithm was. It was brilliant. It was like, oh, it's like four steps. It's not even a problem. I can handle a four-step uh, freaking recursive algorithm. I can do that. The ones on the internet are like, then do this and flip it and then go back. Like, eh. Yeah, the way my son does it though is like this. He just goes like that really fast on it. Like, that is adorable. I don't even need to solve it. He's getting he's getting it done for all of us. All right, Star Wars trilogy special edition. Let's go, freaking Luke and Han. All your friends, Chewie, freaking uh, Lando, freaking uh, I don't know his name. I don't know the name of the man. All right, here we go. The easiest way I found everyone. By the way, go check out Big Wendy's stream. Don't mess around. Don't mess around with Big Wendy, all right? She'll smash you. If you don't follow her stream, she'll smash you, okay? You've been warned, okay? All right, Star Wars Trilogy is happening. She would never do that, by the way. She seems like a very nice person. All right, gameplay pinball. Let's go. Probably going to get copy strike just for playing this theme song in FM. Oh, frick, it's on, dudes. This doesn't seem like a great pinball machine to me, to tell you the truth. I'd rather be playing fast break. All right, here we go. Get it. Get there. Oh, Jesus. The physics on this board are out of their mind. No. Get there. So you can't pass the ball back and forth on the physics on this machine. Jacked. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? TIE Fighters galore. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, man. Oh, almost got two in a row. I'm straight up using the force right now. You guys don't even realize. Negative. Oh, negative. No, oh, that's gonna hurt me. All right, you can you can tilt the machine a bit. You know, in pro pinball play, that's a huge part of it. They have tutorials on how to tilt the machine. All right, now I want to go up to the top again. Get there. Oh man, I got robbed. I got denied my place in the annals of history. It's fine. Let's go. Is that an X-wing? Grungy Nick, if you're watching, I'm gonna need you to confirm. Smash it! All right, I don't know if I have to push the button to shoot it. Wanna... Oh, frick. Straight over there, he says. All right, a lot, lot of good that did me. Hell yeah, man, we're getting points out of our mind. This, oh my God. You guys ever remember seeing a pinball go that fast? I don't think so. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. All right, th th we're, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. Crew, we're doing it. Frick, no. God. No. All right, why well, am I not getting points? Oh, frick. This time. All right, I can't get it up that ramp. I need it up that ramp. Here we go. God damn it. Not today, god damn it. Hell yes. All right. Sorry, confirm. Uh, what's that about an X-Wing? Uh, the thing rotating on the screen right now. Is that an X-Wing? Is my terminology correct? Oh, frick. Oh, man, we're smashing it. Luke, Chewy, Han. I'm doing it for all of you. All right, extra pinball just for me. That's right, Ruby J, if you're going to be... I can <laughs> hear it in my headphone. That ball is rolling around somewhere. It sounds like it's right here. All right, did we done? Did we done break the game? Are we about to pop out of the matrix? Is that what's going to happen here? Left ramp. I don't know what that means. All right. Well, the state of pinball emulation, not flawless, not without its flaws. I'm just throwing more quarters at it. Like it. All right. <laughs> I guess that's it for that game. That's fine. Oh my god, my right ear is now very sore and very sad. That's fine. I, I could have just kept going. You guys were witnessing like premier level Evo worthy uh, strategies there. Brady Games was going to do its first ever strategy guide on freaking uh, pinball, but I said don't do that. That's fine. All right, wow, pinball was really uh, about five months. Oh, same here, Wendy. Yeah, you're a little uh, newer than I am actually. You got there. You got there quick. 
so that's a that's a great turnaround actually I only did one day a week for a long time though so uh, that that took that burned me bad man I needed to do two days a week now I'm at two I need to do more all right sorry uh, I feel like I'm in the film quantum player one says you remember when that ball sound was just in your ear for really loud yeah all right uh, by the way everyone I got lots of pinball in fact I think almost every pinball machine that's ever existed is available so if we're ever doing Radland Raw, and you guys are like, man, I could go for some pinball, just throw out some suggestions. I got the pinball hookup. All right, if you imagine the real hard, uh, the, the pinball ramp sound like a TIE Fighter. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll get down with that. I see it now. Uh, yeah, that's an X-Wing. I have reached the unsober portion of the night. <laughs> He's just like, Frisbee? You remember that from The Simpsons? All right. Is it stuck? How does it? Uh, virtual ball get stuck. It was like stuck under the machine rolling around somewhere. Jesus. All right, what was Ruby saying here? Saying hype and guy brush. All right, welcome in, Ruby. All right, what the heck is the point of pinball machines? Getting mad points, bro. But that's the thing, though. Pinball does require skill. Like, to, to transfer it from paddle to paddle, it takes skill and patience. You don't want to be the guy. Here's how, Art, this is how we played pinball back in the day. Ah, like, left, right, left, right. Ah, you got to be slow and methodical, and you have to find out there's lights on the ground on the pinball machine that tell you where you have to go to like move forward in the game he's got a sweet pinball hookup yeah dude there's like there's like 60 gigs of it I have like a 60 gig archive I mean I have every pinball machine in my basement Fred couples hooked them all up for me um uh, that's pinball time that has concluded pinball time now what were we talking about someone was like oh man real bell fatal fury oh that was veiled right god damn it let's check it out all right the sixth fatal fury title Featuring 19 playable fighters, along with uh, the usual Fatal Fury lineup. Die Pepsi, it's get me. Uh, including Joe Higashi, or Higashi, Terry Bogard, and what? what no Andy Bogard. They said uh, Andy. No one's playing as Andy. Fine. All right. Four old bosses like Lawrence Blood and Wolfgang Krauser. Playable now. All right. Well, Krauser is going to be playable. We're going to have to goddamn play as Krauser. Fatal Fury. Uh, what is this? Real Bout? No, I already forget the name. Fatal Fury really boned it up on their naming. Real Bout Fatal Fury is the sixth one. So Fatal Fury 6 is Real Bout Fatal Fury. And then there's Real Bout Fatal Fury Special. And then there's Real Bout Fatal Fury 2. Alright, what the hell is this? Is this Real Bout Fatal Fury 2 that we're talking about here? Real Bout Fatal Fury. What? It says it's from 1996. What the hell's going on here? Well, all right. Real bout Fatal Fury. Let's go. Or real bout Garu Densetsu Special. All right, let's play. Let's goddamn play right the frick now. Got to got to change that stream info. Real bout Fatal Fury. Real bot Fatal Fury. That is not how it goes. Real bout Fatal Fury. Hell yes. Done. I don't even know if I have the right one. I don't even, MAME doesn't even, er. Hot intro, God, we're missing this hot intro. Oh, guys, I'm trying to get you there. Frick, oh, we missed it. It was hot as frick. Frick. Real bow, Fatal oh, Fury man. Special. Well, we got there just in time. Seems like an especially loud game. Frick me. Let's turn you down a bit. Oh man, Let's pixel lens flares. flares. You know I'm on board with that. Oh damn, Han Fu has nunchucks? You know I'm being Han Fu. And I'm also gonna be Mary because they animated her breasts. If you're gonna go that far, to that length, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't anyone? What in the hell? Do not go full screen. I did not authorize that. Alright, now we're good. Oh, mom has given me so many quarters. Holy frick. Alright, cuties, I'm gonna head to bed. Uh, so I'll catch you next time. Have a great stream and good night, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, Wendy. I'll catch you on your next stream as well. I'm gonna, you gotta show me how to do the Rubik's Cube, Wendy. I don't wanna look like a jerk in front of my son again. All right, I gotta solve it for him. Frick. Oh, they do have Andy back. Well, they didn't give him a shout out in GamePro. What a disappointment. All right, I've 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 now put 26 quarters in this machine. Let me go. All right, Frick, man. You know I'm gonna have to be, oh no, okay. The, the girl with the animated breasts is in the other game. That's fine. Well, then that means I have to be, what's his name? Hell yeah. On Fu all day. This is a very weird track. And I get to pick my enemy? 
Well, these two look all connected. Be tough or be dead, big guy. Ready? Go. God damn. I just start all black and white. This is funny. All right, isn't that May in the top right? Is it? Where did May come from? What was her intro into the fighting game world? Smash him! What are you using your feet for? You have nunchucks. And Jin is not really looking prepared for a fight here. Jesus Christ! Guys, rad moves. Why wasn't he in any more game? Damn, Hanfu is kicking the ass. All right, not anymore, he's not. Finish it! Finish it, Hanfu! Smashed him. You blew it, Jin. You had one shot, Jin, and you freaking blew it. Le fighting level A. That's one away from S, okay? Protect the panda! Yeah, no accidental panda hits. Get there. No, oh man, he brought it back. There it is. I don't know how to do that move, but I like it. All right, mid 90s is peak Neo Geo. Yeah, I think even Neo Geo was on the way out at this point because uh, 3D graphics and all. But for the, oh man, nice move. Uh, for the pixel connoisseur, this was it, man. Smash him. We have the exact same move apparently. Oh damn it. He anti-aired me. Not today. Not today, damn it. Right, it's close. It's close. Oh, frick. Hanfu, no. All right, anyone know the Nathan Barnett Neo Geo song? I don't know the song, but I like Nathan Barnett a lot. He is the last man standing in physical comedy. He puts his body on the line. I like his uh, Gym Nasty series with Newland Montrose. I can't find any more of his moves out. What is, oh, come on. God. Oh man, I dodged that one. Sick dodge. Oh no. I guess I have, uh, oh wait, you know what I'm missing? You know what I'm missing everyone? You guys are watching some hot strats right now and I don't want you guys to, uh, wait, do I not even have the thing here? All right, well, hold up one second. I need to do image. It's gonna be worth it, I promise. That is the biggest icon that has ever existed, but you know what? I personally don't want to play a fighting game if I'm not currently going for EVO Championship of all time. Guys, you're watching some EVO level strats here, and this is my bid. This is my actual bid uh, for the main stage, EVO 2021. So let's go. Let's play the goddamn game. Alright, that's not that's gonna hurt my that's gonna hurt me. That hurt me pretty bad. That hurt my feelings pretty bad. It's fine. We'll see who else is in the game. Oh, you know we gotta be Duck King as well. All right, is that May? It is May. All right, you know she's fine. All right, we'll be here. She's probably got some bouncing breasts as well. If we're talking bouncing breasts, she probably got some bouncing breasts. Dago awaits. I'm gonna smash him. He has no idea what he's getting in involved with right now. All right, I'm gonna smash him with May all day. All right, not my best start. All right, fan him. She's straight up saying Hadouken. Oh man, look at that fanny. She's got a high jump, Jesus. Oh, Ken reversal, yeah, that, that probably goes down as like the most clutch moment in fighting game tournament history. All right, as fine as she is, she's actually uh, kind of not, not good. Okay, that is pretty rad. Not today, mate! You gotta want it! That's like a huge combo, but it doesn't do any damage. Oh, frick! We brought it right back, though. We brought it right back. That's fine. So awesome, they immortalized it as training exercise in one of the other games. I do remember that, Nick. That is a very a nice, classy touch. But the, you can practice it. It's not hard. Like, once you know the combo, like, you would, you just know the, the timing instinctively. But to pull it off in a moment like that, oh, man. Like that, that takes a lot of, and the balls on that guy. That was Justin Long. Uh, or is that his name? No, some, 
What? It wasn't Dago, right? It was someone else. Like, the guy that was big before Dago. Was it Dago? I thought it was the, the shorter pudgy guy. Or was he playing against the shorter pudgy guy? Alright, brought it back. Yeah, got, oh, no. Early. Oh, too early. Alright, uh, and Grungy, or Veiled Nomad, sh hitting up the link in chat. If you want to see, like, the most clutch fighting game moment of all time. Oh, it was Dago versus Justin. I thought it was Justin that pulled it off. My bad. All right, we got to be Duck King because this is a ridiculous character. They took him out of the series for a while, but he's back, baby. Blue tongue and all. Or be dead, big guy. Ready? Go. All right, let's go, Duck. All right, we got to get this guy off the beach, goddammit. Oh, he's in trouble now. Jin, you done goofed up. Duck King is here to smash you into pieces. Smash you into oblivion. Uh, S power. <laughs> Duck King is a hilarious character. Smashed him. That'll play. Fred Couples is saying, you know what, mother effort? That'll play. That'll play. XQC best stream. This sounds like a, a fake channel. XQC if you're a real channel. That's good. Best stream sounds funny. I don't know. Is this a Russian bot? Did the Russian bot just get me? That's fine. If you wanted to come in and stop in and see some Evo-worthy uh, street, a real bout Fatal Fury action, you came to the right place. I mean, even the Russian bots need to have some fun sometimes. Not a lot of fun hanging out in Russia. Unless you go to some of those... Oh man, smashed him. Uh, some of the architecture there, left over from the uh, Soviet era. Goddamn, it's crazy. A lot of that uh, brutalist architecture, god damn. Alright, Duck King used to hang out uh, at the video rental place and bum cigarettes uh, while drinking strawberry cider he stole from his mom. That sounds like canon to me, Vale. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Does Duck just bring this little duck with him everywhere? That's awesome. Oh, Andy's taking it super seriously. Duck is just effing around, man. Look, he brought it back that quick. Duck is insane. Holy Jesus, what is that? Oh, Andy's bringing it back. Andy's deadly serious now. It's kind of a funny throw. That was a sick Ippon, Andy. Man, I got combos galore. Andy better done watch himself. Oh no, you blew it big time, duck! Oh, you can't handle this. You can't handle this. None of this. Duck King is awesome. I love Duck King so much, says Young. Of course he's got ducks. That's the duck or the ducks. That's Duck's thing. I got no oh, frick Andy kicked me in the face. He mule kicked me. Get there. Oh man, I'm smothering Andy. He has no idea what, what is going on. All over him. No mercy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that was my bad. Oh, he's bringing it back. He's going serious mode. Oh, here we go. Get there. Duck. God damn it, don't you hurt the duck, Andy. Oh, God damn it, Andy. No, frick, no. Oh, he did my thing. He got in my face. Frick. This game needs the Samurai Showdown flag guy. I heard it was DLC. Don't pay for that DLC. It's like the horse armor. Not unless you can be him in the game. Remember there was like a code to be that guy in Samurai Showdown, wasn't there? Oh, frick. That was a desperate action. Oh. Man, I'm spin moving all over this guy. All right, throw one more fireball. I GD dare you. See that dodge? He's dodging out of, out of control. All right, it's down to the wire. Tie game. Tie freaking game. Get out of there, duck. You don't know where these moves are coming from. All right, tie game. Oh, God, no. You freaking dance your guts out. No, Duck, no. It's fine, we'll move on. Duck deserved better than that. Andy, 
Frick you, Andy. Who's gonna take care of this duck now, huh? God damn it, Andy. Frick him, okay? Frick him, girl. Not today. Frick him. All right, uh, and what am I doing? I already, I've lost, I've lost control of this stream. All right, here we go. Snatch your time. Oh my God, Fred, put those pants on. Looking sexy as ever. Fuchsia colored shirt, which I'm jealous of. I can't find that shirt. I've been looking for it. Fred's the only one that has that shirt. And he says, guess what? Nope, fish. Nope to fish. I'm with you, nope fish. I had a bad fish once in my life, and now I think every time you cook fish, your whole house is gonna stink. It's not the case. Don't cook it very hot. Be sensible with your heat. All right. Uh, welcome aboard. Welcome to the Fred Couples Nation, everyone. This is the Sunday stream. We're playing some freaking Game Pro Magazine. 1997. June. There's a lot of arcade games that came out, including this one, too. Magical Drop. Jesus. When am I going to get to the other games? I don't even know. Magical Drop's really good, though. God damn it. I think we have to play Magical Drop. God freaking... Let's see what they say about Magical Drop first. It's kind of like Puzzle Bobble, right? But then it's also like Puzzle Fighter. It's like a mix between the two, which is... Eh, that should be all you need to hear, frankly. All right, more Puzzle Madness. This time, with 16 tarot card characters to choose from, Magical Drop 3 also uses extra buttons that lowers uh, the drop one level. Otherwise, it's just as addictive as Magical Drop 2. I never played either. Magical Drop Roman numeral for three. We're going back to the arcade. We're just back there. We're back there again. Hope you guys are ready. God damn it. Oh, well, accidentally closed it all down. I gotta tell you, this Windows 95 machine is a little sketchy. Just a little bit. That's fine. Just more time for us to spend with each other. What a what a lovely crew we have here. Thanks for watching every week, everyone means a lot. Wednesdays is going to be fun, too. I'm super stoked for the next episode of uh, Console Cold War. Man alive. Never played Zelda 64, or Zelda Ocarina of Time, before. Before this! And we're playing it now! I'm going to keep... I'm going to go. We're going to take another dungeon down, unless it takes like two hours or something. See what I didn't understand. And I will go over this on the Wednesday show. That's the first time they'd ever had targeting enemies in a game that I can think of and I remember at the time I hated it I'm like but there's enemies all around me and I can't attack wildly wherever I want yeah that's the idea dum dum D Dark Souls Demon Souls Zelda 64 kind of had it done first all right magical drop why don't you work this time all right this time You guys can't see what I'm seeing. Okay, finally it worked. All right, we're going back. All right, I have way too many scenes. It takes me forever to find it. Here we go. We are not going to Evo on this one. Evo, you're going back up there. And we don't need the tunes here anymore. But I do need to edit my stream because someone could be coming in here going like, Magical Drop 3 is my jam! Don't worry, buddy. I got you covered. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, updated. Don't you worry, buddy. Magical Drop 3 is your favorite game. I'm about to play your favorite game. We're going to just get out of our minds. Let's get out of our minds with Magical Drop 3. I'm losing my mind already. Oh, frick. All right, let's move that over there. All right. All right. Yo, Bout. Uh, yo, real deal. Or real Bout. Fatal Fury is my jam. Oh, Sasquatch, you missed it by... Oh, just a minute. Oh, God damn it. Wait. What the frick is this, he says. It's this new guy's jam, God damn it. We, you gotta stop living in the past, man. All right, 330 mega power. <laughs> That's a lot of power. That's a lot of mega power. Magical Drop 3 is another Neo Geo joint. Yeah, we're going through the Neo Geo games at this point in the magazine, I guess. Ruby saying, having the ability to name your video game character almost anything and choosing Andy. <laughs> Andy. Sorry, a little late on that one, uh, Ruby. I was, I was just jamming too hard to that game. All right, we're gonna go to challenge mode. I'm gonna just crack some skulls. You guys don't understand. I'm gonna crack some skulls. This is a loud ass game. I have it already turned down six, six dB. It's already getting in my grill. Let's. I'm gonna challenge everyone. And man, they even animated this little chibi character's breast. Japan is a special kind of awesome. I already know for sure we're gonna be Empress. She's the one showing the most breast. My son wouldn't be here otherwise. Okay. 
think about it. All right, now let's see who's who or who's better. All right, this is like Data East last game ever before they folded. Yeah, and I guess it was on Neo Geo. Weird, right? All right, burst balloons. All right, I've played this game before. You don't have to tell me how to play this game. All right, God damn it. All right, I already forget what the hell I'm doing. Uh, all right, shoot you up there. I got what button is shoot for the love of frick? All right, then we're gonna smash him up here. Can I? Oh no, it didn't do anything. Oh frick! Oh frick me! All right, just get this out of here. I see how you can get combos and stuff. I don't necessarily know how I'm doing that, but All right, let's get greens over here. Green, green. Uh huh. Get you there. Smashed him. All right, let's, uh, oh wait, let's get you here. You over there, toss you up there. All right, that looks good to me. Don't miss her, oh, here we go. Oh, big damage, this guy's done fricked himself. Oh man, she fine, oh, she, w she went, she went very uh, traditional on that one, that's fine. All right, based on this information, I'm assuming the mother of your child is Empress. Basically. Um, it's a long-running uh, talking point I have on the show. See, I'm a bit of a fan of the 32-bit breasts, and I am unashamed about that. I'm respectful about it, but I'm not going to get my stream canceled like the maintenance man of this club that I run. He's trying to get me canceled, so he likes to tell people on Twitter that I've been saying mean things about uh, breasts and stuff. It's all respectful. I don't know where he's getting this crap from. But ultimately, you know, my son wouldn't be here if I weren't a fan of breasts. It just wouldn't happen. That's, that is exactly how he got here. Maintenance man's been telling me to put him back in. Can you believe that? That's just what kind of activist he is. Real savage. Alright, this game has a pace to it. I'm digging it. Oh, man. Oh, man. She could not hang with this. She could not hang with all this. Alright, you want to make the biggest zigzag of some colored marbles. That's the trick to this game, says. Oh, anime Norn calls it. Cheap, chibi crap. <laughs> is that what I said? I don't even remember. Alright, diagonal. That's right. Go. Alright, this guy wants a piece. I'm gonna just smash him. Right, let's see if I can make diagonal stuff happen. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 I didn't want that. Oh, God, I'm blowing it. Oh, dudes, I'm blowing it. No, oh, go up there. Oh, that is a smash. There's no way he's coming out of that alive. All right, he survived it somehow. He's clearly the greatest player who's ever lived. It's fine. Here we go. No. All right, here we go. Here we go. Feeling it double down. Oh God, I thought that was golden. All right, get there. Oh God, no. No, get there and then green it up. I really have no rhyme or reason to what I'm actually trying to accomplish here. I am a bad puzzle player, as it turns out. Uh-huh. Green? No. I like how you can recover. If you make a mistake, you can just take, pick it back up and put it somewhere else. Alright, here we go. There we go. Oh, I see. And then you can chop down the yellows that way. Okay, get the blues. Oh, frick, I'm in a bad way now. Oh, God, no. No, I don't want that green. Oh, God, this is bad. Oh, frick, this is so bad. No. Oh, he's got me. No, oh, what am I doing? No. Hey, guy. Guy that just joined this stream because I was playing Magical Drop 3. I'm sorry. Oh, frick, I'm sorry. That's unique even by today's Bubble Bobble standards. Yeah, that is pretty unique. That's Magical Drop 3. I won't subject you guys to more Magical Drop 3. Uh, that is not Evo worthy. I know I like to talk a big game, but that is not Evo worthy Magical Drop 3 play. Not even close. Not even goddamn close. Yeah, goddamn it. Not today, goddamn it. Oh, goddamn it. All right, what else we got here?
Uh, let's get some tunes here. It's awfully quiet in the club. Everyone's just standing still back there. Okay, there we go. Freaking overdrive out of their mind. Right, we could do some deep, deep Namachuke. Oh, God, yeah. Um, I could do some Rampage World Tour for you, Grungy. If you just need to see it, you gotta see it. Does that one have, does that one have history for you and, uh, Chicken Tendo? Like, I know you guys said you wanted to do a stream with it. All right, you could say you lost your marbles in this match. Oh, stay puff marshmallow, man. And I will. All right. Frickin' Bubble Bobble. Vampire Saber. Played it. Oh, Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. Frick! That one has the bouncing breast. We might just have to play that for the bouncing breast. Separately, but yes, we both grew up loving it. Well, god damn it. This one's for Grungy Hey, Grungy Nick. This one's for you, big guy. During the non-sober portion of the evening. With this extra woozy track from Namachuke. Just feel those vibes wash right over you. All right, Rampage World. Is it spelled colon? Rampage colon world tour. Well, frick. Come on. All right, back to the arcade. I told you this was a goddamn arcade heavy episode. Frick me. Rampage world tour. Got it. Locked it up. Got it. And let's go back to the gameplay portion of this episode. Boom. Boom. Mom gave me some tokens. Oh, wait, I do it on the controller. My bad. Oh, God, here we go. Well, I guess I have to be the gorilla. Oh, we got credits galore here. Oh, man. Over under on her showing us cleavage. Pretty high. Sexy scientists. All right, the Saturn version of Rampage World Tour requires a mortgage payment to obtain. Is it expensive? It's hilarious. All right, which button is punch the wall? Oh, get that burger and fries, man. You've earned it. All right, what was the gorilla's name? I know the, the lizard was Lizzie. Oh, don't punch that thing. Oh, smash it with feet? That is how you do it. What am I wasting time with punches for? Just do this. All right, all the loot is mine. Oh, man, I burned my tootsies. Oh, God, no. Oh, man, it's throwing dynamite at me? You done fricked up, sir. Grab the big bottle of mayonnaise. Did it with a nice classy jump kick at the end. All right, got him. Locking it. Lizzie was Godzilla. George, that's right. That's right, it was George. All right, where is the military? Oh, there's the helicopter. You'd think there'd be some tanks here. Oh, frick, man. Can I punch this guy's stand? No, I can eat him. That's fine. Eat him! All right, we're doing it. Oh, dudes, we're doing it! You smash these houses? Hell yeah! Now that's the rampage I want to see. Just going frickin' suburban. Oh man, you're cooking some turkey for dinner? Not today, buddy. Oh man, she fine. Clearly the creatures. All right, gotta head out. Ruby, thanks for stopping by. Every Sunday we do the same thing. Every Wednesday, for the time being at least, I'm playing through N64 games uh, that I had never got to play because I'm such a PlayStation super fan. Console Cold War. Check it out on Wednesday, same times. Thanks for stopping by. This music. Five girls in a skyscraper. All right, this guy is riding my butt. You're dead, buddy. I did not like the taste of that guy. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Oh man, she fell out of the building. Oh god. Okay, I keep hitting the jump button. That is my bad. There we go. Oh, he's burning his fingies. God, this music is out of control. This music is an out of control teen on Mori Povich. Lie detector test determined that was a lie. 
We revealed our sexy decoy. And punch that helicopter. You guys remember sexy decoys? And that was it. As a kid in the like late 90s. You want to watch another episode of Mari Povich? Eh, how about another episode? Eh, why not another episode of Mari Povich? Oh man, she fine. Frick. Yo, Jigs, welcome back. Frickin' the Chicago suburbs, yeah. They weren't ready for it, man. They were just listening to their heavy metal thinking life is never gonna be any cooler than it is right now. I ate the phone booth. I ate the dudes. I wonder what he does when he eats an American flag. He's like, you know what, man? I prefer, was that, Spain? Chile? Punch the hell out of flags. Eat those teenagers. He is fricking this building up. Jigs, welcome back, by the way. Good to see you, Jigs. Always getting jiggy with, oh, he didn't like the taste of that. Security bonus. Man, why would you ever punch again? Just do that. And then pull rad jump kicks off the building. This is pretty hilarious. All right, Peora, Illinois is where Wayne's world was supposed to be set in. Is that how you pronounce it? Peora, Peoria? Is that where I am right now? Is it Aurora? Aurora sounds right. And it's funny how much stuff take like in my childhood took place in Chicago. Everything was in Chicago. Every sitcom was in Chicago in the in the early to mid 90s. Every single one. And I'm these guys are No, we're not going down, man. We got to get them. We got to stop them. You guys better abandon this building. And leave all the turkey in it. Thank you very much. I literally just watched that before Rad's Wednesday stream. Watching Wayne's World? Look how crunchy Nick. Ace true to the 90s. Down to a T. Uh, it was always hard for me to get my wife to want to watch, uh, like, old stuff. I always want to watch old stuff. I never want to watch new stuff. Like, we have Amazon Prime. I've never looked at anything on it. Don't care. I only want to watch old stuff. And they don't have it. I have to go to Matflix for that. And Matflix is amazing. Not the police station. Um, oh man, jump kicks galore. Oh, they got away scot-free. Anyways, uh, now that I'm doing the uh, pop culture refresher, it's been a good excuse for us to be like, oh, I guess we'll watch that other movie from the 90s. Like, Thank goodness. I got her. I locked her back up. This guy is not intimidated by me at all. Well, he just... He went down with the building. Frick. Clean it. What's up, broseph? No telling what good seeing you, Jigs. Are you still in Japan? Are you, like, permanently in Japan right now? That's where you live? Oh man, here we go. Oh, frick. Oh, am I supposed to get these or not? Oh, God. FTP. Athens. All right, Yonk Street. Grew up in Chicago. Uh, the amount of arcades in the area was insane. Oh, man, that sounds awesome. Oh, man, I turn them into goo. All right, eat the mayonnaise. Or the big jar of pills. Whatever it is. All right, we'll change games after this level. Assuming I beat it, I don't see any reason to think I won't beat it because I'm just absolutely crushing this game because I put in like 20 tokens. Jump kick! <clears throat> Hell yeah. Alright, youth hostel. You guys thought you were safe in that youth hostel? I know you've been dealing with some hard stuff in your life. Well, guess what, buddies? About to get way worse. I'm gonna take all your fries. What was that McDonald's commercial? Remember on your seventh birthday when someone stole your fries and we never found out who? It was him. To that boxer, the coach was his dad, and that was his uh, his motivational speech uh, in between rounds. And he pointed to the guy he was fighting. Man, that would get you stoked. Sick moves, dude. All right, here to stay. Wow, that's a hard that's a hard move to make, man. I wanna. How'd you pull that off? That's awesome. It's even hard to just vacation to Japan, and they don't just let people come on in. It's a good get. Japan is definitely an interesting place. Would love to check out Japan. Yep, you gotta want it. George, goddammit. Eat him. Get there. Eat him. Eat that guy. I'm sick of his attitude. Alright, I'm gonna have to jump kick this guy. 
All right, eat the phone booth. Why not? No, oh, that did me more harm than good. Oh, the embassy. All right, we're indiscriminate. We're going after every country. Oh God, no! Climb the building. You gotta want it. Oh, I don't think he wants it. George is starting to lose it. Get there. Get there. You gotta do it this way. George, you gotta do it this way. Did it. Oh, man, we did not lose. We, we just crushed that game to pieces. Oh, man, she's fine. George, uh, you realize what you're doing? All these scientists are so fine. I gotta go way up here to play this because that's the box. All right, that's fine. All right, that plays pretty, that plays way better than original Rampage, or at least NES Rampage. And I don't want to hear the song. I want to hear Wave Race, goddammit. I need these vibes to be light and breezy. God, we're still in the arcade. You know what? Frick me. There's still more arcade games to play. Oh my god. I want to play, uh, next up on the list, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, because it has animated pixel breasts. Bouncing. We have to know. Why would you guys even want to not know? What kind of world do you live in where you're like, I don't need to know that. I need to know that. Someone had to animate them one at a time. That's amazing. Isn't it? All right, I've been in ignoring the chat because I'm awful. All right, home of REM and the B-52s. Where in Japan? Uh, Tokyo. You don't have to give your exact location. Oh, he did. Anyway. All right. He gave his exact prefecture. You know what I've watched, actually? There's a YouTube channel where it... Uh, it's just someone riding the rail, like the sky rails in Japan going through the suburbs or we're like close to like suburb stuff and just watching like there's there's a huge market on YouTube for just super HD 4K front of the train videos. You just drive through Switzerland, drive through Norway, drive through Japan. It's like, wow, you never see this Japan. You always see like high tech Japan, but this is like uh, Yong Street saying pixel breast. We have to know. I'm your one stop shop in pixelated breast. We're going to know. We're gonna goddamn know, God, God damn it, Young Street. We're gonna goddamn know. He says it's the best. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to visit there. I don't know how that's even possible anymore. Now that you have a kid, it's like I don't. Hey, saddle up, kid. We're gonna go to Japan. Like what? What? All right, uh, Jigs. What's uh, what's um, what's something you would say to people who've never been to Japan before that they should they should make sure that they do when they go to Japan. Otherwise, they're going to A, offend people, or actually B, get in really big trouble. What's one thing, like, you just wouldn't know? Don't do that. Don't you go do that. You better not do that. We got to know. We need to get right here, right now. All right, dope Wave Race tunes, man. Wave Race. That was, that was like one of the first N64 games I played as part of this program, and I was pretty blown away. All right, best food in the world is in Japan. Well, I don't know about that, man. I don't like seafood. Yeah, I can't. So if they're, if they're dropping some seafood on that plate, unless it's in very specific types of sushi, I can't. I do have a respect for it, though. Chopstick etiquette. Uh, lol, do not do. Bad at chopsticks, too. I, like, tense my arm up so hard while I'm eating with chopsticks that, like, I get a cramp. It's got to be light and breezy. I don't know. I never learned Japanese, he says. He go in there speaking English like, hey, everybody, I'm speaking English. So be like, look at this a-hole. All right, yeah, stab the food with the chopsticks and leave them there. That's right, yeah, they don't like that, do they? Everything I know about Japan jigs and chat, I learned from Mr. Baseball. Tom Selleck. Check it out. That's actually a great movie. I'd recommend that wholeheartedly. Uh, that's what he does in that movie. He leaves the chopsticks in there and they go, Rah! But is it like that? Is it like, are they, Rah! don't do that. Or are they just kind of like, all right, food here is pretty high level. Even the convenience store stuff is decent. Well, all right, all right. Uh, pretty sure me too. <laughs> Guys, we got to play some of this goddamn fighting game because I'm going to Evo this year and I need to train. I need to just get trained out of my mind. You goddamn know. In fact, you know what? You know goddamn well, Fred and I are going to be practicing this game in particular. We're not going to play Street Fighter 2 tonight. No. We're going to do five hours. We're going to do half Mongo versus Mongo in Survival Arts, at least. At least half. That is fact. Caught him. I caught him. You're famous now, buddy. I keep telling him, man, if you would have just been more cooperative, you could have been an internet famous cat. No. Not very cooperative. Take a picture while I'm doing something cute? 
Not today, damn it. Fine. He's a very cute cat. Very vocal cat. Shut up! He's looking at me like this. You know when cats have their mouth open for a bit? I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter versus the animated pixelated breath. This is content. Oh, God. All right. Good content. You guys are getting the full extent of the content for your subscriptions. All right. And all the rest of you followers, you're just having a great night. That just got even better. All right. God damn! Sick drum fills galore. All right, where are we at here? Uh, all, right. all right. If you guys want to see some video games, frick. If you need to see some video games, fine. Um, of course, this is accurate. I own this machine, and I am in the stated regions. All right, Marvel superheroes. Versus Street Fighter. Boom. Boom. Are you ready, true believer? I'm freaking ready, man. I'm a true believer. I'm ready. Uh, the cat's name is Hauser. Named him after Total Recall. I'm not Hauser anymore. Now I'm Quaid. Douglas Quaid. Excelsior, says Grungy Nick. All right, big white puffy cutie. He is cute. He's 13. He's an oldie. He's a bit of an old hat at this point. I learned from Mr. Baseball. My mom gave me so many tokens. Oh, frick. Alright, what? Where's the fine ass ladies? Where the hell? Was it not this game that had that anime? Am I lying to the chat right now? Frick me. What game was I playing then? It was one game in this stream. Oh, that's right, King of Fighters. Alright, well, we'll do is do a quick one then. If it's not gonna have animated breasts, frick, I, I built it up. Now we're just getting regular breasts. Oh, that's nice. He gave me a signed picture. Uh, you can do air, hurricane, or dragon punches in this game. Dan, now you're wishing you had a freaking fireball, don't you? I'm in your grill, man. Are you gonna tag out Shuma Garath? Fine, whatever you want, a hole. Man. Q Sound was getting their money's worth out of this guitar sample. Like, hey, just put it in the game again. Chun Li or Secure is all you get. Well, Chun Li is fine as frick. She was she single-handedly popularized strong female muscular muscly legs, and I ain't hating it. Goddamn. There we go. I don't know what his super move is. Oh man, Dan is back. Sick of your attitude, Dan. Smashed him. Oh, wait, I forgot. Obviously, we're going to Evo. All day with this. Oh, no. I like how you can... Oh, sheesh. I like how you can jump backwards but do a dragon punch in the air. That's not a bad fighting game. Plays pretty well. And Wolverine, also. Alright, we'll do this. Oh, man, she fine. Look at those legs. Oh, my God. Damn. She works out. She's been putting the work in. You you put in the work, and you reap the rewards. Lovely looking kick. God damn, that looks badass. Oh, we whiffed. This is good pixel art in the background. Is this the Chun Li that's a reporter? Is this her police station, or was she a police officer? She was a reporter, wasn't she? Oh God, no! Oh frick! All right, Wolverine, get in here! Oh, for a split second. Like, oh, this is my off-brand outfit. Police officer says Veil Nomad. Interesting. Oh, Jesus! I'm stabbing Akuma in the face. What the hell's Akuma's deal? Was he trained by the same guy, or what's the deal? 
She was Interpol. Oh, that's right. At least according to the movie, right? Isn't it rad they got the cartoon voice actor for this? I wonder if he was contractually bound to it or something. It's in the canon as well, says Grungy Nickel. That's good to know. Right, here we go. Oh man, Akuma is pulling all the moves on me. Well, not today, sucker. All right, we need to finish this off with Ken. I'm sick of Akuma and his poor attitude. Upsies. All right, you got your wish failed, Nomad. This is it. Uh, all right, I punched him in his face. All right, that's enough of that game. I don't need to go deep on this one. We saw Chun Li. We did what we had to do, and we're getting the f out. We get in and we get out. Like a green beret. Special mission. Special ops right there. Just diving deep and quick. Deep and quick. So what they call me, Norn, deep and quick rad. Going back to retro. I was like, oh, frick. I hope there's some retro on tonight. Well, guess what? There's a lot of it. Oh, we found one. Sweet. All right, God damn it! I was going to play Battle Circuit 2, but I think we've had enough. Infiltrate, hurricane kick, or get the F out. Undefeated, Jigs. Yeah, we did it, man. No one can top this, man. No one can touch this, man. With these guns. I showed you what these guns could do. Man, look at that 60 frames a second. Oh, man. Digging it. That's more like 45 or something. Or it's like up and down. It is going... Ah, 60 for a second. Ah, down, back down to 30. Ah, frick. All right, I have this. I didn't test it. We've played it before, but not on Saturn. That sounds like a weird one. Yong Street, you're the Saturn guy. <clears throat> Was Duke Nukem like the game you gotta play on Saturn, man? The game. Bajarka Barrage, says Veil Nomen. Frick them, says Jigs. You can't touch this. None of this, alright? You want any of this? You can't touch this. Mm -mm. Alright, I would just get stuck if I played this game. I could play it, but I would just get stuck. And that doesn't make for good content. I'm out of soda. All right, nah, fighting games on Saturn and Dragon Force. Okay. Well, do you consider Guardian Heroes a fighting game? Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good bad one. That's actually good. It did a good bad good. It's so bad that it's good that it's it's actually good. I think they actually executed pretty well on what they were trying to do. It's the kind of game that you go back and laugh at, but it's actually actually kind of cool. Uh huh. Spawn. What is it? Spawn the Eternal with Michael Jai White. Or Keith David, depending on your entry into the franchise. And what's up with Todd McFarlane? I always thought it was Todd McFarland. Todd McFarlane. I take it back. We're not playing this game. Not if Todd's going to be like that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Duke 3D was actually fully 3D on the Saturn, I think. Had lighting effects? Holy jeez. I'm a little curious about that now. I'm a little curious. Maybe we'll save that for when it actually comes out. Because I already moved the page. But well, does it mention it on here? Let's see. The graphics are almost as good as those on the PC. The scrolling and the scaling are smooth. But this early version tends to slow down in certain areas. While the various surroundings sport excellent detail, objects, especially monsters, turn into mass a mass of big pixels. And when you are close... Close and personal, uh, or and when you're close and personal, the music isn't in yet, but the sound effects remain true to the PC version, especially Duke's infamous one-liners, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it was too early to tell at this point. They might have made some big changes. Todd Berenstain Bears McFarland. Yeah, this <laughs> is the alternate reality. I remember it being Berenstain. I remember it. I also have a Berenstain book from when I'm a kid. Also says Berenstain on it. How could they think that far ahead, okay? Them? The government? Okay. Guys, we're gonna play Spawn the Eternal. Uh, you ever hit Super Potato Jigs? Oh yeah, I hear that was a good place. I think it's a little, it's not as good as it used to be, right? Or the crappier but more content version of Castlevania uh, Symphony of the Night. Uh, best game on Saturn was Xanadu. Interesting. Tom Berenger Bears. Grungy, <laughs> Grungy Nick's just, I heard Baron, ah, uh, Baron's name, Berenger Bears. Frickin' Principal. Ah, frickin' Principal. Tom Berenger should have played Batman. That guy has a mean looking face. Like, or no, he could have played Judge Dredd. Yeah. Is that the Jigs? It is. Tailspin. 
We got a real shiz reunion here. Tailspin, uh, uh, Tailspin is another shiz guy. There is only one Jigs. All right, I'm wasting time here. We haven't played any PlayStation game yet today. Well, goddamn, we're gonna rectify that. Or did we play it? I can't remember. I'm losing it, man. It's been like four hours deep. Man, that pop culture refresher was long as frick. That sapped me. I don't know what the hell happened there. I blanked out. I think between Super Potato and used up stores is how I got all of my Konami OSTs, Nornrad. That's awesome. Were you were you actually traveling to Japan, Vale? That's kind of cool if that's what you're doing. All the pictures on your Facebook are like, man, this guy's going everywhere. He's always on a mountain or doing something cool and all your pictures. Like, what the? I don't have, I don't even update my pictures. My last picture's from like two years ago. Yeah, nothing cool's happening here. Uh, well, especially now. Oh, I'm sitting at home. Actually, I'm doing fun stuff with my son. Oh, man. Oh, man, we took our son to, like, one of those indoor playgrounds. And, uh, because they're open still. And, uh, wow. Blue as freaking mine. Oh, my God. Because all we've been doing is watching kids on indoor playgrounds on YouTube because of COVID. Right? And then we're like, wait, the indoor playgrounds are still going? They're up? And we're going to go there. We're going to, you know, do all the things. They sanitize it all down. There's only other two kids there. Man, he loved it. That was a good day. I took some pictures of that, but we don't post pictures of our kid on the internet. We keep those off, because we don't want uh, the rascals in the advertising like, we have to scan his face. We have to enter him into the database now. Gordon Gecko wants the Glengarry leads, and his, he wants your son, damn it. No, Gordon, not today. All right, I'm going to sick spawn after him. Or John Leguizamo was the violator. That's what's going to happen. All right, hey, we're going to the club. Oh, man, we're at the club. Everyone's just popping off. This is the cover of the magazine. We haven't seen it in a while. Jesus. Let's minimize you, and let's play some goddamn game. Far East living in Tokyo since uh, 2018. Well, that's awesome. Man, the cosmic beard. So, so cosmic. I wish I had a cosmic beard, too. All right, just be careful. Your son doesn't get his hands on your Diet Pepsi stash. He's not allowed any. He also wants gum. Anything with aspartame in it, we're just like, not till you're a little older. Like, till you're five or something. I'm not going to give you aspartame when you're two years old. He loves gum. He's like, gum. Uh, Simon gum. Simon gum. Or he'll, he'll say, Hyman's gum. He doesn't say S at the start of words yet. He'll say it at the end of a word, but not the start. Hyman's gum. No, you can't have gum yet. You're a kid. You're a... We've given him high chews. Here's a high chew. It's, I mean, it's still full of sugar. It's not ideal, but we call it gum. Yeah, have some gum. This is gum you can swallow. You can't swallow gum. You can't even explain that to a kid. What? Loudest game ever. Jesus. Todd McFarlane. All right. All right. You don't need to post pictures. I just imagine a chibi version of Norn without the beard. Close. Oh, it's close. He looks more like my grandma, but I looked like my grandma when I was a kid, too. So kind of looks like we just both look like my grandma, but he looks more like uh, his mom. Whoopsies. Well, I hope I picked the right option. All right. Wish we could have hung out more when you were living in Seattle, but life happens, I suppose. Life does happen. Jig's just up and scooted over to... Okay, Jig's. What's, what's COVID like in Japan? That's what I want to know. Are they like... You're all on lockdown, or are they just like, eh, just come on, man. Just be cool about it, man. Hey, man, just be cool about it, man. Artie guy. Uh, Eric's cousin. He was like the youngest guy at the shiz gatherings for a while there. All right, just post pictures of him wearing a mask. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, if only my grandma were still here, we could have pulled that off. Grandma, just put the mask on. We'll say it's Simon at the park. All right, so the game has two phases. You walk around open world map like this, and it's kind of janky, kind of crappy. But you're basically walking from one fight to the next is how you picture it. Like, this guy wants a piece of spawn? Dude, I'm going to put my cape on and just smash you to the raddest metal music ever. I just want to hear the metal. Oh, frick. Frickin' spawn him! God, frick. All right, now I have to finish it. All right, there goes the metal, and the metal's gone. Like that's how you punch when you're in exploration mode. It's not you can't fight at all when you're this. See, people make fun of this game, but that was actually a pretty ripping tune. And if we're talking night, what the 1997, like a fully realized subway system that you can walk around in. And then get into fights. And we got a pyromantic orb. Hell freaking yeah. Just smashing all the benches. Alright. 
Oh, by the way, I hate this game, says Young Street. I'm Young Street, I'm in the middle of saying how much I like this game. I think this is a this is a perfect weapon type scenario for me here. I'm not gonna say it's a great game, but I'm also I'm gonna give him credit. I'm gonna go retrospectively put myself back into 1997 and say, alright. You got your exploration mode, and then you got your fighting game mode. And I've played way worse fighting games than this. I can't open that one. Frick. Uh, but yeah, I haven't... I, I've only played the first two battles, so could get a lot crappier as we go. All I know is this guy wants a piece, and I want to give it to him. Oh, new track? Hell yeah, punch him. This businessman wants to fight Spawn in the frickin' subway? So they basically made a whole game out of Tabal number 1's exploration mode. And it plays about exactly the same, but just looks way better. Alright, better be some goddamn health. Necroplasmic Sphere. Alright, wait. Is this the open world? Is this like an open world fighting game? It is! I'm just a sucker for open world fighting games, as it turns out. Alright, businessman has more health than spawn. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's Gordon Gecko. He's the devil himself. All right, if you have time to sit, you have time to lead Mail Golgia's Army of the Damned. Vale has all the hot trivia of Spawn. You know, when I was a kid, I got three separate medieval Spawn action figures. I'm not going to complain. It was probably one of the coolest looking action figures ever designed. But the Spawn action figures were one of these guys. No bend in the arm, just like a slight, a slight arm bent, like we're talking like this. Uh, what am I doing here? Just chatting. Like this. Arms permanently bent like this. And legs just slightly bent too. But nothing in the knees. So if you want to fight, you have to basically do this with the arms. He looked so badass though. Ah, frick. Alright, he was ahead of his time ordering DLC. OG PSX or... Uh, I, should, I should stop reading it off the screen and actually look here. Male Borgia. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That sounds more like I remember, but I actually don't remember. All right. Or the Sega Channel. All right, I'm, I'm already blowing it. Oh, back to the game. Let's get get back to the game. The crowd is like, what are you, what are you doing, Rad? We can't hear the sick tunes. Well, there isn't any tunes. There's dead silence in this game. That is an odd choice. Here we go. No. Man, I want the soundtrack for this game on its own. I am fricking this guy up. Oh man, he kicked me in the shins! Spawn's weak point. Alright, I need some health and I need a right friggin' now. Alright, over under that I can destroy this? I'm gonna say 70%. 70% of hell yeah. Is still hell yeah. Well, there's nothing in it. What in the frick? What a ripoff. God damn it. Oh, I can kick? Oh, well, goddamn it. All right, let me read that. Was Spawn hates sitting. Yeah, he goddamn hates it. He, up, he is opposed to sitting. I love how he's always squared up. Yep, yep, he's ready for action. Perfect weapon type scenario is the best sentence ever. <laughs> I'm just making my own vernacular at this point. Oh, hell yes. Secrets galore. Oh, man, that riff is stuck in my head. I don't even know if that's what the riff was. Kick it, Spawn. Goddamn it. You might not want to sit, but you got to kick if you want some health. Find some goddamn power-ups or something. Jesus. I thought the devil brought me back to life. He should have done a better job. She really fricked up on that one. Alright, there better be a necroplasmic orb in this garbage can. I don't need pyromanic orbs. Hell yeah. Alright, I don't I don't need a hell gauntlet. Alright, is there like a is there an item menu? That's a pretty cool pot. Guys, come on, give spawn a little cross. This is the pause menu. It looks a little janky, but uh what didn't back then, all right? All right, that was a bust. Now I gotta go smash, I gotta go bust this fool up in his red shirt. I'm just gonna give him left hooks all day. Let's see what you got? Let's see what you got, White Shadow? Triple kick to the face. Oh, spawn is down. Devil's like spawn, Jesus. I thought I freaking Oh man, I didn't update my stream. Done updating. Guys, oh frick. We're playing some spawn, the eternal, and it is the most amazing game I've ever I've ever played. It's perfect weapon type scenario. 
All right, 999. I don't know what that means. All right, get, there better be some goddamn necroplasmic orbs in here. One of the best games I've ever played in my life. Oh, here's the freaking... Man, we're going vertical now. Exploration galore. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me, Neil. All right, dude, the Capcom arcade game spawn was rad, by the way. Capcom had spawn in one of their arcade games? What the frick? Oh, this guy wants a piece. They need to play that one track again. There it is. I don't know how to do any special moves, and I can't afford not to just keep kicking. Alright, well, we didn't get to hear the full breath. The full breast. Only had half a breast there. I don't know what that's all about. Alright, nothing doing. Smash this light post down. Frick me. Alright, Art, you're piecing? Alright. Good night, dudes and dudettes. I'm out for the night, Art. We'll catch you next time. Always a pleasure, dude. One of my oldest living friends. Not that I have a bunch of dead friends. But known the man for a long goddamn time since grade 6. What the frick? Maybe even earlier than that. I don't think I was in his class until grade 6, though. I was aware of him, I think, in grade 4. Was it? There was only two classes, and you didn't know anyone in the other class. Alright, now we got the necroplasmic orbs. We got the hell gauntlet, which does nothing. This game, I think you get to go to medieval as well. You get to be medieval spawn. Alright, this guy with the red shirt. Man, I'm gonna kick his ass and then go to Neil's diner. You think you can do triple kick? That is my signature move. Get, get, get him! I don't know if I have any special moves. Alright, well, I killed him. He's dead. Spawn does not mess around. We're looking at a, a murder. Another murder on the streets here. Now let's go get some burgers and fries at Neil's. Hell yeah, Neil. Get. Alright. Man, I'm hungry. This looks like a bit of a dive, though. I don't, I don't know if you want to eat here, Spawn. Uh, Spawn, I wouldn't trust the menu here. What, uh, what does Gordon Ramsay have to say about this? Let's look on Yelp. He gave it a two thumbs up. Wow. All right. Rustic, he said. Fine. All right. Uh, if you, if you don't mind, uh, Hell Spawns coming in and kicking all the boxes and food, then you'll love this restaurant. Five star rating. That's verbatim. All right, do they hide some of their necroplasmic orbs in here? No? Okay, fine. That's the way it's going to be. What about in the garbage can? Oh, man, they didn't even hide any in the garbage can. Oh, good, I got the rusty key. Is that a sexual... Am I going to have to look on... Uh... What is that website called? Ah, frick. One that tells you about weird... Urban Dictionary. The rusty key. Oh, no, you don't put that in there. What's up with people in the butt these days? Oh, God. Getting butted out of their minds. Guys, let's keep the butt away from your face. God, what are you... No! Businessman? He's trying to put his butt on my face. Oh, come on, don't do that. All right, low crouch punch, unstoppable. Guys, you know what they're going to do? Special for me. We're going to Evo this year. We're going to Evo this year, thanks to this game. Alright. If there's no special moves, I, uh... If there's no special moves, I think this game can be broken down into a series of rock, paper, scissors. Yes! That's exactly how it feels. Is he going to do that? I better do this one. That's how I'm going to win Evo. I'm going to put this whole spreadsheet down. I'm going to memorize it. Put it in my head. Store it in here like Johnny Mnemonic. Let's go. All right, you fight a lot of maintenance men in this game. Yeah, these freaking maintenance men. This is maintenance man the game. They got it the other way around, though. The maintenance men are the hell spawns. Jesus. All right, here we go. Secrets galore. Oh, man. The calendar. Oh, breaking that seems to actually hurt me. Now I can't get up there. Yeah, Jesus. Hey, Young Street, we're going to Evo. We might as well let people know, you know? You know? And the whole my entrance song when I walk into Evo is gonna be. They're gonna be like, oh frick, no, it's freaking Nordrad. He's gonna beat us all so badly. Did you see him playing Spawn? I'm gonna come up with a guitar in my hand. 
wireless. Just... All right, there better be some necroplasmic orbs in here. God damn it. What am I supposed to do? All right, what was that about the diner? Uh, foot to the face is a special move, says Vale. Eh? I can't argue with that. I feel pretty special. All right. Uh, what button engages whatever I have to do in here? Oh, okay. That is an awful looking button. Look, as much as I love this game, and I do, I'm, I'm the biggest... Oh, man. You know I'm a big fan of breasts. 32-bit, 16-bit, 8-bit. I don't know what that is, but it looks about 1-bit, and I'm on board. Blur your eyes. I think it's a lady. I don't... She... She fine. All right, now I have to go find out what the hell I just unlocked. All right, red cape will materialize the moment the theme starts. Oh, God, yeah, you know it. I'll be walking in, and they'll be like, Frick, he's a hell spawn. Like, devil's be gone. All right, I am one HP. I have one HP to my name right now, and no necroplasmic orbs. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, frick, man. They got a first-person mode? Look at how the walls worked on PlayStation days. I'm not moving. That is just moving on its own. I don't know what the, what the hell the PlayStation was doing. Oh, man. Did you guys know I could do that? Okay. Shoulder buttons do some good stuff. Right, the next guy who steps to me is getting one of these. Alright, you want a piece? No, get out of the spawn! He's gonna... No, it's my... Back! Oh, for... Evo 2021 is canceled. Oh, frick, 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 There it is. Oh, frick. My Frankfurter. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. That's a hard game. Jesus. They really throw you in the deep end. To be fair, my martial arts training was just not on par there. Not on par. That spawned the Eternal. God damn it. That's a real heartbreaker, Grungy Nick, I know. Guys, I'm sorry to break your hearts. Frick me. Frick me. No. God freaking damn it, no. God damn it, no. No, we gotta pick it up. We gotta pick it up right freaking now. Pick it up, everyone. Pick it up. Oh my god. We're through the looking glass here, people. All right? It's a celebration. Spawn deserves better than that. Todd McFarlane? You programmed that game, didn't you? You and the maintenance man just got together in your little lair and you programmed this game. Very unfair to spawn. Frick! Nope, 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 nope. Not today, damn it. Not today, goddammit. All right. Not today, goddamn. Frick. I got one place to go first. Oh man, no! I don't play. 
Cosmic Beard just said, God damn it, I'm in. With that, I'm in. Cosmic Beard, you get a fresh start. You get a goddamn fresh start. Boom, boom. There it is. <laughs> the whole scene starts over just for you, big guy. We done did it. I know my beard is not cosmic yet, but I'm getting there, goddamn it. I'm getting closer. I'm one place to go first. God freaking damn. It doesn't work if it doesn't. <laughs> this doesn't work. Yep. All right, fine. We're in the club. We're getting crazy here. That's a hard game. I can't believe that. It's really popping off here. This club is really popping off. It's no Street Fighter. I know. We're going to have to put that one on the back burner. My Brady game strategy guide for that game. It's going to have to wait. Frick me. Ah, frick. We weren't ready for that one yet. Fred and I weren't ready for that one. We're going to get there. We're going to get there, guys. All right. Yong Street is saying the uh, Fighter Man. Pit Fighter Man. Oh, yeah. It's flexing those arms like this. Hey. Hey. Check out these arms. Check out these guns. That's my left. Look at that gun. You put it really close to the, This is just... That's not perspective. That's just how big it is. Frick me. All right. When you came up with the head sweep transition and saw it in action for the first time when experimenting, how hard did you laugh? <laughs> uh, pretty hard. It's like you rotate in your chair like this. And then you pan it from left to right. Oh, God. It works so goddamn smooth. I also have a couple others. These ones, these are the lesser known ones. Yeah, it doesn't work so smooth in the first play. This one might work smooth. <laughs> you run too many stuff, at, too much stuff at once, and it's like, no, I can't handle those. So we had to switch. All right, no audio. All right. Hot OST talk. Oh man, we're missing OST talks. All right, I can't play these. Oh, God damn it. So many variations. Yeah, usually they play smooth, but I don't know. I must be running too much stuff right now. Transitions basically make OBS go to 100%. <laughs> what the frick's going on? No, don't do that. All right, we're in the club, guys. I, I know who... You know, when you play a game that rascally, you know that there was something the maintenance man was involved with. You know. You guys, I'm sick of this guy. He's been talking bad about me on Twitter. He's been saying that I'm saying uncouth things. I'm not. He's been trying to get me canceled. Uh, and then he's going and programming a game like that. Like, guys, if you ever see the maintenance man in this club, you got to let me know. I'm not a big fan of this guy. He's not supposed to be around here during working hours. If you ever see him around during working hours, smash him for me, okay? You got to give him one of these. If you ever see him, frick him. All right, Shinobi3, uh, thank you. Veiled Nomad Sun. It's also on the, the beeper. Don't forget to check the beeper, Jakes. It's always there on the beeper. All right, uh, I love the one where you were running with the headband. Yeah, well, if we ever... Did you see my uh, live coverage of the uh, Olympics 1996? Because that's what that was for. Now, when May night or when 1998 rolls around, I'll have to do the Winter Olympics, and we'll bring that one back. All right, just for Yonk Street, we'll do it. Although, if I, if I haven't uh, loaded it, it probably won't work. Oh, man, I'm so tired. <sighs> oh, frick. Oh, no. Oh, God, frick. Made it. That was close. All right, we, we haven't gone to the Radland, Radland games in a while. In fact, I deleted all my scenes for it, too. We don't have them. They're gone. All right, now we can stop shredding these insane tunes. Let's open the door back. Okay, for some reason... Oh, there it is. All right, we can turn those down. Next game, please. So, next game, please. All right, jeez. Oh, we're going back. We, we are not going to the Radland games. And it, this scene is apparently too big, so it slows it down. That's why you need two PCs. If you're going to do transitions, you basically need two PCs to really hammer it home so that the one PC can just redline while the other one can handle everything else. All right, am I the, uh, am I the only one? Am I only on this thing for this stream? You might be. We're going downtown. All right, they're going to call it fredcouples.tv pretty soon. All right, don't worry, everyone. We're getting there. Fred's working his magic. I'm trying. I'm helping out. We're going to take Pepsi and I and Fred. We're just going to go red and bits and bites, obviously. I'm going to take this thing home. FredCouples.tv, you wait and see. All right. All right, now we have to make some choices here. We could play some Mega Man X4. We could do that. We could play... Uh, where was King of Fighters 97? Did I miss that? 
I actually want to play that. Was that way back here? I miss King of Fighters. Am I blown at that heart? Oh, there it is. Frick, that's the one with the animated breast. Well, I did talk a, a big hype, and then I went over and played this one by mistake. It didn't even have Psylocke in it. What are we doing here? Mega Excitement. Okay, Cosmic Beard's on board with Mega Man X. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Mega Man X. Cosmic Beard, are you here for 20 more minutes? I'm gonna play 10 minutes of King of Fighters just so we can document the jiggling breasts. That's what we have to do. Someone had to hand animate those things. If we don't document it, it disappears for all time. I can't live with that. FredCouples.tv, it's right. It's a, it's a great website. Uh, linked for your uh, convenience. All right, you can tell it's pre-COVID because it looks like you could get a haircut in the running transition. My hairdresser retired, that's what happened. Frick. I have to go get them at Supercuts now, and they always roll the dice. And I've been getting okay ones. The other one was best. Tap some buttons. All right, you play you. Uh, big MMX fan. All right. Uh, mostly enthralled by that quote. Uh, with that quote, I picked up from the page. I don't remember what it says. All right. Uh, KOF fast fapping. All right, yeah. <laughs> Frame Chasers rolls in. <laughs> Four hours later, he's like... Hey, Rad, are you talking about pixelated breasts? You're goddamn right I am, Frame Chasers. And this is pretty good. Pretty good. And it's not its not even trashy. Not even trashy. Very respectful. It's just what would happen if you had large breasts and you were going to enter a fighting game tournament. Okay? Not even fighting game. Real fighting tournament. And you were happen to be pixelated. Don't you guys want to know? Don't you need to know? I'm, I'm waiting for King of Fighters 98 because that's when they bring in Heavy D. That guy's my jam. All right, what are we doing here? King of Fighters. We're going to go back to the arcade. We do not. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go. Um, I have a transition for this. Arcade. Yeah, there we go. This one's not even funny. They can't all be jokes, all right? Sometimes they just have to be a normal, sensible transition. That was very sensible. I'm feeling very sensible about this. We don't need all these tunes on, though. That's not very sensible. That's irrational. All right, close you down. Thank you. All right, now this time, as frickin' promised. Oh my god! All right, beach volleyball frame chasers, all about that frickin' dead or alive. Where they're like, look, we have the tech. We might as well just make a whole game around it. How do you make the frick go away? I'm an adult asking this. Is it is it bleeping you out, man? I actually, I don't know how to do it. Cap this is freaking riff, man. Diet Caffeine Free Pepsi and a Bits and Bites present Red Couples Production in association with Evo. Up late with Rat. Slash. Needless to say. <laughs> Alright. They got some characters in here I've never seen before. We're gonna build our build our team here. Obviously, we're gonna be advanced. We're not We're not uh wusses. Mary uh Blue Mary. She's boobing out of her mind. Now, I kinda wanna see some of these other characters. Oh man, you know May's gonna be boobing out of her mind. Uh, over under on her having bouncing breasts? I don't know. I do want to be this guy while we're here. Oh, frick! Okay, we got there. Shingo Yabuki, because I think he's only ever been in this game. All right, it gets better than that. I'm not saying that's the end all be all, but that's pretty good. God frickin' damn it. We picked the right ones. We're gonna round it up with Shingo. All right, TM. Man, does your mom work at the laundromat? She just stacked you with quarters. Just sock full. And that way, in case anyone tries to get in my grill, I can just club them over the head. Round. All right, this game is a little too loud. Uh, if it's too loud, then you'll get caught. Someone will bust in the room. You won't hear them coming. You got to hear them coming. This is for your benefit, everyone. Now keep it nice and sensible volume. That way you can hear people coming. There we go. Long and low. Oh man, he smacked me. Oh, he is blasting Blue Mary. Chang Kohan. Hi. I think she's supposed to be a throw character. Oh man, he blocked my thing. There we go, sick. He's so big, you couldn't even see my rad Ippon. Oh, I whiffed it, get him. Man, who brings a giant ball to a freaking karate fight? What is this? Oh man, it's close. Get him. Oh Chang, why? Not like this, Chang. All right, uh, the 2D physics. Yeah, they're like, man, 
there was at some point someone had to test this out. Like, it's not right. It's not right yet. Oh, here we go, May. All right, frame chasers. You dirty son of a gun. That is happening for real. Man, even the shirt itself is moving. Like, they, they didn't just animate the breast. They animated the shirt around the breast with pixels. All right. Take that. That's a classy move. Oh, she's a very traditional young lady. All right. Not not bad, May. All right. Were these as popular as Street Fighter in Asian countries? These were popular here, too. It's just they weren't... Uh, they were Neo Geo big. We were definitely like a Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter kind of country. But yeah, these these are pretty big in Japan. They're big here too. They're just oh man, I thought I could sneak in there. Oh, I smashed them bad. There's more of these games than there are Street Fighter. The King of Fighters still going today, I think. But they just kept going. Oh frick! Oh man, he blew it. He blew it, and I reaped the rewards. All right, those physics are definitely ahead of its time. That's working for me, man. Spicy. I appreciate it. Because as a man that enjoys breasts, I'm looking and it's like catching my gaze. Like, what? 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 It's catching the, all the male gaze. Oh, no. How dare I? Well, what if May wanted to save the world? Would you not let her because she's too sexy? Is that what they're saying? Because that's what the maintenance man would say. Like, hey, May, I know you need to save the world right now because we're being overrun by terrorists. But you know what? Not today, May. Not with those things hanging out. You get back in the kitchen, May. That's what they would say to her. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Like, no. May is a, a strong female. She can do whatever the F she wants, sir. And if she happens to wear a shirt like that and save the world at the same time, and then some man looks and says, like, yeah, got a nice breast. Um, that's not a problem, because that's life, okay? That is how life is made, okay? Frick. All right, Space Cowboy knows. Oh, welcome, Space Cowboy. God damn it. Fresh off, man, getting those hot royalties from, uh... Fifth element. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, here's the new character. Shingo Yabuki. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got some rascals here. It could even be... Could even be Space Cowboy. He's just lucky he found this. Because he was like, man, if only someone was playing King of Fighters uh, 97, I would really be uh, in luck. King of Fighters 97. I didn't have my stream listed correctly. Oh, God damn it. Well, now you would have known. Good thing you found it, man. Close call. Close call. Hey, baby. All right, you ever hear in esports? Oh, frick, no. So this guy looks like the the guy that ended up being like the King of Fighters poster boy. He wears the same outfit, but he's a different character. Uh, announcing the victors, here they are. Oh, Japan, you so crazy. Winner. Hot. All right, were these popular? Maybe smell there. There she is. Uh, maybe smells good like shampoo or maybe conditioner. Oh, goddamn. The physics definitely ahead of its time. Even the butt physics back in the low kick. Goddamn, butt physics. Okay, we got butt pixel physics. I'm going to let this guy go first. I want to see what his moves are. I'm going to let the ladies round it out at the end. Not Robert Garcia. Oh, man, he cut his hair, though. Round. Oh, no, he's still got a ponytail. That's good. Looking just like Terry Silver. Not today. All right, we're fighting the art of fighting crew here. Not oh man, sick disguised punch. Get there. You want this? And apparently, I did the secret move. I don't know how to do that. Hell yeah, smashed him. All right, it's only when she's on the right side of the screen. Facing left, though. Wow. They're like, man, we got to do different sprites for each side. The game sprites are not flipped, surprisingly. That is insane. You got to respect that they did They did not only the sprite animations for one direction, they did the other. Like, even in Street Fighter, Saget has an eye patch on whatever side he's he's on. Like, they didn't, they didn't do that for Saget. Oh, man, I'm pulling kick moves galore, and she slapped me out of it. Holy frick. I'm in her face. Oh, give her a big old punch. I'm just kicking air. All right, ladies, time to time to freaking bring it back. The big win. Here we go. All right, Mary's up. Blue Mary, sorry. Here we go. Round three. Ready, go. Get it, Mary. Oh, frick. I fricked up. Oh, man, they got that... Gamelan in the background. I love that instrument. Does it remind you of uh, Kira? 
Sick throw. Now that throw has more distance than Zangief's spinning pile driver. And I'm doing all these throw moves, but she's nowhere near me. Here we go. Damn it. Yeah, Vale, I, I love using um I love using this instrument in all my projects. Whenever I'm working on games, I try and throw in a gamelan everywhere. It's just such a cool sound. Alright, Cosmic Beard, uh, the only when she's on, okay. Bob Saget. Bob Saget wearing an eye patch. Should have been in Street Fighter the movie. All right, man, you gotta, you gotta get this. You gotta want it. You gotta want it like I enjoy high-waisted pants. High-cut sides on the ladies. Oh, frick, man, she's countering me galore here. Oh, my God, no, this is it. Oh, man, they still got a guy after this. We're, we're hooped. God damn it, May, we're hooped. Get out of there. Okay, we're fricked. Oh man, we did it. We pulled it off. I'm mesmerized. I can't stop looking. I wasn't even looking at the other character. May, pretty cool character. Oh wait, here we go, guys. Alright, we're ready to rock. This is it. The men from the boys, right here. Oh, we're choking. Oh no, we're choking. We're not going to Evo with these strats. No, come on. Greatest offense, or greatest defense is strong offense. Oh, frick. We didn't earn it. Guys, we didn't earn it on that one. Ah, oh, frick me. All right. They beat me pretty bad there. I've been beaten. Bested. We were beaten by the best. We are no longer in the arcade. We will no longer go to the arcade. Not with those, not with that skill. It's been a long night. All right, we don't need these pick it up tunes anymore. We need these tunes. Oh, yeah. All right, we're ra rounding the night down, everyone. Frick me. Oh, Mega Man X, that's right. Hey, Cosmic Beard, you were the one that was all, bo all about it. We are going there. We're going there. Saturn, though. I'm going to play it on PlayStation. Who plays Mega Man X on a Saturn? What is going on? Boob Physics OP. Tiger, upper, cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> Bob Saget. That's the tie-in. I get it now. I thought he was just doing it and I got it anyways, but I get it now. Didn't know it was on Saturn. What the F? Yeah, I, I only tested it on PlayStation. I assumed it was on PlayStation when I grabbed it. I mean, I could play it on Saturn. It just seems weird that they would even be mentioning the Saturn version. All right, what do they say? Blue Bomber's back. Mega Man X series makes the jump from 16 to 32 bit. Uh, for more trademark side scrolling shooting action. I'll, we'll let this. Okay. Mega Man. X4. Oh man, it actually has a picture. It looks so much classier when you have a picture. Alright, you play it on Saturn if you hate transparency effects. Uh, does Saturn not have transparency effects? It seems like a weird oversight. Oh man, this freaking marimba is out of its mind. 2D is okay. Obviously, it's always been okay. It was you guys that said it wasn't okay. Except for right this very second. Alright, Mega Man X4, here we come. Diving straight in. Elbow first. Elbow deep into Mega Man X4. Alright, here we go. Alright, we get to go back. The crowd is cheering. Projector screen lowering down. Everyone's just losing their mind. They can't wait to play this game. What the frick? We are not going back to the Radland Dream Arcade. Oh, God, that's the problem with these damn transitions. Okay, we're back. Transitions. They're more trouble than they're worth. God freaking damn it. It's fine. I forgot this is what the magazine cover looked like. We haven't been to this screen very much. We've been arcading our guts out today. All right. All right, you played on Santa and not very well, uh, says Veiled. Uh, a couple games can do it, but uh, most use a checkered dither. Really? I did not know that. Oh, man, you come for the game, but you stay for this hot anime action. All right, no transparency is the one reason why Castlevania... Symphony of the Night is lame on Saturn. Well, goddamn. I had no idea, man. All right, anime intro hype. Get hype, freaking Cosmic Beard. Not bad looking anime. I'd watch this anime. Ooh, 
going on here? What the hell is going on here? This is great looking anime. Just enough lighthearted humor. Is that Light Man? Or Bulb Man? Or whatever his name was? Alright, who are these? The extended family cast? No thanks. Is that Zero? Mega Man was legit the best series game to game. You like, uh, from start to finish, they had the highest quality. Like, everyone was so fun to play. Yeah, the, the X series and the numbered ones, for sure. Uh, even the Mega Man Legends games, they were fun. Uh, I don't know about the Battle Network ones. Um, Mega Man X started getting the Sonic and Friends treatment post MMX3. Sonic and Friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, they keep adding characters, right? Well, there's zero. We got zero. Oh, man, look at the extended cast. <laughs> it's a lot of... And that dark guy, oh, damn, who is he? Well, we're going to find out because we're going start to finish. One one quarter completion right here, right now. Whoa. Oh, man, I hope the music is just shredding its guts out in this version of the game. It damn well better be. All right, let's hear. Over, under, on shredding guitar in the first track. Here we go. Uh, excluding this one. No, I will not be zero. Legends was dope. Yeah, I love Legends. Legends one I rented and beat in one rental, but played the hell out of it. That just, I'm saying that's how much I played it in that rental. Loved 9 and 10. See, I never got to play 9 and 10. Uh, I watched people play them. I watched them do it at a shiz gathering, actually. Yeah, it was just too far. I don't like playing, um, they made an 11? Oh, damn, Jig. They are far too eager to please the humans and continue to hunt down the reploids. Hot free anime action. I'm going to get copy strike just for this. Perhaps you already know the truth. All right, it's fine. I don't feel like hearing some bad English acting. See, the thing is, when you watch the Japanese acting, they could be doing bad acting and you don't know because, like, I don't understand Japanese. Well, Jigs will know because he probably understands some Japanese at the very least. Mavericks have been found at point five five six seven. Maverick and Goose are still there. And they're inverted. Oh, frick. All right, we don't need all this. Haven't played 10 yet. Loved 9, he says. All right, haven't played 10 yet. But you did play 11. Okay, we got guitars galore. Not today. Not today, goddammit. Oh, yeah, you got this move, the dash move. Smashing them. Oh, dudes, we're smashing them. Oh, he's coming. What? He's getting me here. Not today, sir. That's really more synth than it is guitar, but I ain't hating it. All right. E English voice acting is cringy, says Jake. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's harder to be non-cringe. It's just easier to be cringe, I guess is an easier way to say it. Good voice, English voice acting, like, it really stands out and is awesome. Like, uh, Mortal Shell? Oh my god, some of the voice acting in that game is just a modern Demon Souls clone. Fantastic voice acting. Like, enough for me to be like, I really like the voice acting right now. Oh, it's just non-stop explosions here. But in Japan, I don't know what good or bad acting sounds like. I think it's all actually pretty over-the-top melodramatic, but because I don't understand the words that I'm hearing, it's like, all right, this seems fine to me. Eh? That's what, eh? Nani? Does anyone say that in Japan, Jigs? Do they actually say, Nani? Because that's, that's all I would know. Uh, nani? Uh, nani? I know Nani. All right. You were almost a gel sandwich. Now, Jill. Wait. Don't open that door. Maybe this is Chris's blood. In any case, it can't be helped. Oh, God, no. It might come in handy for you, the master of unlocking. God damn. This seems like a pretty good... This feels like a, like a good Mega Man X. And it doesn't look that much different, too. It just looks like a better version of the Super Nintendo. Which I guess was the idea. Not Robo Bumblebees. Those are way worse than regular bumblebees. Oh, frick. Get out of there, Mega Man. And this level is popping off. Oh, no, frick. 
Oh, we gotta get out of here. Oh, dudes, we gotta get out of here. It's popping off. Oh, frick me. All right, I'd assume so. Uh, I'd assume so, since I often go, what, in English? What? That's what it would, that'd be the equivalent, right? Nani? What? I guess I do go like, what? I do that a lot. So much to the point that my sons started saying it. What? Or he'll say, oh man, because he's always doing basketball shots, and if he misses, I go, oh man, oh man. Now that is adorable. You want to see something adorable, watch a little kid say, oh man. Can I get through him? No, I can't. I'm now I'm fricked up. Oh, here's the guitars. All right, dodge it. It's time to, oh man, I got a haircut on that one. That's fine. Oh, frick, shmup time. Smashed him. Smashed him so much I had to itch myself. All right, Cosmic Beard. Uh -huh. Oh, Jig says yes. <laughs> All right, look at those art graphics. God damn, yeah, this is pretty nice. I like that it's not like, it's still playing really smooth. It doesn't seem like a huge overreach from the Super Nintendo, but it's just like a nice upgrade. All right, Colonel. Colonel. Oh, no, I thought I was gonna have to kick his ass. I didn't wanna have to, but I thought I was gonna have to. All right, we, you know what? We don't need to know the storyline. The hot, hot trivia here. All right, this guy's not shady at all. Yeah, that song certainly sounded normal. All right, we're gonna go. Well, I don't need to save, but I'm saving anyways. He's definitely not on your side, says Cosmic Beard. Yeah, I don't think so. He's, he's gonna, I'm gonna get one of those. Guarantee I'm giving him one of those before long. All right, uh, it's not like the Super Nintendo, but better sprite limit handling. Yeah, something like that, Vale. Vale is right. That's how I would describe it. It seems like it's a... It's not a huge upgrade from the Super Nintendo, but it's playing smooth and all the graphics are just not, there's no hitches. Everything looks really good. Uh, the Nazi hat means that he's a good guy, right? Yeah, usually if you're wearing a Nazi hat, you should really be like, oh wait. Unless I'm M. Bison, who wasn't a Nazi, he was just a jerk. Um, it really, there's no reason to be wearing that hat. Oh, I get to pick? This song is happening, Jesus Christ. Oh, cyberspace, we gotta go there. You know the song is just gonna be freaking out of control. Oh man, the Air Force could have a rad song too. Oh, frick, man. We got some choices to make here, crew. All right, Nazi hat, strong jaw equals good guy. That's McLean. Volcano, oh man, these are all, and I might save it and then go check out each level real quick like. Cyber Peacock equals Net Navi says Smug Speed. Welcome to the chat, Smug Speed. I don't know if you've been in here chatting, but welcome to the chat. All right, Volcano. Do we only have four? Oh man, they're gonna go eight deep. God damn. Marine base. These all sound super hardcore, except for Biolab. I'm. I would never go there. First time here. Well, welcome. First time ever here. All right. Well, let me just give you the spiel to break down Sundays. Next Sunday we're doing it again. We go month by month, and we're on June 1997 for Game Pro. And I play as many games as I can from each goddamn issue. Wednesdays I also stream, but we do other stuff on Wednesdays. Wednesdays uh, up for grabs. There's a lot of military guys here. Uh, I usually go for like another 40 minutes, uh, but it's like a five hour stream, a hearty five hour stream. And if you're digging it, I don't wanna, I don't wanna put any pressure on you. You don't have to say, oh man, I am digging it. That's not what I'm doing here. But I'm just saying, hey, if you like what you see, I've archived every episode on YouTube because Twitch is hilarious. They're like, yeah, you can only have them for two weeks. Oh, well, frick. Um, so check out the past issues. I wouldn't check 95 out. 95 gets a little rough. I didn't know what I was doing then. 96 and on, pretty good. All right, here we go. I'm saving this because I want to check out. First, I got to check out the Net Navi himself. All right, am I right? Smug speed, I'm right. Let's go. I love those anime sound effects. Frick me. All right, this better be just synth out of its mind. Oh, and Grungy Nick also saying, if you love video game music like this, oh god, actually, Slayin' 2 is my basic, my attempt at making a soundtrack like this. Very similar in style. Uh, that's my band camp. I'm a musician for video games. Smug, I don't want to put you on the spot. You don't have to check it out, but it's there if you're ever curious. Oh, interesting. They went with, they went with non-super synth. They went with like a tweaky ARP instead. Oh man, I don't want those things to touch me. I'm in trouble here. Frick, no! Oh 
man. I'm trying to hurry up. These things are freaking me up. Okay, don't touch a triangle. Triangles are bad news. Oh, God, no. Ninja Gaiden action. Hell yes. All right, you can't kill these things. What a weird choice. Yo, that background is happening. I like the way that looks. All right, little stock sound effect there. You're a game composer? Cool, he says. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun to... What? Did I, is this like one of those... It didn't do it right, dude. Do it better. Uh, yeah, I've uh, made a variety of music for video games. I've been doing it since 2008. Oh, frick me. Or uh, 2012, sorry. Not 2008 years, not... Well, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen when I get to the end. They jacked me over last time. Oh, you have to do better, I guess. And that was a rank A for some reason. All right, this level's a bust. This level's such a bust. Oh, man, Air Force better just have some rough, rip, ripping rockin' tunes. If they don't have rockin' tunes, we'll turn it off right now. This is high-pressure situation. All right, he left a space fortress to conquer the air. God damn, they gave him a backstory? God damn, Storm Owl. All right, I'm currently rushing to the Air Force. Gonna enlist. Ready. God. Just play Guile theme. Still Capcom. <laughs> or Brett Hall Hockey 2. They ripped it off. Okay, this is... I'm getting jacked by the first enemy in this level. Alright, showed him a thing or two. Oh, Jesus. How do you get across that? Oh, you gotta dash. That's right. Or you could just jump across it like a total stud. Oh, God, no, don't hit down. Okay, thank goodness. Damn it. All right, I just, when I was a kid, I had more patience for these games. Now I'm just trying to speedrun everything. Ow. Oh. Yeah, Mega Man, oh, frick. Mega Man 2, 3, and 4 were the most important games in my life when I was growing up. Oh, God, no. All right, I gotta finish this guy quick before he shoots another missile at me. Oh, frick. All right. Ready. I think that was a mech, maybe, and you passed, says Cosmic Beard. I passed him with sheer raw determination. Frick me. All right, this is my favorite X game, by the way, says Smug. Oh, god damn. All right, Smug, I've, I've, I was a Mega Man, like, numbered Mega Man guy, and I didn't have a Super Nintendo until well after the fact, so I was never really, I didn't get to play enough of the X games. So the fact that this is your favorite X game, can you articulate what it is about this one that's that gets you? All right, there, there's got to be something hidden back here. Oh man, there's got to be something hidden up here. All right, my RPG player. Oh frick! The RPG player in me is just losing his mind. Which way do I go? Oh frick! Health? Hell yeah, that was worth it. I don't feel like you have to respond. That's kind of a big response, but if you have like a succinct way that you can, that you, you know, I, I always tell my friends to play this game because of this or that. Oh, frick. They're shooting bubbles at me. It's uncalled for. I'm probably just driving a mental plane this game. Like, why is he awful at this? Ah, Jesus. I've been playing for five hours. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, got to smash him. All right, that was, that was a sick parkour maneuver right there. Oh man, the missiles galore. Man alive! Get there. Oh, frick. Like, they force you to do this. I need to do it so much faster. I'm like, uh, get... Two shots? How dare they? Got him. Smashed him. Oh, God. No, oh, God. He's gonna get me with a laser. All right, I'm in a bad way. Enemies haven't been dropping a lot of health. Oh God, no, she, okay, we did it. Got a haircut on that one, that's fine. Oh God, not this way, not this way, oh God, no. All right, the OST, the story, the fact that there's an upgrade that gives you infinite special weapon ammo and the level design. Okay, hey, he, he made his case. That's interesting to hear that this is 
a Mega Man X fan's favorite Mega Man X. That makes me want to play it even more. That makes me want to be like, oh, damn. If you want some Mega Man X action, this is your slice, man. Oh, God, get in there. All right, damn it. Damn it, Danny. Oh, I can't. Oh, Jesus, I can't do it. Oh, man, Fred Couples said, get in here. He put on his fuchsia shirt just for you and said, Smug Speed, you're not going to be disappointed. Trust me. We're having a good time here. We also have the best chat in the, the the world of Twitch, and which you are now a part of. Oh God damn it! Oh God! No. All right, I'm in a bad spot here. Hi. All right, we got out of that. We got out of that tight jam. Oh God, not again! All right, we made it further than we've ever been before. Smashed him. Oh god, no. Uh, get frick! Get there. Oh yeah. Speedrun strats activate. No, 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 not like this, Mega Man. Did it. Didn't even need to kill that enemy. Said don't didn't need to. Pacifist run. Ready. X1 is my second fave, to be honest. X1, okay. Oh, man, the tunes on X1 were just out of control. Alright, I speaking of tunes, I'm gonna do one more level because I wanna hear some god goddamn tunes. All right, Smug, do you have a favorite song in this game? Because I'm all about the tunes in these games. Level with the best tunes. I'm going to guess... Oh, man, Marine Base could have something hardcore. Or Military Train could also be pretty goddamn hardcore. Magman Dragoon Stage. Is that this guy? Magman Dragoon? Magma. I assume he's the volcano guy. All right, we're going. Smug Speed has suggested this stage, and we're going. No pressure. I would have just picked one at random before. Now we know. He betrayed the irregular hunter and hid himself inside a volcano. Oh, frick! All right, we're gonna go kick his ass. He wants to hide like a little rascal. Kick his ass. And you know what else? We're going to Evo 2021. Brady Games is watching this closely. They're gonna be like, we need someone to design our strategy guide, and for God's sakes, it's gotta be Norrad. Frick, no! All right, strategy guide number one. Don't let these giant fireballs hit you. Uh, chapter 1 through 10. Oh, frick. So this is kind of a neat little way you have to roll your finger across the dash and then jump button. Oh, frick. Get there. All right. Get there. Whoa. Whoa. I'm not even fighting robots anymore. Mega Man is just literally in a volcano. This song is pretty, pretty ripping, Smug. Get there. Not today. Speedrun strats, activate. Not today. I'm smashing you before you get another missile. That's my least favorite enemy in the game. Get there. No, oh, frick. Oh, you can shoot these rascals. All right, I'm in a bad way. Damn it, Mega Man, no! Morpheus, no! All right, let's see if I made it to a checkpoint or not. No, 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 no! All right, man, I'm getting smashed here. Go. Oh, man, regular jump. That is not what you want. Got him. No, no! Man, I think we're worse off now than we were when we started this level. Can I do this? No, you gotta get up there, Megaman, you don't want it! I assume this level's easier if you have a certain weapon. All right, if you want some advice, I know who the first Maverick of the weakest, the weakness of the weakness chain is. Well, I don't have enough time to beat a whole level. I'm mostly just sampling the music at this point, which is fine, but I'm out of out of curiosity now. What is the first Maverick? Is this one of the games where there's like a definite first Maverick? Alright, this time. This time, boys and girls. Not today. Hell yeah. Alright, just in time. Web Spider, he says. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, to weirdly pass, uh, press the dash and then jump at the same time. Yeah, you, you roll it over like zip, zip, zip. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. No. Oh, no. I like that fully engages speedrun mode, though. That is that is actually a horrible thing for me to figure out. Like, do you dare go as fast as humanly possible? I do. Oh, God. I uh, got it. Ah, oh, you gotta, you gotta take some damage to win. You gotta play the game to win. All right, here we go. Speed runs activate. Full speed run mode. We're going 100% speed run here, guys. Welcome to my Evo 2021 speed run for Mega Man X4. I know it looks close, but you need to get yourself down to this low health. That way, you unlock the secret mode where you can. Oh, correct. All right, Smug. I, I know it looks like I was going deep on this game, but the whole, the whole way that this show goes is I usually play a game for like 15 minutes, and we do like. 12 games an episode. Um, Evo, maybe next year. Oh, God. Evo 2022. Jesus. All right. Technically, you can beat any Maverick as your first, but Web Spider is definitely the easiest one. Yong, you're out of here. Good seeing you, Yong. Yong! Good seeing you, bro. All right. So, we'll show you, uh, Smug, if you're still if you're still on board. You don't have to be. If you need to bail out because you were just, man, getting X-Men, X-Men, Mega Man x 4 out of your mind, I'd understand. But we're going back to the segment where I read through the magazine. I'll show you where we were. I like that song. It's a good song. God damn. Let's get some of our own goddamn songs in here. Hell yeah. All right. Reading some magazines. Smug. This was the issue of Game Pro. We're, uh, we're only about halfway through. I'm, I'm basically just... You know what I'm going to do right now, guys? I'm just going to blast through the rest of this magazine and then pick a last game. Uh, we'll play this Dynasty Warriors when it actually comes out. That was the first Dynasty Warriors game What was not actually like one of those uh, big multi kill 10,000 people kind of games. It was just a straight up fighting game with like a counter attack uh, bent to it. And I rented it. We'll wait until that comes out. It's only 100% complete right now. Oh, okay. Available in the US in June. It is June. Guys, we got to go way deep on Treasures of the Deep. No, no we don't need to do that. We could do that, but I'm not going to. We played Mission Impossible two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mass Destruction. It's a strategy game. The strategy is to go blast the living crap out of everything in sight. They've been they've been trying to get me into that one for since the 3DO, since 1995, and I'm still not going to play it, even though I did like the game. Oh, hot jams. Goddamn. Nah, it's fine. But you should do a full thing someday. I'll put it on the... That's the one. I mean, if I'm ever going to play Mega Man X now. Based entirely on your uh, suggestion, that's the one I'm going to play. Syndicate Wars, Machine Hunter, and eh, not the greatest. Yeah, we've been, <laughs> it's like four hours deep. We played that last week, oh goddamn. Hexen on N64. MDK, we've already played, goddammit. And they said it's full five. They gave this a full five, but they only give Final Fantasy a 5.5, 5, 5, 4. 5. I can't believe my eyes. Who did this? Air Hendrix? They're just giving out fives here. Jesus. FFT, Star Fox 64, Harvest Moon all came out in June. Final Fantasy Tactics, is that what FFT is? Star Fox 64, we've already done. Harvest Moon, I've never played on anything before. Is that SNES? Yeah, <laughs> Lobo, oh god damn. <laughs> tactics, oh, okay. Well see, I know that first level in Vandal Hearts was easy to do, but Tactics, I can't vouch for it. And wouldn't they, oh maybe they'll talk about it in the role players realm. Blood we played on PC a little while ago. These all look kind of crappy. Look at this Bomberman game. This is what I thought of of PC games when I had a console at this time. Like, mm -mm -mm, this looks kind of cheap. No, I don't like the look of that. No, no. Oh, no. StarCraft's a big one. I wouldn't... I would play it, except this type of game, like the, the real-time strategy game, they're the genre of game I know the least in my entire life. You guys should have watched me play uh, Dota when I was at uh, BCIT. Everyone in the class knew how to play it. And they're like, oh, you want to play? Like, fine, okay. I don't know anything about this genre. I just remember my friend Eddie going, B, 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 to get back. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Eddie killed, dead. The other team getting so much advantage. Like, that was the last time I ever played that game. Sonic Jam also came out. I wonder if Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back is in this magazine. I think Crash 1 came out like four issues ago. We played it pretty deep there. Um, I think they talk about Crash 2. Uh, they might have like a little blurb on it at the very front. Let's see if they're, if it's in this one. Because I remember seeing that somewhere along the line. Uh, not yet. They're getting there. Crash Crash 2 is getting there. 
we okay goal storm freaking baseball games more baseball games than there are fighting game I wear damn I really flipped ahead over blood Battle Arena Toshin Den 3. I rented it mostly because of this screen. You look at this and you're like, man, that is the most fighting game characters I've ever seen in my life. And well, all of them, half of them are unlockable and they're all crappy. We played it last week. Sad thing when I end up playing all the game. Frick. Overblood. Wow, getting a review. We played it three or four weeks ago. Not bad. Good adventure game, I guess. Keeps getting compared to Resident Evil, which, yeah, someone in the chat was like, it's not a good comparison. And they're right. That's not a good comparison. Like, oh wow, War Gods, that game brings me back. Forgot that game exists. We we did War Gods on N64 earlier today. Um, but we did the arcade version, uh We did the arcade version a while ago, like in full form. Not bad. At the time I remember thinking, like, man, it's 3D fighting game. It's actually 3D, man. We're finally there. Oh frick. Oh man. I actually really want to play Thunder Truck Rally. I don't know if I can end a stream on Thunder Truck Rally though. I might have to. I don't even know what else is in this issue. Need for Speed 2 would probably be a bet a bit better, although the ratings would say otherwise. Frick me. Now I think Need for Speed 2 is a lot better than Thunder Truck Rally. Jesus. There's baseball game number one, Grand Slam. Alright. Mass destruction get big points here. Fun factor five. That is probably pretty fun. I rented it back in the day. Crow City of Angels getting its due. I think the the one in graphics is a little unfair. Didn't seem like a one in graphics. Fun factor is way too high. Yeah, keep dipping that down. Dip that scale down. Uh, Scorcher. No, we don't want to play that. Ray Storm. That's pretty good. I own that one. I had that one back in the day. All right. I just remember thinking it looked good graphics. That's why I I wanted I rented this one back in the day. Like whoa, full rain physics. Full lens flares and and the lighting on your car. Ugh. They sold you the dream. They were good at that back in these days. And for some reason, they're giving you Legend of Zelda tips. Yeah. Okay, this is baseball game number two, VR baseball, and we've already heard about All Star Baseball featuring Frank Thomas. So that's three baseball games in this episode, in this issue. Baseball game number four, Triple Play '98. None of these baseball games, by the way, even had created character yet. How weird is that? We're talking NHL 97 already had created character. NHL 95 had created character. And freaking Grand Slam. That's five baseball games in this goddamn magazine. What are we talking about here? When did Ken Griffin, Ken Griffey Jr. come out for N64? Um, it's not out yet, but uh, yeah, it's probably rapidly approaching. Was that when you played Cosmic Beard? We'll definitely play it. I'm, I'm all about the N64 games, because now on uh, Wednesdays, that's when I'm doing console Cold War. Because once they lost Final Fantasy VII, that's when I said, uh, Nintendo, you done fricked up. I'm gone. I'm gone and I'm going to be a PlayStation super fan forever. And I remained a PlayStation super fan tattooed with uh, razor blade and ballpoint pen ink on my chest. PlayStation forever for 25 years. 25 years I, stat I sat stationed in the jungles of British Columbia. PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation. I didn't know the war was over. I didn't know. They had to come in. My own guys had to tap me on the shoulder. And when they did, I went, <gasps> and then I just started crying my guts out. Crying them out like you would never believe. Now, because I'm doing this uh, series here, the Sunday show, I get to kind of catch a second wave. I get a second chance to catch the N64 wave because at the time, I was PlayStation all the way. Dedicated forever. PlayStation forever. Now I get my second chance. So I'm going to take that chance. So yes, we will play. We'll basically play all the N64 games that come up. But on Wednesday... I'm dedicating it to uh, one game in particular at a time. So I'm going through Zelda Ocarina of Time for the first time ever. Never played it in my life. Played it for five minutes at a friend's house and said, I hate this because I'm a PlayStation super fan and this game's for babies and I would never play a game for babies. I'm not a dummy. That game's for dum-dums and I would never play a game for dum-dums because I'm smart. That's how I thought. That's when you're in the console Cold War. That's how it goes. 25 years later, I was still doing it, man. Uh, Nintendo Wii, I would never play that. That's for dum-dums. I'm not going to play that. I have, I have like four generations of Nintendo I've never played. So I will get to play them all at some point. Console Cold Wars. They were real, okay? Uh, were you the guy that raided that temple to get the PS Underground disc? <laughs> it sounds like something I would do. Alright, we were on the opposite sides, except to a lesser extent. <laughs> you were in the jungle for 25 years. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. I needed Final Fantasy VII. I needed it. And when they lost it, I was like, 
I don't know what Sony is because at the time I was like Nintendo and Sega. Those are the only two. Why would I do anything else? And then Sony's like, uh, hey buddy, we got your Final Fantasy here. I'm like, uh, my worlds were ripped apart. Sides chosen, all right? The Capulets and the Montagues. PlayStation forever. I'm bringing it back. I'm gonna bridge the whole gap. Everyone were getting bridged. So the fun thing on Wednesday, if you watch those streams, is you'll see a complete, like, I don't know how to play the N64. I bought a controller. I got a controller just for it, a USB controller. I don't even know how to hold this damn controller. I don't know anything about the N64. I'm catching that wave. I'm riding that wave. Second wave. Smug saying you chose right. I think so too. I think the PlayStation was the right choice. If you were only able to buy one at the time, I think PlayStation got you the more bang for your buck. But for no reason, I had a lot of animosity towards Nintendo. Like, that's for dum-dums. I'm not a dum-dum. I'm a smarty. I'm a little smarty pants, and I am playing only games for smarty pants. Wolfcat, welcome back in. Uh, she's here just in time to say, oh, man, I'm so tired right now. Wasn't it like 3 in the afternoon for you? 2, 1, 12? Uh, fin oh, you finished a three-hour stream. Oh, yeah, you got to go get some food after a three-hour stream. I'm five hours and a half in here. I haven't eaten anything. I'm drinking diet soda and water. It's not the same. All right, it's okay. I still love you guys. That's true, I'm, and I'm back. And it's like I didn't actually hate N64, guys. You know what one of the problems was? Uh, here, you know what we're doing right now? Because it makes it so much more entertaining when your stream has so many parts. Right now, we're just chatting. I'm just going to have a little chat. I'm going to have a good chat with my friend Cosmic Beard. All right. I'd go to my friends' houses, and they had the N64, and they'd be like, "Hey, you want to play some Goldeneye?" I'm like, "All right." I like the way the glass shatters. That's pretty, pretty good graphics, right? And then they'd be like, "Oh yeah, why don't, why don't we just play some multiplayer?" And then they would proceed to screen look me. I'm the guy that doesn't even know how to play, and the game is default inverted. I don't even think you could uninvert yourself. I'm not inverted, so it was doubly hard for me to play. Like, oh, what the frick? I don't even know why I can't aim where I want to aim. Headshot, 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 and not only were they headshotting, they're screen looking me. Ooh, that that epitomized the N64 boy to me for a long time. I'm like, mm -mm, mm, I don't like the way you guys are doing things here. You're my friend, and I like you, but you know what? I hate the way you play video games. Let's get some Street Fighter going. I'm going to smash you, okay? That's done going to happen right now. All right, screen lookers! Yeah, I call them screen lookers. It's a derogatory term. You don't want to be a screen looker. A, di a dirty screen looker? Screen lookers can get the F out. I have to make that in a moat next. Jesus. All right, I mean, the PS uh, had Spyro, Crash, Medieval, Final Fantasy VII, Steel Rain. Yeah, the thing was, um, it had more games, so you get more bang for your buck. Like, if you want to go to the store and rent something, you had a lot of choice. But the thing is, I think the PlayStation had, per capita, a lot more stinky games. Maybe just because it had more games, and it was the exact same amount. I don't know. There's there's definitely stinky N64 games. All right. Uh, Wolfcat saying it's 12, 15 p.m. Okay, yeah, so you did a... I, I thought maybe when you said you were tired, I'm like, T tired at noon? All right. Hey, the world is uh, not enough. World is not enough is better. Yeah, the thing is, uh, it is a good game. But when you're getting beaten by friends that are screen looking and headshotting you, you're like, wait, is uh, is that Goldeneye? World is not enough. Or uh, a the world is not enough is better. Well, those might be fighting words. If that's not Goldeneye, those might be fighting words. All right, that's this concludes just chatting. Let's get back to the magazine. And we have like 40 chapters in this episode. It's fine. Great in the VOD. All right, I thought just occurred to me, uh, says MC Wolfcat, the game I just streamed isn't old enough to even be mentioned here. Hey, you know what? Are you a retro person? Is that is that what was weird about it? It was retro, but still not old enough? I, you know, I play a lot of games from 1997, but I'm not opposed to playing anything older. Wednesdays, I play the older games. I play modern games on Wednesday, too. I did two and a half hours of Zelda Ocarina Time, then played... Mortal Kombat 3 with a guy from my stream uh, over the internet, and then finished it off with Mortal Shell, which is a brand new game. That's a weird and wild stream. Uh, can you shout out to my friend Shake Junt? Hey, Shake Junt! I don't know who you are, but Spin the Spots just said give you a shout out, and you know what? I did, because Spin the Spots is kick-ass, and that means if Spin the Spots knows you, that means by default you're kick-ass too. Don't let Spin the Spots down. Don't do it, buddy. Hey, buddy. Don't let him down. I would never do that. You know who else wouldn't do that? You know who else wouldn't do that? Fred Couples. You go and let Spin the Spots down? This is Fred Couples, only he's uppercutting you in the face. Is that what you want? Alright, Jesus. You're this close, buddy. You're on thin ice, buddy. Alright, what, what's the name again? I can't even remember. Shake John, you're this close, buddy. Fred is this close. And you only have one tick of health left. Use it wisely, buddy. Hey, buddy. 
Use it wisely, buddy. All right. Fred, you can put those knuckles away. We don't need them yet. We don't need them yet, buddy. All right. Jesus. Getting me all riled up. I'm ready to just throw down right now. All right. Technically, we all know Dan, and he's not awesome by association. Well, what? It, the, okay. Villains are a different story, all right? You can't just put villains in the same category. We all know the villains. Frick them. Frick Dan, the maintenance man. He's screwing everything up. God damn it. Oh, man. Fred Couples head. Speaking of Fred Couples, god damn it. Putting on. Oh, shaky. Shake, Junty. You got those shakes, and I ain't hating it, man. Those moves are fresh. I'm digging it. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Fred Couples Nation. We're going to be reading this goddamn issue of Game Pro and then playing one more game. What's it going to be? World Series Baseball. There's bottom of the ninth, 97. There's been seven, six or seven baseball games in a row. That's insanity. Why were we so deranged for baseball games back then? There, there can't be any more baseball games. There just can't. Well, speaking of baseball games, Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, hey, guess what, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, Shake Junt. Oh, wait, is that the same guy? <laughs> Shake Junty. Oh, okay, Shake Junty. All right, you're part of the Fred Couples Nation now. Welcome to the Fred Couples Nation. Enjoy the show. Shake Junty. Yo, he says. Welcome in. Spin the spots, friends. Shake Junty. Welcome to the uh, Fred Couples Nation. Now, I hope you like baseball games, Shake Junty, because Game Pro is shoving them down our throat. We're choking. We're going, oh, I can't breathe. No more baseball games. Guess what? I don't care. One, two, or no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven baseball games. <laughs> they all don't have create a character. Jesus Christ. All right, the gaming industry was force feeding us baseball games. I always thought it was fighting games back then, but you know what it goddamn was? It was baseball games. And they're not even good. Oh my god. Well, bottom of the ninth is good. Bottom of the ninth is actually kick ass. I don't know about bottom of the ninth 97, but bottom of the ninth normal, just regular bottom of the ninth, pretty kick ass. All right, guess what? There are other games that exist in sporting world. Soccer. Jesus. I have nightmares after this advertisement. NHL power play. Whoa. Off brand play or uh, hockey games. Now that's weird. Radical entertainment. That is bizarre. Albert. I wonder if his last name was Odyssey. That's what I want to know. All right. Kenny Griffith Baseball for SNES is hype. Did they do two of those for SNES? Or is there just one? I know a friend who's uh, really into the Home Run Derby. I should check that out now. All right. That was the name of that game. What was the name of that I Bleed game? Well, let's go. Let's take a look. Nanotech Warrior. You just funnel down. It's basically just... Uh, it's like a 3D version of the Battletoads uh, speed bike game. Mega Man Soccer, says Jigs. Frick yeah. Oh, man. Play some Mega Man Soccer. I ran in that game back in the best soccer game. Could be. Jigs, could be. Could just be the best soccer game. All right, NASCAR. What in the hell are we doing here? All right, Killing Time now on PlayStation by LJN. Whoa. When was the last time you saw LJN? And that's the one they attached themselves to? God. What a terrible ad, says Cosmic Beard. Yeah, not, not, not that pretty. Frickin' Herc's Adventure. They give it full five across the board. Final Fantasy VII didn't even get full fives. We played this one. Don't worry, everyone. We played it. And we were Ric Flair, and it was good. We didn't play it this issue. And by the end of a long stream, I just can't talk properly anymore. But that doesn't stop these tunes from being any more heroic than they are. Look at old Hollywood Hogan going to town. That's just regular Hogan. Man, he made that Picard horseshoe go to work. I mean, if I ever go horseshoe bald, I know what I'm doing. All right, spin the spots. Just said, guess what? One of you lucky sons of guns. One of you is Mick Wolfcat. He said, God damn it, Mick Wolfcat. If you're still here. He said, you know what? God damn it. He said, God damn it, Wolf Wolfcat. Oh, she is here. Because she's getting She's getting this now. Wolfcat, you made it. You're part of the Fred Couples Nation elite crew of assassins now. All right. Full access to the Fred Couples emote to use at your leisure wherever you choose. Oh, Fred is just getting on board with things. Wait, he, Fred is wanting in on this. Fred, oh, God. 
Oh, I'm feeling it. Everyone's feeling it. It's a good time. It's a good day. All right. Spin the spots. A downright decent of you. Wolfcat. Love stopping in. Getting the full Fred Couples treatment here. I'll have to give her a shout out. She's on the Discord after. If she misses, we'll get it to her. <laughs> She's probably eating some lunch after a long stream. Well, goddammit. Fred Couples says, get the F in here, Wolfcat. Frick me. Ah, Frick says, Cosmo Feared. Oh man, followed by Fido Dido freaking ending theme. You know this is a good time. We're all having a good time right here. I'm just getting out of my mind right now. Oh, Spin the Spots just said, you know what? <laughs> said Spin the Spots, guess what? Hey, Shake Junty, you're on board now too. That's a double Fred Couples Deep, and we gotta go back. That's a double Fred Couples Deep. Where the hell is my, there it is. Oh, Fred Couples. Getting out of his mind, and Jigs, oh, Frame Chase said Jigs, get the F in here too, oh, Frick. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. Guys, you start, you start the Fred Couples Nation in your elite crew of assassins as regular old teal Fred. But eventually, one of us, I'm not even there yet, one of us is gonna get the Golden Couples. The Golden Couples is the coveted one year long, one year long subscription thing. I'm in the running. Apparently I count as a subscribed member of my own stream. I'm going for that Golden Couples, God damn it! Fred, God damn it, we need the Golden Couples. All right, good times abound. We're celebrating, we're having a great time here. All right, we can, we can put Fred back up here. Fred deserves to be up here. Even though we're not here on that screen, Fred deserves to be here on this screen. All right, let's go back to the magazine. That was a good time. Man, that feels good. That's a late night. We're just winding down people like, the hell you are, man. All right, fine. We're going deep, <laughs> Frank Chasers with his waiting emote. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are awesome. That's really, really cool, you guys. Frame Chasers, hey, Frame Chasers, check out his channel. Check out his Twitch channel. Frame Chaser just done bought himself a free advertisement from the Fred Couples Nation. Check out his channel right now. Put him in, dudes, what we're doing here, we're building the next wave, the next tier, the next wave of streamer is coming up right here. All of you in the chat, you're all riding this wave and we're riding it straight to the freaking top. All right? He's actually got way more followers than I do. He's actually giving the people something they can use. <laughs> Important things, with a lot of swearing. Got a little, little commode mouth on this one. All right, don't don't go there if you're with your kids. If you're watching that stream with your kids, you got another thing coming, buddy. That was more like a high five. Now your kid's gonna learn a thing or two about real life. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get back to the. Let's get back to those vibes. Oh god, this is too sultry. I ain't hating it. It's just really sultry. God, man. Man, I wanted to be Bean. We played this game. I beat it in one quarter. The first quarter. I want to be Bean. I want to be Chop. Apparently, to be Chop, you have to turn on the Sega Saturn 30 times with Fighter Mega Mix inside. I could have done that if I'd known that. I want to be Chop. Look, he's got moves. <laughs> he's one of the characters. Ah, oh, Jesus. Rent a hero. Uraban. Uh, and Hornet. Apparently you have to beat the game first before you get Hornet. I don't want to do that. Although I did beat the game, I could probably unlock Hornet now. You get to be the car from Daytona USA. That's hilarious. We could be Deku. Alright, we're at the end of the magazine. I don't know what I'm doing with myself now. Alright, 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 alright. Oh man, they just said, you know what, Jaguar, you're out of there. 3DO, you're out of there. And you know what replaced him? Sega Saturn. They just parked it back there. Like, guess what? It is a Sega Saturn, but it's way back there. All right, this tune is on full volume. I don't need that. You, look at all this hot stereo equipment. You know how many tunes you could play? You know how many uh, copies of frickin' Wu-Tang Clan you could play on this system? Quite a lot, all right? Quite a goddamn lot. You know, you could play Bon Jovi's latest album on that if you wanted to. All right? You can play Sugar Ray Floored at full volume if you wanted to. Are you up to the challenge? I don't think you are. I don't think any of you guys are. Uh, Shake Junty, you missed the early, early episode, but we were going over all these. All these albums came out this month. Faith No More, album of the year. You could be playing on this sound system right friggin' now. All right, get real. Mega Death Cryptic Warnings, or Writings, you could be listening to it right now. I don't know what the hell you're doing if you're not listening to that. Frick. All right, haven't played that since Windows 98 or something like that. Something like that. You'd be Windows 95 at this point. 
like my hot uh, computer here. And this tune is woozy and sultry, and we need to go to something else. All right, how about heart, heart girls? Oh god, those vibes are right. All right, we gotta finish this magazine. My wife is literally sleeping 15 feet away from me, and she will be up any moment, and she's probably like, what the frick? You're still streaming? What the frick? No, that's not what she would be, but she'd be like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and I don't want to come out the door, because it, it'll be on stream. Like, just come out just to the side of the door. I want to see. I built my whole club like that. You're able to get out. All right, well, for no reason whatsoever, I think I might just end the stream with an N64 game called... Uh, Automobili Lamborghini. Because apparently this month, Blockbuster Video, Blockbuster Video tells us that that's the sixth most rented N64 game this month. And I don't know what else to play. Dan might see her though, it's true. Dan's freaking crawling around the rafters. He's a real rascal. You know, he's up in the rafters sometimes trying to look down at my key passwords. That's a real rascal. Man, people are still playing uh, Genesis and SNES, and it's basically just all sports games. All right. Uh, I rented that game. That's perfect, Cosmic Weird. We're going to wrap this one up with a game you rented. <laughs> and that's a good example of a not-so-good N64 game. All right, we got uh, what, anything else interesting. Mega Man 8 was getting hot rental here. NBA Shootout getting big rental here. Rage Racer. Well, if my wife is up and she can hear me, she can just text me. And I will go to my BRB screen just so that she knows. That's if she's watching the stream. Sometimes she watches it to see, like, is he going to end soon? Yeah, in like 20 minutes. We're getting there. Oh, frick, man, we're getting there. All right, Smug Speed. Man, people really like renting 3D Blast. <laughs> they didn't have a lot to choose from at that point. Maybe Blockbuster was just like, ah, oh, we don't even keep track of this. It was this. It was that. I don't care. Uh, what is Soul Blade still there? Yeah, Soul Blade still there. Good for you, PlayStation boys. And, uh, Blast Course, good good for you and 64 boys and girls. Alright, she'd be lurking. Ah, oh, frick, still on. One of you 22 viewers. Frick, get off already. Oh my god. She's really, she's a sweetheart about it. None, can you imagine a wife getting only six hours of sleep anyways, and she has to get up at three in the morning usually to work from home before our son gets up. We have crazy schedules because we both work from home. And I'm sitting here about to do my stretch leg call off, wake her up. Think about it. Think about it. Give her a... That's a Fred Couples for my wife right there. That's Fred... That, this Fred Couples is for my wife. I hope she's watching right now. That one's for you. Honey. We say honey with a U. Honey. Great steak, honey. Alright, I didn't rent it, but I saw it at Blockbuster, says Jigs. That's close enough for me, Jigs. I chose not to rent it. <laughs> I made that choice. Ah, uh, I like it. Jesus, Shark Teeth Boy. I'm gonna have nightmares. You guys remember that movie... Screamers from 1995 with the robots on that planet that were uh, they would turn into like buzzsaw blades and they would come out of the ground and come at you and they were building new robots that looked like humans but they were actually just screamers still and one of them uh, had shark teeth at one point I still have nightmares about that Goddamn, Blast Core is a dope game yeah we played the hell out of that one last episode that is a dope game that is a dope game that's one you should rent god damn we finished it alright it's time for Automobili Lamborghini and we're gonna get our Linguini and uh, Pasta Primavera Blast Core for life, says he. he Blast Core forever. <laughs> N64 was underrated as F. Especially for the PlayStation Super fans. Now, here's the thing. You shouldn't have lost Final Fantasy. You should have fought a lot harder for it, Nintendo. You should have even been like, man, we're going to go cartridge. But maybe we should think about CD. If they'd locked up the CD market, I don't know why they didn't. What were they doing on cartridge that was so special that they couldn't do on a CD? I'm sure there's a reason for it. To rock hell yeah. Uh, but do, but do. Maybe we'll read one of these magazines in 1998. We might have to switch off GamePro because I don't... I, for those that are wondering, I had a subscription at this point in time in my life. Uh, so I, I remember each issue I've been going through. But in 1998, I didn't have that subscription. So now I might have to jump ship. Might have to do EGM. I have to go to something I have no nostalgia for. Alright, Nintendo didn't want loading times. Cartridges have none. That is a bold choice. They made their choice. But, you know, as a result too, they had no RPGs on this on the entire console. That's bold. That was where Nintendo, and, and it makes a lot of sense for me to be, it makes a lot of sense for me to bail out at that point, because like, that's the type of game I want, man. I don't want this other stuff, but Nintendo's like, we're forging ahead, man, and at the time, I didn't appreciate that, because I only have $60. I gotta buy one game. What am I gonna buy? What the hell am I gonna buy? I can't buy this console that's like, we're not doing any of the games you like anymore. Like, ah, uh, what the frick? So there was a little bit of, like, resentment there. I was like, Nintendo. Hey, Nintendo. 
You could have had all of this. They didn't want it. They rejected me. Said Nintendo. I felt like I was left holding the bag, robbing the bank, and they just pieced it. I got arrested. Frick. I didn't snitch. 25 years, I served my time. I'm coming back. It remains to be seen, everyone. We'll just show you right now. Wait, that's not what I want. It remains to be seen. Whether or not Nintendo is behind this whole thing or not. Alright. I don't know. I can't make that call. I'm gonna have to get to the end to find out. Join me on Wednesdays for console Cold Wars, and we're gonna frickin' find out. We're gonna drink some Pepsi. Diet. Caffeine-free. These men just picked me up in the forest. They threw me into this bunker that time forgot. And they said, guess what, buddy? You think you're a PlayStation super fan? Well, you're gonna play some N64 right frickin' now. I'm like, oh, frick. It could be like that episode of Star Trek when Riker was in the frickin' holodeck. But the Romulans were making him think it wasn't a holodeck. Nintendo could be behind the whole thing. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Together. Right now, I'm just playing Ocarina of Time. Frick. Look at that hot render. Oh, by the way, we got some new members. This PlayStation. I mean, obviously, I'm in this bunker right now. Well, this time, I'm not. On Wednesdays, I am, actually. But this is just a, a demonstration for it. Um, What is his name? I have it down here. Knack, 1996. Rendered that PlayStation on CG Traders. It looks good. Some other guy did the N64, but man alive. Those good-looking renders. Knack, he, uh, he followed on the offline. Good man. Answered my questions so I, I could get it rendered in time. Frick! All right. And we got we got some Automobili Lamborghini to play on N64. We gotta live the dream. All right, gameplay. Let's go. Oh wait, we don't need this yet. I'm gonna go back here for a split second. Would you just wait one second? For once in your goddamn life, everyone, just wait one second. I I fricked up. I'm gonna have to load the thing first. For some reason, I closed the emulator. Why? What a wonky tune. All right, we're closing it up. We're closing up shop with N64 and an actual N64 controller. We got this. Gameplay, let's go. All right, here we go. All right, for no reason, Evo 2021, we're going. They're gonna see my gameplay here and be like, we got it, we gotta lock this guy up. If he can play a racing game this good, you know he's good at fighting games. You goddamn know he's good at fighting games too. Alright, well, I'll spare you. I'll put that down there. Alright, my cat's messing around my green screen. Don't knock it down! Alright, you guys hearing these hot tunes? God damn. That's what I'm most excited for about the N64 is the hot freaking tunes. Go, 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 go! Alright, there we go. Titus, oh no! Alright, the remasters are great, by the way, for both games. Truck 1 and 2. Excellent. Uh, not expecting you to tell me how, but I have no clue how your transitions move uh, you around so smooth manner. Uh, check out, I think it's Stream FX. If you type that in, Stream FX OBS. I'm using uh, OBS Studio, classic OBS, not Streamlabs, but uh, that's just a plugin for it. And uh, it has a transition called Move Transition. Oh man, lets you really rip it, man. Just get crazy. Uh, those and it's not intensive on your CPU at all. All right, let's play this goddamn game. This track is bumping, says grungy. Go, 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 go! All right, are we going for the all-time grand championship or are we just going arcade? I don't know. These are tough choices to make. Frick! Might oh man, this one might end up on the track list. Oh frick me! All right, we'll just go arcade. Fine, why not? Are we pro? Are we pro level this game? Are we pro level in honor of Game Pro Frame Chasers? I think we are. Pick Arcade. Okay, Smug Speed, same Pick Arcade. Oh man, go. Every car is just out of its mind. Alright, we'll be this one. Select it. Quest 64 was a sick game. It's the closest thing to an RPG, I think, right? Oh, you know goddamn well what we're doing. That's a lap record! Oh, frick. Man, this tune is thumping my buns off. Frick! I gotta make a dancing screen. After that frickin' Crusader, um, No Remorse track, I need a screen that's just for dancing. God damn it. If you wanna use the rumble, plug it in now. I'm gonna be rumbling myself. I don't need a rumble pack. Alright, also, no, uh, Quest 64 wasn't good. Oh, man, shots fired in the chat. We can't come together on this one. 
All right, this is where you'd rent it, and you'd be like, oh, no, did I make a mistake? It looks okay. It doesn't have a bad look. It doesn't have a bad soundtrack either. Maybe you would be like, frick, man. The soundtrack is ripping me apart. All right, why would they tell me there's a turn ahead? All right, the thumbstick is a tad sensitive. Here we go. All right, Titus, here we go. Yeah, Titus, they locked it up. Hot sponsorship. All right, drift it. Everyone drifts in their Lamborghini. We all know this. Yeah, that's just how baller we are. We don't care. All right, frame rate's taking a dip. Oh, frick. All right, the final game of the evening. Automobili Lamborghini. I remember always seeing this one going like, oh, man, I wish I had that. It looks cool. Checkpoint. There was like an air arrogance to the N64. It was like, we don't care that we're not this console you bought. We just don't care. And I was like, oh, man. Uh, you'd look at it and you'd be like, oh, geez, geez. oh you son of a... <laughs> like, I want you to feel something. You're not feeling anything. You're all just having fun without me? How dare you? How dare you have a decent four-player version of Duke Nukem, and I don't. I'm big into Duke Nukem. Man, the computer lab in our school. Whatever the smarties were, they're like, let's get Duke Nukem on every computer in this room, and then we'll play it during the class. And the teacher has no idea what's going on. Oh my god, the best time I've ever had in my life. Playing eight-player Duke Nukem. And so when four-player Duke Nukem came out on N64... Alright, I feel like my car should be going faster than this. Like, there's no way to catch up to these guys. Checkpoint. Miss Vianney. She did not know we were playing video games during class extensively. We'd be doing it while she was giving a lesson. Alright, here we go. It was it. Oh man, I'm missing some chat here. It's hard to do chat while I'm also playing a freaking racing game. Alright, pick arcade. It was a simpler time. This is Frame Chasers, Quest 64. Paper Mario was better. Oh man, it's been a million years since I played it. Paper Mario was better than Quest 64? Interesting. Did Paper Mario use that hot Parappa the Rapper style graphics? Alright, it was lit, says Cosmo Beard. Oh man, I cannot gain any ground. What am I, fourth? Jesus. And look at this, they're way ahead of me on... Although at least fifth and sixth are really having a bad go. Alright, Metal Gear, that's the other... Oh man. Metal Gear was huge. PlayStation was for RPGs only and Metal Gear and racing games galore. They had way more racing games than they had any idea what they were doing with. Gran Turismo, holy frick, that was a good one. The licensing, holy frick. Uh, Metal Gear Solid was a good one. Their first person shooters on that were bad. All right, that's all I can stand. That's all the automobile I can handle. Oh, God, okay, well, check out this tune for frick's sake. Right, the closest thing I have to a dance then is this. Oh god, everyone's just losing their mind here. You guys remember when music like this was a thing? Alright, like if you would never bust out the PlayStation when friends came over. I, uh, yeah, I guess we didn't do like multiplayer stuff. I didn't do any multiplayer stuff. When my friends still came over, we took turns. That was the thing. Like you'd have friends come over and you'd take turns playing a game. That, is that not what you guys did? Like Grand Theft Auto? Uh, you just take a turn killing, oh man, Grand Theft Auto. Or was that PlayStation 2? Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 3 was PlayStation 2. Um, oh no, we only got five seconds. All right, well, whatever. All right, that was Automobili Lamborghini. Uh, thankfully, the PS1 made a multi-tap. That's true, but then you had to buy the multi-tap. And as a kid, it's like, hey, you could get another game, or you could spend that money getting a multi-tap. Like, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, frick. All right, this looks kind of like an early PS2 game. That's right, it did It did have a good, but it just the frame rate was bad on that one. That one just didn't have the frame rate. Oh, and you know what? Oh, man. There could be some little rascals that are like, oh, man. Automobile. Automobile. Lambo. Every word here is just spelled entirely ridiculously. Automobile. I got it for the VOD. I need someone to, in the VOD to be like, what game was that? I don't even know. There we go. Hey, you little rascal. Automobile Lamborghini. We just played it. You gotta go back. Hey, buddy, in the VOD, get the F back. It's back there. It's click the thing and go back. This way. Take your controller and make it go that way on the screen. Right here, click here and go that way. All right. 
I don't know what you're doing here, because we're done, buddy. All right, buddy. Hey, buddy. Quit messing around. All right, we're going back to retro. All right, we did it. We did our part, everyone. And boom. Wrapped it up. Boom. There's boom. That's another June 1997 in the bag. That's it. Man, thanks for watching, everyone. Some of you guys watched the whole thing. You guys are with me. We're in the bunker, man. Just freaking, we got to get these games. 1997. We got to get these games out there. People need to know. Grungy Nick's been here from the start. Oh, frick. We got to know. And he does know now. He doesn't have to watch the VOD. He watched the whole thing live. He saw it. He lived it. Frame Chase is saying he's still got his original copy of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, man, that's nice. I lost mine a long time ago. Frick me. All right, are you being sarcastic, uh, smug? Uh, it was plastered on every Nintendo marketing thing that came, that they released. Oh, man, it's getting hot and heavy in the chat here. All right, that sounds terrible. Okay, whoa, 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 I got to scroll back. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. I need to see what you guys are saying. Thankfully, the PS1 made the multi-tap. Uh, Metal Gear, I think Metal Gear Solid was uh, the only one I was really jealous of, says Cosmic Beard. It was worth being jealous of. That one blew me away. That one was unreal. But, you know, they had them each. They had them each. Man, look at that 60 frame a second. Good Lord. All right, PS2 was better when they got that gizmo for online. Then SOCOM took over. Ah, PS2 online. I think I played Metal Gear Solid 3 on that online. That was pretty good. Metal Gear Solid 3 online, pretty freaking good. And it was really hard to set up, too. What's my Mac address? I don't know what the frick. All right, they still got, uh, Annie's got Valkry profile. Valkyrie. All right, I don't know what, uh, was I the one? Cosmic Beard, was I the one saying bad stuff? I don't even remember what I said. I'm a blank, I don't remember what the frick. All right, no, the PS1 actually was just 32-bit. All right, I don't like the cut of your jib, smug. The jib. Don't be cutting that jib. Leave that jib alone. All right, good thing graphics don't make the console. It's the library and stability of the console. Yeah, in 64, it was kind of flash in the panty. I don't think it had the legs, man, but it, it had a couple of games that are absolutely, as, as I've been playing this series now, absolutely instrumental. Like the Z-targeting in Zelda, I think that's the first time any game ever had a targeting system like that, which is now used in almost every game that's like a Dark Souls ripoff. And I love Dark Souls games, so playing it now is like, why did I hate this back in the day? I actually hated the Z-targeting back in the day because I didn't understand like the the gameplay loop. Like you target a guy, but then you kite him away a bit so you can attack him and blah, blah, blah. I was like, you just dive right in, you do this, and then you run around. Didn't understand. It was ahead of its time. All right, no one's saying bad stuff. So, okay, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Guys, I just want everyone to have a good time. And sometimes I say stuff and I'm like, was the maintenance man right? <laughs> um, how could anyone not like him? I am a good person. I don't remember how Jerry Seinfeld says it. Could I have been wrong? When he was at the Dream Cafe? I don't remember the quote. It's too late at night to remember a Seinfeld quote from 12 years ago. All right, now I had both consoles, said Frame Chasers. Oh man, he was living the goddamn dream. And think I played them both equally. All right, we got an interesting interesting trio here. We got the far right. The far right PlayStation super fanboy. The smack dab in the center had them both, liked them both boy. And the far left super uh, N64 boy. Not a political reference, but just on any type of spectrum. Now that's interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna roll that forward. I need these perspectives. If I see you guys here, I'm leaning on you. You guys need to be my eyes. I need you to be my eyes. All right, not trolling smug. Eh, you keep it up. And we could use a little more trolls. We have such a nice chat. We could use a little... We could use a little of that rascaliness. You go too far rascally, though. Like the maintenance man? We catch any whiff of maintenance man-isms here. We'll know what to do. Right? You ever see the maintenance man here? If you see anyone acting like the maintenance man, you know there's trouble. We don't like the maintenance man around here. All right. Thought I heard something. You know what we do to the maintenance man? We smash him. We smash him. We're gonna smash him. We're building up to it. We don't want to end up like old poor Ken here. Oh, poor Ken. God damn it. Maintenance man did that to him. Frick him. And he hurt his feelings. What the frick? All right, God damn. It. That's it for me. That's another one in the bag. Frick me. We need to get some endings tunes on here. We need them right now, God damn it. If I don't get these endings tunes on here right now, something... Something's getting smashed. I don't know what. Something though. All right, Fred loaded up the tunes. Good man. Good man, Fred. You knew exactly what I was going for. That's another one in the bag. Oh man, we did it. Grungy Nick is just Fred's coupling out of his mind. 
Genesis used CDs. I don't know what that means. Guys, I don't even know what that means. I gotta get out of here. But I'm gonna leave this go. I'm gonna leave this go so you guys can finish this discussion. <laughs> and my wife is like, Get off the internet. I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm so sorry. You know, after a long stream, you gotta take something like this. Oh, you can't even see it. I have this ghost ball here. It's, it's part in this realm, part not in this realm. But it's really hard, and you gotta roll it on your leg like this. Ah, oh, God, Jesus. I'll see you guys on Wednesday uh, for the console cold war. Uh, we're gonna figure out what the hell this damn console is all about. I'm gonna be the guy that knows everything after this. And if Nintendo is rascaling me, ah. Uh, all right, they're getting that. All right, I don't need none of this. It's Steve. It's Steve. It's Steve. Uh, see you guys next week. Next week. Next week. Oh man, my oh, legs, man, my legs, legs, my legs. I got the jelly got the legs. Jelly legs. Ah, ah, ah. It's cramping. It's cramping. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, 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 ah. God, we'll see you next week, we'll everyone. Next week, everyone. Next week, everyone. Ah.